tables run out so much easier. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah back yeah. then with the dead felt. Sure, you had so the eight was a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I, I watched him play. Toby play for two into the third day, at, at nights, and I'd go home. Mm -hmm. I have never seen nine ball play better than that man. Good. So man. at the end of the, oh, he's that's a hell of a compliment, bro. Been, I think so. No, really, that's big. But at the end of the third night, my friend Gabe finally quit. So this old mobster who discovered me, Paulie, he used to feed me, tell me who to play, and he taught me. Uh, how to act in a pool room. Mm -hmm. There's all I, I could pack the balls. Oh, you were young yet. Yeah, yeah, okay, I, was, yeah. I, I was probably yeah, 22. Uh, oh, okay, I got you. But, and, uh, you know, I, I, I got a late start because I was in the service and then I went to college. So I was like when, 22, 23. You, were you saying you started pool then? No, I played when I was younger. Oh, okay, good. And then right. I didn't play for a few years. Now I started uh, again. I was about 22. Oh, I got you. So I, after Toby, he'd, he'd be, he was the best I ever saw. So now this friend of mine, the Paulie, he says to Toby, you want to give this, this kid here the seven? I still barely knew what that meant. Yeah, right. So we, we played, but I could pocket balls. Uh -huh. uh, so we played all night. I beat him the first night. He said, we'll play again tomorrow night if the place closed. So the next night we come back, and the first thing I say, to, oh, and everyone's in the room, the backers, the mobsters, everyone, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. They all want to watch Toby play, and how this young kid, me, beat him with seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First thing I said to Toby, you don't have to spot me anymore. <laughs> All my backers disappeared. <laughs> All of a sudden, this, it's a ghost town, and he busted me. <laughs> but that was my first time getting spotted. You know, because you know, you're young and you're still learning. Yeah, but yeah. He played two things I learned from Toby. How to at, remember back then when we broke, we didn't cons we just hit him hard. And Miz, even there was no and, not, not there was yet. no wing ball, no, no never. And, and Miz, I remember Mizrak saying, was, he says he just hit hard. It was potluck. Hope you don't break. Right. Toby Sweet was the first person I saw who controlled the break. Okay. He had that little pop right. break, cue ball pop. It wasn't even talked about too much. No, it wasn't even a big at deal. West End. It wasn't it, come up. It, it, no. it was. It wasn't a big deal yet. Right. And now I think. That, if you break good, it's like 70, 80 yeah, percent. Back yeah. then, it was like yeah. the second servant. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But Toby and another. It didn't exist, right? I learned from Toby. I heard Alan Hopkins say Miz to Miserac one time. Toby was hitting balls, and said, "That's the best push out player alive, right there." Toby. No so kidding. I used to watch Toby, and I realized we were all pushing out like to, to yeah. some shot we thought we could make, a bank or a cut. Yeah. There was no ball in hand back then, no, folks. No. By the way. Well, there was if you scratched twice in a row. Right, ball, correct. But, but you had to scratch. Yeah. Ball. But I realized early on, Toby was pushing out to play safe. Nobody was, just before Efren. Mm -hmm. When Efren got here, yeah. no, everything changed. Uh -huh. And so I started watching Toby, and I think I started playing better than people. I was beating people I probably shouldn't have yet. But I was learning how to, I was pushing out to safes. Right. Where everyone else was pushing out to a tough bank or a tough cut. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's pretty standard. Yeah, that's, that, yeah. And, and you know me. what? That's the first I ever heard of that idea, sort of and thing. And I, you, know, you never hear that stuff. No you know. one thinks. But then when, right. they, when the Filipinos got here, mm. then you started playing for safes and things. And that Philip, that push out stuff was kind of nice. That was the best way to play, and, I thought. And, and, and you know, years ago, the West End. You, you talked about West End, mm -hmm. and I talk about it all the time because mm -hmm. I won that twice out all the years. But that was big win for me. Oh, the, and, but the, the Tuesday night tournament. But the, yes, the fifteen champions. Yeah, and we get you shoot for two hundred, and everyone's a champion. And you wouldn't get a game spot you get a, I got like the six from Allen or Ginky and, and I won and won and Mr. X beat me oh, I had a blast and I got a lot of friends that oh. you know that way down you know you know we have a, a player in, out of Connecticut it was, I'm oh. sorry it was $25 to get in how good to be yeah, there? I, well, yeah. I remember yeah. I, I was there a couple of times but I, I never played I mostly snuck around you yeah know? I know because I, I don't know who you yeah, are I, at all, I, you know but I'm down there with uh, you know Tommy Jr. out of Connecticut Al knows him very well. Yeah. A good player. Uh -huh. A loud so, mouth. A real loud mouth. Oh, Al's still here. Okay. Yes. But Tommy's a loud mouth. A good player. Yeah. So Tommy and I walk in there one night into, uh, you know, into West End. Billy Billings is hitting balls like half, like, you know, over there. Remember how the middle of the room was raised yeah, up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. There was an yeah. island to walk so down. So Tommy says to me, hey, Tommy's like 20, 21. He played pretty good. But he, you know, he's loud and obnoxious, and I love him. And uh, he just got a bad car accident. Hopefully, he's doing well. Oh, boy. So uh, we go in there, and he points at He goes, Bobby, who's that, who's that woman? I said, her name's Billy Billy. She's a woman pro. All of a sudden, Tommy goes, there's no woman in the world that can beat me. I said, Jesus, Tommy. She comes galloping over to the counter, gets in his face. Who do you think you are, Mike Siegel? I'll play you some. So they decide to play a set for 40. She walks away, and Tommy really meekly says to me, Bob, can I beat her? I said, <laughs> but I said, shut up, Tommy. We're trying to sneak around. And it, we went around the corner to this package store. 
I was 41. Tommy was 19. They carded me. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. That was That's a compliment. Th there you go. That was the night when Flipper busted us. Flipper. <laughs> Tommy and I went around the corner to get to the beer. Boy, we come back and Flipper busted you, us. You know, about Flipper, that was Gary. And, and I don't know what. The, he I think it was at the I, airport. I think or it was a polio, a polio thing. But Yeah, I thought it was a. That's from, what do they used to call those kids our age? Uh, there was a drug they gave to the mothers. Of well, whatever it was, but he would approach kids that I know in the pool room, and they'd feel sorry for him for ten bucks. They go, he could play. Yeah, I, yeah oh, but the kids didn't know it. They felt sorry for him, and that's how he would. Yeah, I'll play the cripple guy. Yeah, and, uh, what a, it was a great move for the guy. So he, he and he lived well because of that. Because you know? yeah, he, yeah. I mean, I, no one believes you unless no, you, unless you yeah. saw him. Yeah, he right. Had, he had hands on his, el <laughs> on his elbows. But you call him Flipper. We call Flipper. <laughs> so when he, I go to play, I just push him to the center of the table. And Flipper, <laughs> could, he couldn't <laughs> reach him with the foot. The stop, flippers. Stop, stop, stop. Well, well, but listen, John Sparrow, he he got John Sparrow real mad. And, and he told Gary Flipper, he says, Gary, uh, <laughs> I'll rip the songs off you and beat you to death. <laughs> <laughs> I was but had, the guy disappeared <laughs> after that. I never, I, I I never really heard I, of him. I haven't seen him in got to be 40 years yeah, now. I hadn't seen yeah. after that. I yeah, never really I, I, I hope he didn't like get unfortunate, you know. But mm -hmm. but yeah, he was thalidomide. That I'm was, crying. I'm laughing. Thalidomide was the drug in the 50s. They were giving to pregnant women, uh -huh. and a lot of kids they were coming out of deformities. Effects. Yeah, but so, so that's you, what I thought. They you, you ended up in Vietnam. Yeah, I went to Vietnam. Oh, good. Well, yeah. welcome uh, home, mister. Uh, thank you. Glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I am too. Thank now. you, thank you. I, I was guarding the shores of Athens, Greece. No Viet Cong got into Athens on my watch. Well, well music, I got, first time I ever won $500 playing pool. I first got to Vietnam, and for a short time, I was in a special unit in the rear. Were you, were, were you a player then, or a pretty good player to beat all the bar players? Well, uh, yeah, I beat the okay, bar players. Okay, okay, good. Uh, I was only 17. Yeah. I just turned 18, so I went to Vietnam. Yeah. And uh, so there was that little special service club. So you enlisted. I'm sorry? You enlisted. I joined the Marines at 17. Oh. Wow. And I One of them, huh? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Well, the best thing I ever did. Yeah, of course I, I wouldn't recommend it, but I did it. Yeah, I know. So, um, so the, I went to the special club, and I said, first mo four months in the country, I was in a special unit. Did, yeah. Did special things. Uh -huh. But So I was in the rear, and the guy who ran the club, it was obvious I could play. So he would set me up with games. I beat this guy in the Army, came in. The first time I ever won five hundred dollars, I won about five forty, if I recall. Yeah. So the guy gave me about sixty dollars in cash, and he gave me a check for four hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. It, it bounced naturally. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I sent it back to my father. My, when he passed away, I got a box of stuff with that check written on the Bank of Chulai, Vietnam, uh, American Express. To this day, my wife have it it's on my wall. wall. It's hanging. The first, <laughs> that was the first time I ever won five hundred. I, yeah. so I got one more story. So now I'm out, after I'm done with Vietnam, I come home and I'm stationed in uh, uh, Virginia, Quantico, Virginia. Yeah. I came home for a leave after Vietnam, and I met some friend of mine, and I stayed a little longer than I was supposed to. You know, went AWOL for a couple of weeks. So now I go back to Quantico, and I have to turn myself in to the MPs. So what they did. Brains are rough with that stuff. Uh, yeah, just let me good. bump in just one minute, Bobby. I apologize. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, Nick Barn is calling me now. Go ahead. You guys keep going. Okay. Um, the Marines. Oh, yes. Yeah, so so you back to so Quantico. I go, I go back to Quantico, and I, I had to turn myself in. So I was restricted to the base for 30 days. So back then, I assume still, Every two hours, you have to check in with a duty sergeant so they know you're not leaving the base yeah. for 30 days. Yeah, yeah. First night, I'm oh, restricted. I go to check in with the duty sergeant. There's a pool table behind me. <laughs> I beat him for <laughs> for 680. He gave me if I this is the second time I win 500. I don't get paid. He gave me about 200. Said you don't have to check in anymore. Uh, so the first two times I made a score, <laughs> I didn't get paid. <laughs> but the good thing is, if I got paid, I would have forgot. Yeah, but because yeah. I didn't, it, it's you'll never good, forget it's, it. It's still you'll a good never story. forget that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good for you. Hey, listen, we got a uh, pool here, but uh, I, I don't mind the stories. I swear to God, this is this is uh, great stuff here. What are looking at? Uh, oh, race to 21 Have they here. started? Well, I don't know, but it's a race to 21 for uh, 20,000 20, points here. But if they've started, we got to stop talking. Yeah, I'm sorry, but who's going to – you can't get this stuff. It's not written oh. down, you know? And and you've been well, pretty actually, quiet over there with Junior. He was, a part, he was a part of a lot of it. Is that right? So you lived well. Good for you, bro. Yeah, yeah nice. we've been friendly since he was. He stole that money when we were do, kids. Do you still get out and play in Jason's room or anything? Or no, I don't, I don't – Oh, no? I don't go – I go to Southington with the old man. All right. So, so, well, Jason's in your neighborhood, right? Yeah, he's like 20 minutes away. But Jason, what, 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 Jason's never there. 
Oh, know. no? No, he's not there. And, and I called him one time to meet me there. Oh, a and nice room, good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when, good people, too, but without, Aris family. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah. But like I say, Jason doesn't really spend time there. Uh, and it, He's scared of me. <laughs> That's right. Well, as good as that, <laughs> as great a room as that is, it's not the kind of room you can hang around and tell stories. It's exciting. It's more of a business. It's a, yeah. You know, you go in there, right. yeah, and yeah. There's, there's no air area to hang I, around. I got you. So yeah. you know, I like to go and do this, tell we stories. Got, we got, uh, I'm sorry, Bobby. We got 500 people watching right now, or oh. just about. And so we'll get over to the game here. Let me, let me, well, they didn't start yet. Jesus oh. is practicing. Let me fill you in on the game. It's the game of 10 ball. Oh, good. And Jesus is giving Guama the 8, 9, 10. Wow. In, the, in this match, it's a race to 21 for 20K. Wow. Well, so the 8 now? 8, 9, 10, yeah. Yeah, 8, 9, 10. Oof. Wow. So uh, let's get everybody in here. Well, you know what? You guys share the stream uh, that, that are out there. I, I see Elvis Rodriguez out there. Um, as soon as uh, Guama comes in and hits some balls, then they're going to get underway. Now, the, this uh, is Bobby, I'm sorry that, to cut in. Right. I just want to let everybody know because they're great. asking. And this, I now, it. this is on the four and an eighth pockets here. Uh, yeah, four and an eighth pockets. Uh, uh -huh. And this guy plays real loose and fast. I watched him down in, plays really, in yeah. near, near Charlotte, Al, when we were down in Virginia, right? What was that, West End in Charlotte? In, remember? No, but next to Charlotte, yeah. Gastonia. And I watched him. He was beating up on people. This kid plays good. Uh, but that's pretty strong, 8, 9, 10 for, for yeah. 20,000 20, points. I think, I think he gets the nine ball because of that thing he has on his head. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm mm. gonna let that go. I ain't touching that one. But yeah, <laughs> you, um, you know, in in the 50s and 60s, you wouldn't have seen that stuff. <laughs> if I walked in a room 50, 60 yeah. dressed yeah. like that, yeah. I would have got slapped. Yeah, you're and gonna, gonna be. They would have cut my yeah, hair. I know it. You're gonna, and I don't mean to fast. disrespect the kid, but no, it is what it it's is. It's a different world now. Yeah, yes, it is. Than we were young. But we still think that way. You know? I still do. Yeah. But we're everybody older. does. We're, yeah, we're older. Yeah. It was a lot of fun those years being a pool player. I bet. And I, uh, I've never regretted being a pool player. Well, I'll tell you what. When I first got out of the Navy, I went down to that hurricane match that Lascotti won. And in the middle of the hurricane, and Luther Lasser lost, and he's walking out. And Luther's my, my favorite old time. Oh, okay. Well, he's walking out depressed because he just lost. And my wife says, oh, I feel sorry for the old man. I go, please don't feel. But Luther says to Miserac, he says, Miserac says, where are you going? He goes, oh, we're going up the raise room. We're going to play cards. And I had $40 in my pocket. I go, I want to play. I couldn't play for I was a C player. I'm like, I want to go too. They would have just crucified me. You know? But you wanted to hang out, you know. And that's the beauty about pool. You're hanging out with Hall of Famers, world champions. And, and, and another thing great about pool, and I'm 73, yeah. but we hang around with people that are like 21. Like yeah. I play Lucas out of Connecticut. We're all on the same. Oh yeah, we, and we all on it, the same wavelength. We, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. because of the game. Yeah, yeah. And I, Luther, I, last time I saw him, he had a great thing. He said, "We were in As uh, Atlantic City, uh -huh. and at this point, he couldn't beat anybody. But they would. It was a big straight pool tournament. Um, I wasn't in the tournament. I was just there. Yeah. And uh, every time they brought Luther in. And then they bring him in, but he's only in a, you know he's not going to beat anybody. He would get out between matches and hit balls, and then everybody would come down and he, you know, you could ask him questions. Uh -huh. And I'm a fan, yeah. Even though I play sure. pool, I'm a huge fan of Luther. Uh, yeah. Somebody said to Luther uh, something like, "How do you tell who the best uh, best player is in the pool room?" Hmm. And Luther, you know, that, that's brand new tables. Luther says, and he takes his cue. You can't tell by this, you know, the new felt, he, you know, because new felt the pockets play huge mm -hmm. and the way they slide. Mm -hmm. He said, you put two guys in a pool room, bet their own money, play on worn-out felt, and you find out and who's the best out, player. Uh, and then he, one more time, he said, you can't go by this tournament. Because every tournament, equipment's sure, perfect. Sure, yeah, you yeah. You know, you worn-out felt. you got to overcome stuff. It's crazy, yeah. I remember going to the Carolinas in the 70s. The, team, the room might have 10 tables. No two were the same. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a clue what a centennial yeah. balls were. If you're walking in blind on the house guy, he's going to know which table to play on, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I got a story of a house guy. I'm yeah. in mean, Winston Salem, North Carolina, and they still had the brass the, rail. Uh, no, no this, that's this not the brass rail. This was a Raleigh dorm This was a white pool room. Uh -huh. Across the street was the black pool room. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could go in both, but they right. wouldn't go in each other. No kidding. So I'm playing. They they still had the rack boys. And the guy had the change purse on his waist. Yeah, yeah. He owned the place. Oh, yeah. And there were four tables, if I recall. You'd throw him a quarter, and he racked the balls. Yeah. So he's staking my opponent. I go to break. I can see gaps from a mile away. Sure, yeah. His man gets up to play 
And yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's got he the white knuckle. Yeah, he got but crazy glued to him. <laughs> but those were the great, time, yeah, the great yeah, times. And yeah, yeah. In every pool room, there was action. And the Carolinas, it, you, you get you get down to when the tobacco came in, you've got guys can't play a lick that are betting thousand. Because but 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 that but the beauty of it, when you just like you said, well, you're walking, you're hanging out with, you're hanging out with Lucas, who's you got by fifty years, right? But yeah, but, but we still get a, yeah. But I brought a friend 50, of mine who's not a player years. into the room, but and we're talking with Tony Robles over in Amsterdam. And he doesn't know anything about the game, but to relate to him in the pool room, you can't like you do with the players. You know, it's just a different yeah. world. It's a it's a whole new world in here. And I want to say, I think Tony Robles one of the classiest pool players nope. I ever met. One of the it, it, nicest guys on the nicest planet. Nicest guy, and he just yeah. exuded class. And he, when he came into West End, I was happy to meet. And his father, yes. his father was the same, the same. Just passed like a few months back. But, but I will say, most of the New York crew. Uh, Weren't as classy as Tony. No, no, no. Yeah. You know, far, few and far between. Right. You know. We used to go to. Uh, uh, on, on Queen's his father Park. owned a place. I heard that. The, the heard Golden Q. And Frankie. The Golden Q. Frankie you thought the father. Golden. Q. Frank Hernandez also. Yeah. I remember. And go- Sammy Guzman uh, was his. Co- was I, one pl- of the co- I played Sammy. Oh, you did. Yeah, um, I did too. Yeah. Um, you know, it was funny tonight. Sammy was there. And the, they had a guy named Dave Lipman, an old timer uh, player. Yeah. He had, twenty thirty Qs in front of him. They were Kirsenbrocks, the precursor to the Southwest. Yeah, I remember that name. He had them on, on the counter, mm-hmm. and he couldn't sell them. They were 190 apiece. They're good Qs. They now there were tens of, <laughs> tens of thousands. <laughs> yeah, they were. But he had a pile because no one and I had, we, remember, they didn't have a joint. They just had the phenomenon. Uh-huh, right, right. So nobody wanted them yeah, because sure. we all yeah. ivory. You thought it was cheap. And yeah, yeah we thought they yeah, were junk. Right, right. But you could buy, if you bought, like, Four, they were hundred and a quarter a piece. Yeah. He couldn't give them away. Right. Um, they became what well, they became. Yeah. They were still, Sammy Guzman was the first player I saw who played with one. Oh, yeah, with him. He was the first one uh-huh. I saw, and I remember even thinking, "That sticks crap." And look what happened to Southwest. And yeah. Oh, one yeah. One of the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, rem- I always remember that, and I remember I beat, I beat uh, somebody for money, and I hated winning money in New York City, because. I was afraid to walk out of the building because <laughs> you had all those derelicts sitting uh, around the corner of the pool room. <laughs> so I, the and guy, you can't they, carry in New York. Uh, and they all watch. You. Yeah. And, you know, we always had money. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. usually. Or yeah, sure. The winner More than them. The <laughs> so I, the guy I was with, I made, they had that big sidewalk. I had him drive up on the sidewalk. <laughs> I only had a step. Two, and yet, yet, I went to 50 times, never had a problem once, yeah. but I was scared to death every yeah. time. Yeah. You know, oh, God, that was a tough. What a pool room that was. And you had Jenny, had that Gene Nagy down the street. Oh, yeah. Playing yeah. 100, right. 100 no count sure. for $5. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, what a, but New York always scared me. I used to play Pat Flanagan 50 no count. He Pat, robbed me. He was great. Pat, oh, he's, Pat, he, he's I, here, you know. He and I talked for an hour, oh, oh, an hour good. yesterday oh, well, about, I, about the I old days. I can see why, because you could rattle them uh, off. I swear to God. In fact, first time I met Pat, um, I was younger, and he was in New London. There was a big, a big tournament. And I don't know why he asked me to play. Uh, because I, I didn't say anything. I was, a ki- I was in awe of these older players. He says, come on, kid, I'll give you this seven or the eight. Wait, he's your age almost. Uh, two years he's old. He's 75 maybe. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. But I got to remember, I, gotta, I didn't start till after. Uh-huh. I was 21. So I was, I was still yeah, kind of, okay. And I looked like I was 15. Uh-huh. So anyway, we played some $10 nine ball. And he tried. Pat, with Pat. Pat. And he, uh-huh. tr- he tried to spot me the eight. And it didn't work out well for Pat. Yeah. So I took the eighty dollars we won. We went across the street to the ninety five steakhouse, which Steve remembers. And St- and Pat and I went out to dinner. We that's what I do like that score. Wait, well, you, we, you you took Pat to a steakhouse? Right across from the He doesn't bowling. eat steak anymore. This, <laughs> this was nineteen seventy three. He's a, he, he was, you know what he eats now? Well, he hasn't played Alfalfa it. sprouts. Of course he does. I swear to God, he he's, he's like the health freak. Wow. Yeah. Bicycle rider of all time. Yeah. I hang out with him every day. I live in his old studio actually. Oh. And uh, he's right across the hall from me. Okay. I've been hanging. My first running with Pat, we were going up to Lake George, New York, and do scuba diving trip with the wives. Mm-hmm. And I never met the guy. So my friend says, oh, Pat's a pool player. I said, well, I'll try you some. He's a real pool player. <laughs> I'll try Give me like 20 balls on 60. I'm thinking straight pool like we play in Rizzuto's, right? In Midland Park. And, and he just smiled. And then I go to the pool room and I said to Joe Rizzuto, I said, hey, Joe, I ran into this guy that says he's a pool player. Pat Fleming, he goes, don't bring him around here. <laughs> Pat was great. Oh, what a stroke. I mean, he came in third, I remember, in the World Series. You know, and he played everybody. Yeah. He, he played Calavita, Martin. He, he beat Siegel. He Rempe, Miserac, and Oh, my he God. Told, he told, we were talking about it yesterday. But of all those straight pool players, Miserac, I think, is the best I ever saw. Yeah, yeah. But I loved watching Calavita play. 
and Hopkins, oh, yeah, Hopkins yeah, sort of the same yeah. thing. The way they picked the rack apart. Yeah, yeah. I knew Ray Martin picked it apart. Ray, nice. Ray Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray had a lot of creep. Well, it. okay, yeah. But um, I, I, but I, I knew I like we all played straight pool. Yeah. I knew I couldn't play good straight pool because I wasn't good with saves and. Yeah. But I could run a lot of balls, uh -huh. and I so I would watch Miserac. He was the. Where you see Calavita and Hopkins picking the pack apart, Miserac mm -hmm. just oh yeah, wide wide right open. I'm yeah. left-handed, so I copied him. Uh -huh. But so I couldn't play safe. Yeah, yeah. But I could run balls. Right. Good for but, you. Uh, but uh, you got to see the good stuff. I'll tell you I, that. I was lucky, and yeah. the room he and I came out. We were very. Oh, lucky. I'm sorry. Are we? Are, are they starting? Okay. No, not yet. The game's going to start in a few minutes, folks, and then we'll shut up over here. But you guys are getting an education right here. I am. Gentleman Pat Jack Fleming Calavita. Was the I'm first sorry. Good player I ever saw play with a. Oh, One piece it, cue. Uh, Pat Fleming. No, another thing about Pat Fleming, I don't think people realize. What is that? Uh, in the last few years, everyone's going to extenders, and they give a Earl credit for these extenders on cues. Pat was using a six-inch extender in 1975. Pat invented the jump cue. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I'm telling you, he, yeah. he doesn't get credit for this. Yeah, he he was the first one that, with an extender. And Tom Jennings, a great Tom Jennings, oh, yeah, a monster, was, monster was, player. You don't even hear Tom Jennings' name anymore. And he know? won the U.S. Uh, yeah, he Open won, yeah, twice. He, yeah, right, uh, right. Back to back. Yeah, I think he just got, he was inducted in the Hall of Fame. By, he should have been. Yeah, oh, sure. But yeah. I heard he passed away a while ago. Yeah, He yeah. wasn't doing well those and, last and years. And how about, and Petey Margo just passed six I months. I love Oh, boy. I, he was in the hospital, and I was saying, I, tell, would, I was telling Al before and another guy, Petey went to the hospital in a coma, and, and I know Petey for years, so I went down to the hospital in New Brunswick, 40 miles away. I said, I got to go see this guy. You ain't checking out without, you know. And we, I was supposed to meet him the next week. I was going to take him to dinner and show him something that I found out, and I, I go to the hospital, and they said, there's no Petey Margo here. Maybe he's in our other hospital down the road. So I go there, and they said, no. So then I go home, and I go, I'm going. I know he's in the hospital. I'm going back there. So I call his, his godson, uh, Steve, and I call him Stevie Bacon because he loves bacon. Good kid. And I said, Steve, I, I don't find Petey. He says, his name is not Margo. Petey Margo, folks, is, was, he, he played in a tournament years ago, and, and the director said, what's your name? He said, Peter Margaritondo. He goes. Did you know? He that? couldn't fit the name. No, he I couldn't. Didn't know he that. couldn't fit the name in the bracket. He goes. You're now P.D. Margo. True story. Oh, I, I, never knew that. I swear to God. True story. And I knew him for forty years. Great story. I never knew it either oh. until I found out the hospital. So I went up in the hospital, and and it was oh. there were twelve people, eight people in there, and it was sad. He was and, and and I, I thought I had the wrong room, and and his son was there, and and I didn't know his son, but he said uh, you might have the wrong room. I said I'm looking for Peter Margo, and. Uh, uh, I'm not going there. Never mind. It, it was bad. You know, um, it was bad. I think the worst thing happened to Peter when he got money because he stopped playing pool. Well, he was a top, top player yeah. in the 70s and 80s. And he was great. And we talked about him for 10 minutes outside because you had Blockbuster video and all that stuff. Right. He had Palmer video, Palmer the first before ever. Before they ever right. heard of Before it. they even had video stores. He, he, said, was, he said he started out with a 10000 investment. Yeah. And what did he get, like $10 million back on his money? Yeah, and he, it was ridiculous. And Palmer video was related to like Palmer Cues. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That right. was the same place. Yeah. But we I, were just going over that outside. He was a great player. Yeah. Uh, and, and Steve Mazur. Mr. X brother in law, yeah, in fact. And in fact, Petey always bragged. He goes, I beat Stevie more than he beat me, you know? That I remember we were in New London, and the, Mr. X did something at that tournament no one else had ever done. His last four matches before he got to the finals, he ran 100 now every match, <laughs> and no one had ever done four. Yeah, yeah. So he's playing Petey Margo in the finals, yeah. and they're probably chopping, oh, you know? Yeah. They drive up together. Oh, yeah, maybe. Petey Margo opens up with like an 88, a really a great run, sure. and he missed. An easy shot, I remember. And he sat down looking dejected. As if, and you're ahead 88 to nothing against yeah, Steve yeah. Miserac. For in the finals, you're talking about. Yeah, in yeah, the finals. Right. Miserac ran out. And I, I got a story of me playing Steve Miserac. I was a kid, and he was doing an exhibition. They asked me if I wanted to play. So he broke, and I ran 18. I had an easy throw shot. My mind froze. I didn't know what to do. I shot the wrong way, missed. So he started running balls. When he got to about 70 or 80, I was pulling for him. Because I was embarrassed. I didn't want to get back up. And he ran out like 125 an hour, yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. it was. He ran out. But I didn't want to get back up to the table because I said, after watching that, what am I going to do? Yeah, yeah, Miss yeah. you yeah. another yeah. ball? Stuttering, but, yeah. <laughs> but he, he, uh, he told me one time, gave me one of the best compliments of my early life. He said, kid, you quit hustling. You're going to be a world champion someday. Cool. But I, yeah, yeah. there was more money in what I did. Than the tournaments. Yeah, and you it, lived the life. And you, I did what I wanted. You lived the life. You, you, lived, you, you lived the life. I and, never, and you yeah. know what? People today would 
claw at each other to live that life just because of the game itself, you, the you, purity of it, you know? But back then, you could, you could make a living hustling pool. Right, but... You the, can't yeah. do it now. You got to play yeah. like Van Boney. Yeah, you got to run the... But back then, you yeah. just had to be not stupid yeah. and just travel, yeah. you know? And yeah. I'm hitchhiking it sometimes. Well, <laughs> I never had to do that. <laughs> uh, well, that's Larry Liscotti. Here's a great story. Larry comes in the New London pool room. He had beaten this guy who, owned, who either owned or ran a car dealership. He beat him for a lease on a new Porsche. Like two, three months later, I see Larry outside hitchhiking. He <laughs> lost, all, he already hit the Porsche. It was gone. He had it like two months. But his, he his was one of my favorite pool players uh, in my whole life. We, I, I his son him. Lance sat in the booth with uh, us a couple of times. A great guy. Yeah, like good Lance. kid. I, yeah, I think kid. the world of him. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved his father. You know, though. I, I took, I, and he won that tournament on the ocean front in the middle of hurricane. Yeah, yeah. Ocean front, a hundred yards from the water. And he beat Miserac twice in the finals. Right, but I, I, I just wrote, took my sailboat to Florida, and as I'm passing this ocean front coliseum here, I took the pictures and I sent them to Lance. I said, Lance, right this is water. the, oh. this is the ocean view of where your old man won. You know, Larry. Uh, Larry Liscotti, you know, yeah. He'll be gone uh, 20 years next week. And it seems, wow. like, it seems like five years That's ago fast. We, we were all hanging. It well, you know, you just said it before. Where did the last 40 go? 40 go. Where did they go? Well, My kid's 46 now, yeah. It wasn't that long ago. We were the young kids. I was a young kid coming up. Yeah. Now I'm the oldest guy. I, I, I claim to be 38 for 33 years now. Yeah. My father did, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, uh, yeah. We had two, I think, in our era. We had more characters than you have now. Oh, absolutely. Pool players were hilarious back yeah. then. You know, now it's, I know they treat it like a business. We treated it like an easy way to make money without you, working. You, now, you, now, now, Bobby, you you have a uh, YouTube channel that have some of these stories? Yes, you can go on it and... It, what is it? It's under what? You, Let the viewers know, you know. You go Bobby Hunt Storyteller. Uh -huh. But you got to get the word storyteller right. Okay. If you don't, there's 10,000 things pop up. Okay, Bobby Hunt Storyteller, and, folks. And there's, three, there's YouTube. three of these, and I tell some stories. Um, most of the people. Most of them are clean. Yep. Entertainment yeah, I, stuff. They, I, I didn't tell anything. Everybody's got HBO. Bad. You know, you can but you can go to R rated. But, but they weren't like, you know, because I have children and I don't want my kids hearing some of my stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I, uh, most of the stories uh, you'll know the people, but they weren't most of the top players because I sp I scuffled around. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Like the whale. Right, he's the probably, whale. He's the only person I insulted on three hours of videos. And the whale was the kind of guy that after he died, somebody would say, maybe he's faking it. And two years later, he's just going to walk in the pool room and go, hee hee. Yeah. Remember that line? He was. Uh, uh, he, <laughs> he thrown out of every pool room in the country. Imagine was, that. And the sad, sad thing is, he could play. Yeah, oh, yeah. He really yeah. was oh, a good yeah. player. But, and you would but, never, and he uh, never really let up how good he was. He, he was played. a hu true hustler. I, I saw Bill Hendricks and Hung with him. Oh, they were best friends. Oh, sure. That's how I met the both. Yeah, guys. Billy, if I you're listening, we love you, oh, bro. I remember Billy, the Milford Rec in Connecticut. Yeah. They had this room. You could win 10000 a day, and it lasted 20 years because you had all these mobsters before the casinos opened. So they were all, the bookies all hanging around there. And I remember uh, Bill used to come up the pool room, and he'd walk in d dressed as a businessman with a three-piece suit, carrying a briefcase. <laughs> and that's stuff you don't, you don't see anymore. Yeah, the right. The guys come in with the paintbrush in their pocket. <laughs> All you had to do was shake their hand and yeah, it was so yeah. off. Oh, yeah. man. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It, it, th those were the days. Yeah. Everybody had a gimmick. Pots and pans. Pots, pots and pans. Pots and pans. Yeah, but there were so I'm many sorry. people like that. Make believe you sold pots I, and pans. I won two tournaments under the name Bobby West. <laughs> No, I, because, you know, I, one, oh, was in, sort of like Cesar Romero. Efren, oh, when he Efren, snuck when in, he when, he, when he stuck in, he says, I'm you know, Cesar Romero. The first, first time I see Efren, and I, we've been hearing about him, I go to Atlantic City, and I walk in, he's on the first table on the left. I had never seen him. And I'm watching him shoot with that long This is a nine ball? The resorts one? Ball. Yeah, one the resorts. Is that a, uh, maybe, I'm guessing. It was one of the ones. I, okay. I just remember it was Atlantic City. Yeah. It was late at night because I wasn't playing. I was just, I was actually on my way to Baltimore. So I go in there, and as I walk by the first table, there's Efren playing. Yeah. Well, I want to watch him. I've been hearing about him. He's got that long, loopy uh, stroke, yeah, yeah. the $5 cue stick. So here's how cocky I was, real loud. <laughs> I said, if he comes to Connecticut, he can get played. <laughs> Thank God he didn't, he didn't hobble. He didn't hobble. Yeah. Well, he didn't hobble English, thankfully, yeah, yeah. so he didn't show up. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> but remember, he had that big loop, he yeah, stroke, yeah. and the cue stick. Every time he hit a ball, the, he thought the stick broke. It yeah. was junk. Right. Oh, yeah. And he, but he changed his name to Cesar Romero. See, when he now, first got here. And then Danny DiLiberto was walking to a room, and he had his name on his case. And, and, and he's in a big game, and somebody says, this guy... They see his name. He didn't say it was Danny D. And, and they see his name in the, in the magazine. They go, 
So he changed the name to Julius Caesar after that. <laughs> road Players. I went, I road Player, a good book, oh, right? You read that? Yes. Oh, the, great yeah. book. You, I, you, I, yeah. I went down to uh, Reds, the same place where Eff, uh, yeah. Efren first showed up yeah, yeah. Uh, within a few months after that. Houston, was it? In Houston. In Houston, right. And you know what's funny? I had never played on eight-foot Brunswick's. We, yeah. we don't have them up here. Yeah. That whole room had eight-foot Brunswick's. Yeah, you don't and see I that. And I went in there, and they were talking about this. You know, they were talking about him. Yeah. And I, I didn't – I did all right in Houston area. Uh -huh. Um, but I was hearing about this kid, Earl Strickland. He was about 19, beating the whole world. Yeah. But when I got there, um, he wasn't around. It turned out I had played Earl a couple years earlier in North Carolina. This had to be 1977, 79. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wasn't at my best yet. My God, we're old, ain't we? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> 50 years ago. Yeah, but but, but um, I hang around in the uh, pool rooms in the North uh, around Greensboro, and we get this. We're hearing about this kid out in the country uh, named Earl who's playing run out nine ball. It's so far in the country. I mean, I don't even know if they spoke English. Yeah. We drove for an hour <laughs> in, out in the in country the mountains, yeah. and we see this little tiny grocery store. So we pull in, there's two gas pumps, there's two Brunswick Gold Crowns, which surprised me because no usually, usually down there they had junk equipment. Yeah. And uh, there was a gr it was a grocery store, had a hot order, gr all yeah. in one little building yes, yes. in the middle of the country. And here's this young kid playing run out nine ball. But he was beatable still uh -huh. because we were playing push out. Oh, so okay. with Earl, you could push it out 15 feet away, and he jacked up trying to make a jump <laughs> shot. Yeah. So as good as he was, he hadn't learned how to win yet, you know, because, he, I mean, I'm telling you, you, you could push him behind a ball, and he'd shoot at it. Best so, I ever seen him jacked up. Best I ever seen him yes, in my life. Yeah. But at this point, though, he hadn't learned all this stuff. Yeah. So I'd forgotten all about him. Right. And then... And when I get to Texas, I'm thinking, that can't be the same kid. Yeah. But in those two or three years, between when I played him and he showed up in uh, Houston, uh, Houston, he'd become a monster. Oh, yeah. You know? I rode back from Tur Turning Stone a couple times with Earl, like four hours in the car with him. We had a blast. But yeah. he's telling me a story about how him and his uncle were robbing some bar in Florida. And when they went outside, people wanted their money back. And the guy held a knife. And and then oh. they, and then his un Earl's mm -hmm. uncle comes out with his gun. Did they start? I don't believe I don't oh, know. Okay. Okay. Earl, Earl's this, uncle. this is what's going on. Uh, uh, okay, please. Al, Al, yeah, give us Guama, an update. Guam is in a one pocket match upstairs. And he's oh, gonna go down here. Okay. But these two guys here are playing a thousand Iraq to keep everybody entertained until that match is finished upstairs. Everybody so this is a thousand Iraq right here. Okay. A oh, thousand Iraq. Yeah. Um, and, and, and this is good pool here, folks, but these, these are road stories here that, that are going to be rarity. And you'll never hear them again. Uh, I hope this is going to be on tape because pool stories, right there's not, you know, everybody loves to hear them. Well, th these guys are just going to entertain the audience until Guama gets done in that, the match. Yeah, we're going to be. For we'll, a thousand Iraq. For a thousand Iraq, we're going to be on this stream here for sure, you know. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, Earl and his uncle leave the bar. And the guy wants to rob with a knife. Well, his uncle has a gun, so the guy jumps into his car and locks Everybody the doors. Everybody had a gun. Yeah, but the guy jumps in the car and locks the door. So now, never mind, I ain't robbing you. But uh, Earl's sitting in the car, and his uncle wants to shoot the guy. Earl thinks, I'm going to go to jail. because. So. <laughs> and Earl's telling these stories. But Earl's got a bunch of stories, too. Oh, everybody Yeah, is. sure. I've got a one about a gun in New York City. Uh -huh. uh, this guy, Shorty Brown, a little black guy. I, I think he was from New York, but... I knew him from Bridgeport. He was an old man. He'd done time for killing somebody. Yeah. He knew every spot in New York City. So he takes me down. We, 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 I think we were in White Plains. It was a bowling alley. I beat this guy named Manny, a Puerto Rican. And uh, he said, where are you guys going? We said, did you, I'm so safe. Did you, did you tell him? Um, so we, Manny says, where are you going? We said, well, we're going, you know, downtown. So he, he says, mind if I come? So we get down to 42nd Street. We walk up the staircase, which you could have driven a car. It was so big. We yeah, walk yeah. up two levels. Now we open, go into the pool room. The count is on your right, and there's probably 50 gold crowns on your right. You could tell, I mean, on, on the left. You could tell this room had been nice. It was a dump now. So there's maybe uh, 100 people, all black people in there, and me. So we walk in, and we're looking around. Everyone's looking at us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Puerto Rican, uh, the man, he says to me, well, you're in a bad spot, Bob. I said, why? He goes, there's 200 blacks and one Puerto Rican, and I'm with you. <laughs> so, so I was going to play. So they get me some young kid who's an up-and-coming. We play a set for 50. I win easily. 
Now I got everybody around the table talking oh, loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. And little Shorty Brown, the guy with me, he's a black man also, mm -hmm. but he's about this big. So the second set, I dump. You know, it's only $50. I blow the second set. I said, listen, we need something to eat. I'll come right back. So Manny and I <laughs> and Shorty were walking out the door. Yeah. And I said, Shorty, I'm not playing in here. Yeah, you know, because I'm not, I'm not very tough. Yeah, and I don't want to be uncomfortable. You don't need that stress. So he says, why not? I said, because I'm scared to death to play in here. Yeah, sure. Everyone's muttering about me. He pulls out a pistol. I said, Jesus, I don't want to be part of a murder. <laughs> no, I'm not playing in this place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't need that anyway. No, we're going to kill somebody over a $50 yeah. pool game. You know what? The, 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 well, you got the stress in the back of your mind while you're trying to play, too. You know, it's yeah, 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 I didn't like it. I, and, yeah. I, and it was funny, and it sounds terrible, but it was so easy to make money. I didn't have to go through that. There was yeah. so much pool action. You'll, you would never it, see that again no, ever, ever. Because it, every pool room had someone play a 10 or $20 yeah. nine ball, yeah. and you didn't have to show anything to beat them. And there's, pro there's probably maybe a handful of guys running around doing that incognito, but it's that's got to be now, a tough life. No, it's too. I, I, play, I played a guy a few years ago in New London, probably eight or nine years ago now, before the quarantine. And the guy wanted to play some one pocket, and... You know, I'm in my 60s at this point, but I'll still play, you know, $30 at right. one pocket. So I beat him like seven or eight games real quick. And he was very nice. He asked what your name was. And, and I don't lie anymore. Yeah. And I said, Bobby Hunt. Yeah. So I'm not paying attention. He's got his phone out and he's playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, look, it took me 35 seconds to find how good you are. <laughs> if he'd have done that before, yeah, sure. he wouldn't have played. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. you can't do that. And yeah. now the far goes, you can't do the things we did yeah. because everyone's sharp. Yeah. The cell phones, it's just... It was so easy back then. Just don't go near a it'll, camera it'll, it'll, and don't play on the front table. It will table. never get back there again. No, it'll never get back there again. But every don't play on the front table. you don't play on the front table. Yeah. You know, I have you don't have to use your right name. You, you don't have to yeah. use any name. You know, yeah. My my biggest negative. I'm left-handed, so you really can't disguise that. Oh, yeah. That's why we got back to Eddie. I never could hit balls in front of people until the money was posted. Right, right. Because it was obvious I could play a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But you, you know, th those days were great. Those left, those left-handers are scary out there. There's a lot of them too. I, I used to look like I, I have this friend Bruce, who a really good player out of Connecticut, Bruce DeFranz. I would love going places with him. Like we went to Ray Martin's pool room. Bruce, uh, Bruce Bru DeFranz. Oh, and uh, Bruce Carroll is up there, right? Brian Carroll, yeah. chicken guy. Chicken, that's my chicken. Partner. Oh, is it? He's my he chicken. knows me very oh, well. Chicken. Oh, I played him at the expo. What a oh, great guy! We had a blast. Chicken is my partner in all the. You tell him I said hello, oh, please, Eddie Colleen. But, but he and I. Um, hey, we, chicken man, if you listen, kick a chicken. We do the commentary up there in a the Yale billiards, uh -huh. but he's my partner. Oh, by Bobby uh, Hilton. Yeah. Bobby yes. Hilton. Oh, good. Bobby Hilton's room, yeah. uh, you hang out up there. I'll be, I'm going to take I a go, bike ride. I go yeah. there. Uh, yeah, Bobby's a good guy. I go there and I go to Southington. Yeah, Bobby yeah. hangs hangs in here in the booth with us in, oh, in Turning Stone. Yeah. yeah, right. He does a lot for the game. Yeah, oh, oh boy. He, oh, he's got, he's and he had Earl up there. And, and he had just Earl. Had, he, he just had, had Fedor Fetter, up there Fetter and Gors, Christina. And, and, and like I say, I'll do this, I do his commentary only on the good players when yeah. they show up. Right. And uh, Bobby's a great guy. Yeah, he always yeah. Push, oh, yeah. Always push and pull. I keep asking him to qu quit calling me the legend because it's embarrassing. But it, so because I told him that he, he does it more. You know, you know, I don't know if you're still active and play, but you could be sneaking around. Nobody knows who you are. You know, I know, I never, you know, never. You know, the you worst know. thing that happened about my pool game? I got money. Oh. When no. I was broke, I, I was hungry. Yeah, yeah. I don't need it anymore. Right, right. I still love pool players. I love hanging around. Yeah. I like tell, I'll bet a little, but I never bet enough for these people to dump me. Because every one of them will dump you yeah. if you bet too yeah, high. Yeah. But I do it now because I still love being Well, there. I'll tell you what. I can walk into any restaurant or any bar or anything else. I'm always looking for who do I know that's from the pool room. Oh. You, you just, you're just you always looking to see who do I know from the pool room. You, you know just what's funny about that? I was coming home from uh, Ohio one night. This was like 10 years ago. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. My wife and I stop in, a, in Newburgh at an all-night diner. I walk in, I hear this guy go, Bobby Hunt, the guy's a pool player out of Detroit, and he's here. I saw him yesterday. He came up, oh, to, really? me. He came up to me, and I hadn't seen him. He goes, Bobby. He said, I didn't know you were Bobby Hunt. He said, I watched your videos. I loved them. I said, he said, well, yeah, because I thought you were a lot younger. I said, no, I'm, I'm a lot older. Because when I played him, yeah, right. I, I was in my 60s. But a little tiny town in Newburgh, New York, at 3 in the morning, yeah. and here's a guy, a pool player. Yeah, I, I, I'm, in, I'm sitting at McDonald's having pancakes and coffee, and in walks P.D. Margo with his godson. Oh. And, and that week he was going into the Hall of Fame for straight pool, and I look up, and I, so I got pictures of him. We were uh, hanging out. And 
you know, I, I remember uh, getting back to Baltimore. It was the best action city right. that I had seen. Yeah, yeah. But I remember you could play the bars until 2, then you go to the pool rooms. But then you get back to the bars around 7. Bethlehem Steel had about 20,000 workers. They got off the work wow. at 7. They went to the titty uh, Went to the vault, all the bars yeah. around there, and uh, you could get away with that here. Uh, yeah. Okay, the, yeah. oh, they went to the titty, yeah, yeah. The titty bars. Yeah. They're in there playing five ten dollar ring games all, all morning. I sit in there. Oh. Mike Siegel walks in. Buddy Hall. Oh. I mean, yeah. they, because these guys, yeah. were, well, you know, they all had money. They all worked. Yeah. Yeah, it was such. Yeah. Uh, uh, here's another. I'm in a place in North Carolina. Jay Swan walks in. Yeah. I stole his rack. I still have it. <laughs> he had a real nice, real nice wooden rack. I took it out of his you, car. You're speaking about Baltimore. Q maker Mike Lambros. You're Oh, I know him. I played vaguely. pool with him in the USO in 72 in Athens, Greece. 72? We, we're, we were friends for like 50 years. Uh -huh. I didn't see him for 38 years because I quit quit the game for 20. Uh -huh. And then I called him on the phone. I said, you ever in the Navy? He says, yeah, 72 Athens, Greece. I said, Mikey, it's me. We're, we're like good uh -huh. friends again. I call him all the time. Well, I ran him one time. He offered me a free queue. I was at a Hopkins he show. He sponsors Pat Fleming, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Well, Pat's a great player. Yeah. But I was down at, at, at you know, the show, Hopkins show. He had a booth. Yeah. He wanted to give me, and Ginky told him I was a good player. And, and at the time, he was making cues for Ginky. Uh -huh. So I went over. He wanted to make me a cue. Yeah. And we had come up a beautiful cue. Well, Paul Drexel heard the whole thing from Connecticut. I come back, and Paul says, uh, Bob, he's not going to make a cue. I am. I was livid. But I can't say anything. So Paul made me a cue. It was so hideous. I had it for a year and never left the house. You know what? I could, I could almost before you leave. Before you leave, before you leave, sir, you're gonna right. you're gonna get on the phone with Lambros if you want. Oh no, I wouldn't. Know, okay, I wouldn't even know. Just to say, oh, okay. actually, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and it, Tom, this is the best. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Jr. is is the funniest guy in the world, and he just had a bad car accident, and he's recovering. But I love Tommy Jr. I mean, I I told you about how he attacked. I'm sorry. A little bit. Yeah, like, a little bit. The difference between Tommy and I, if I beat you for 400, I'm going to say, yeah, I beat you for 500. Tommy beat you for 400, he's going to say he won 17,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, a little bit. <laughs> I, I love Tommy. Uh, I, I, I've known him since, you, since he and Robbie Sayers and Mike Abbott. Rob Sayers is here, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, saw, I saw Robbie uh -huh. this morning. But I met them. They all came in the pool room when they were about 15. And at the time, I was... Uh, Actually, I'd got my first job, so I was on the. Di I was 36, and I got a job finally. That's when I met his first job kids. at 36. <laughs> well, God like bless it. America. I lasted a few years. Yeah, good but, for you. You know, I never. My, my my father always thought I was lazy. I never minded working. Yeah. But they want you there every day. Yes. Yeah, it's I, I it's a criminal. I it's criminal. I couldn't promise. <laughs> so if they let me come and go. Yeah. I would still have a job. They got but some nerve. What, you know, if, if <laughs> I, I have every intention of being there in the morning. Yeah. But if a pool player shows up, what am I supposed to do? You got to play It's like giving pool. money away. That's yeah. even if, I don't even care if I lost. I'd rather play pool and lose oh, yeah, than yeah. not play at all. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. I don't mind losing. Now, at this stage in my life, I'm not going to lose any real money. This is incredible stuff here, Al. A couple minutes I ago swear on to God. the chat, the Shark Stream said hello to you. The shark, oh. oh. The shark Stream. The Shark Stream. Yeah, Bobby Hill. Yeah, yeah, Billy. Oh. Hi, Bobby. Hey, uh, Bobby, if you're listening, how are you? Bobby Hilton is great. Yeah, yeah. He, he's my boy. And he's giving back big time. Oh, he's, 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 and yeah. he's a pool freak. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, yeah. Except for him, the, the nicknames he gives me, I love the guy. Like that right there, Bobby I, the Legend Hunt? I can't. No, he didn't say that. Yes, where, he did. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, that's the shark stream. I asked him to stop so he does it more. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Bobby's a great guy. I can't see the chat because oh, of, okay. of the glasses, so, folks. But I'm gonna uh, Bobby, I'm wearing, I'm wearing your shirts off and on. Uh, cool. But he, he's a great guy, and he wants Bull to do well. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, I go, it's only 20 minutes from my house, and I go over there. Uh, mostly I go to a room in Southington because the seniors go there on Tuesdays <laughs> and Thursdays, and I hang around the old guys. <laughs> Robin the blind, isn't no, it? Brian, no, I, <laughs> no, I, I, I tell stories. Oh yeah, I know, as I and you do it well, man. I'm not kidding. As I got older, I I like telling stories. Man, you know. this is better than the driving movies. I swear it, to God. You know, sad thing, I did those videos. Well, those the stories you're telling right now are recorded also, uh, so I'm gonna have. Oh right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I was hoping uh, it was my best stories. We can't. We yeah, are. but and, but and when but, I did those videos, I said I'm not gonna tell anything bad about anyone still alive or their families because I don't want her one's feelings. And when I did, I said, I'm not going to talk about if I was a good player, because every pool player I ever saw in an interview talked how great they were. Yeah, so yeah. I never said I was good or bad, but I, I, I like telling. It turned out to be a lot of fun. And I, some, I watched them all. Oh, did you? I watched them. 
Well, you know the characters. That's the sad thing. Most people don't know the characters. Well, not all of them. But, but if you know the characters, yeah. yeah. If you know the characters, you can appreciate it. Yeah. More. And it's and it's Bob. It's Bobby Hunt storyteller on YouTube. Bobby Hunt storyteller. Okay, but folks. Uh, and the only person I insulted Al on every video I did was uh, Steve the Whale. The oh man was boy. a piece of garbage. Yeah. Oh. Big there was Steve. another guy. There's another guy. A guy in Connecticut. Oh, comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was garbage. Yeah. But we had a guy in Connecticut that was like the last two under the whale as being a creep. <laughs> His name was Terry Hogan. Terry Hogan. Terry what? Terry, Hogan. Terry Hogan. Hogan. Well, let me tell you a story he did. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is terrible. Is this the exhibition? <laughs> he, yes. Yeah, okay. Mike Euphemia, who, when I grew up, he was considered to have the high running pool. Yeah, yes. His name was in the record yeah, books. Yeah, yeah. 625. Moscone. He'd run more than Moscone by right. on. But when he died, his name disappeared. Yeah. Well, he's doing a, an, an exhibition in the New London pool room. And I'm standing with this guy, Terry Hogan. We're leaning against the table. We had a perfect view mm -hmm. between things. Well, Mike Euphemia has a heart attack and hits the floor. At, and at the table. At the, oh, yeah. yeah right he he fell table. down. His head, I still remember yeah. the sound. It sounded like when you kick a foot. Like a melon hit the thud. floor. No kidding. He's yeah, on the bad. floor. His wife is over him. Scream, they're screaming. Call this trying to man. get a hydro, the this guy nitroglycerin pill on yeah, his Yeah, trying tongue. to get the tongue. So the, the guy next to me, Terry Hogan, the total degenerate. <laughs> Didn't have any teeth oh, from bar fights. You know? oh, he God. walked over to him. You want to play something now? <laughs> I said, this is, I, you know what's funny? I get, oh. I get a phone call. I'm going down to North Carolina because the tobacco money was coming in, and we'd always try to get down there. <laughs> so I take him down to, North, to Wilson, North Carolina, and Earl Herring's Wilson. there. Wilson, Earl, 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 Earl. Okay, well, Earl Herring comes down. He shows up. Yeah, what a classic. He walks David. in. Well, he's not classic. Yeah. He walks in. The guy behind the counter says, "You can't come here." He goes, "Why not?" Oh, he said, no. "We don't let your kind play here, boy." Really? You know, and and the guy whose name was Emmett Emmett Williams. Uh -huh. call. He's sitting there in a chair, and Earl says, "But you accept my uh, my uh, uh, entrance fee?" Yeah. He opened his shirt. He had a big gun. He said, "Your kind can't play here, but if you want." You can go stand in front of the bathroom with the women because they wouldn't let the women in the place area. <laughs> oh. But uh, oh, so this guy, Earl, this guy Terry Hogan comes down with me, yeah. and he had a wife, real pretty girl, uh, Deborah. Yeah, you pay her by the hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we, we hung around there. <laughs> <laughs> we get a motel. We, we all knew Deborah. He gets a motel. <laughs> you I, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that they were arrest warrants out when we brought him down. With oh him. God! And I was with a guy named uh, Billy Dunsmore. They used to call him the chicken. chicken. Oh, chicken, chicken. man! Oh, chicken. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> looked like Purdue. Yes. He looks like after Purdue. You look like I played him in the U.S. Open one year. Yeah. He could play. Yeah, after, yeah. And after I got off the phone, I'll, I'll tell you what I caught him doing in the bed next to me. He's a that's, that's, okay. a yeah. story. that's a different story. <laughs> so Terry there shows up with no money. He convinces these Indians. You know, they have the uh, dothead Indians down there. The they Delhi own, Indians. They own all the uh, all the uh, motels on Route 301. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So he convinced them he had a check coming. He was going to stay for a <laughs> While we're there, three times that week, he makes a bankroll. He had no money. I see him one time. I'm going to play this big, this big farmer comes in. He had a stack of money because the tobacco had come in. Yeah. A, a four inches thick. Somehow Terry bites him for some. And I see him going to, he's going to pay you guys for uh, X amount of money. He says, Where, you got any money? He points at me. <laughs> I left. I came back. He won money. But he did one of the greatest things I ever saw. He went into a black bar. He beat the place. Called, and now they're screaming at him. He had his wife call the police. <laughs> said, said they were being robbed. The police came and escorted him out. <laughs> Last I saw Terry, I was coming north. His wife had to earn a little money. They went south. He got involved in the 900 sex phone numbers. Made a ton of money. Then he went to jail. Got out of jail and died in his sleep. This guy should have been killed a hundred times. That's amazing <laughs> stuff. Man. He, he came into my pool room. I had a little pool room in Sabre, Connecticut. He played with his coat on. I said, why? He says, I got to run out without paying. I'm not leaving anything behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, so this is He needed. was the last two under, under the whale of being a creep. But, but Sounds like. Oh, God. The whale, though, was big and scary. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he really. I gave he, him a box of palms to sell to me. He probably kept them all, I assume. Yeah. yeah. No, he's garbage. He was trying to collect. He was. The way, the we, yeah. we can't hear you, sir, oh. so hold on. Yeah, yeah. Go so I gave Sto Steve yeah. a box of uh -huh. cues. What happened when was when Palmer was open, the only way I can get the cue that I liked half price was to open up uh, an account. So I opened up an account. You had to buy X amount of cues. So I had a bunch of sneaky peeps and all kind of other cues in there. So I go down to Fieldstern. It was 60 tables. It was the biggest pool room in the world, I believe, at the time. And uh, 
His two kids, Kenny Brusk's kids, were running the joint. Kenny Jeff, Brush? Kenny Brusk. Oh, okay. I said, hey, guys. I said, look, got a bunch of cues. Put them in your showcases on consignment. Pay me when you sell them. Make what you want. This is what I paid for them. I, didn't, I wasn't looking to make a dollar. They didn't know what to do. So Steve came down. I gave Steve the cues. When the owner of Fieldston came down, he said, hey, Al, I heard you got a bunch of Parmas. You want to put them in the showcase? I said, yeah. And they were pretty good cues. They I were said, good, yeah. I, I still have one. The early ones, yeah. yeah. I said, uh, but your boys didn't know what to do, so I gave him the big Steve to sell. He says, oh, you're never getting your money. Now we go <laughs> a couple hours after, we find out big Steve is in action and a Latin lady playing pool. I walk in with Jimmy, who's known for doing what he's doing. Steve wins, I think he won that set. Comes over and says, hey, Al, I got your money. <laughs> yeah. He had respect for Jimmy. I had heard if you called him on it, as big and strong as he was, he would always back down. Uh, I don't know if that's I know, true. I never he, had he a would, call on him some like guy, that. Some I guy, don't know either. Some little guy in the golden queue said, was he seen him mounting off to somebody. He says, come on, let's go outside. I'll, I'll try you out. And this was a little stocky guy. And Big Steve looked over and said, no, maybe I better not. That's what, that's what I had heard about Right. Steve. But yeah. he was big and Im imposing. Yeah, if he, he got, really in the phone booth, he's going to win. And if you needed a fake passport or a license, yeah. he'd get it. He's going to he's going to. i tell you, I liked him. He yeah. was total garbage. He was but, a character. Yeah. Oh, I, swear. I like everybody. Well, so. he, he wanted to bet $100 one time, and Jersey Mel's there, and a bunch of guys from Rest Plaza Beach. Rest Jersey Mel's so too. Big Steve takes a $100 bill, throws it on the floor, right in the middle of all of us, walks up to the counter. As soon as he turned his back, Jersey Mel grabs it real quick. Now he, now he turns around, and the 100 has gone, and there's five guys standing there. Gone. There's the ghost. I see. No, he knew it. He, he, lost, he lost it. I got one of Steve Whale. We're in, we're in the New London pool room. I'm sitting, you know, pool boys always get together. I'm sitting with Hopkins and so on. So I don't remember how many people yeah, there yeah. were. But Ray Martin was playing on one table, and the next one was Jimmy Rempe. Oh, Rempe. Yeah. So the whale, so one of the, he's betting with Hopkins, betting against Rempe, or vice versa. I forgot exactly what it was. Just as Jimmy Rempe is shooting the nine ball, the whale, who's 600 pounds, yeah, yeah. jumped up like this in front of him. <laughs> he drove the ball right into the rail. He looked at whale. Whale, now yeah, right. whale wins the bet now yeah. because he did. And he looked at whale and didn't say a word. Yeah, what, the are, what are you going to say? Hop, Hopkins is just yeah. laughing so hard. Yeah. We, we all are. But he just jumped up. Uh, like, the, like the way you, you folks have no idea how... How uh, Bobby just stood up here. This like, guy was, you can imagine. He was a monster. He, he was huge. And he, but he, could and he was, was tall, big. too. But he, he, yes. he but was he, so tall. He really could play. Yeah. He didn't have to do he had all a, He had a smooth stroke, yes, that guy. He could, but he yeah. just would rather be a tush hog than, a, yeah, you know, than get yeah. up there and play. He was never going to change. Oh, my God. He was, yeah. he was, <laughs> it was garbage. But yeah. I liked him. He, well, he got Devil Dave at the pool room. There was a big guy that was collected for the mob. Uh, Jim O'Leary, big construction. This guy was massive. And and Devil Dave was going to buy an engagement ring for his wife from Big Steve. Jimmy, could you check this out? Make sure it's ivory. I mean, a diamond is that it's real. So he scratched it. Jimmy goes, yeah, it's real. So Big Steve grabs the bag and goes, no, I'm, never mind. I ain't going to sell it. In the meantime, now he switches it with the zirconia. And and he goes, okay, here. you know. And Devil I Dave gotta, got caught. Devil, I got to tell you one yeah. thing. I'd like to say I wouldn't have done the same thing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would have done it too. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? Is it ain't church. <laughs> as I've gotten older, when two victim people gamble now, they give me the up money. Forty years ago, they couldn't give me the up money because yeah. I was taking a little nick. So no one trusted me. Yeah. All of a sudden, when I'm in my 70s, people treat me like I'm honest. Yeah. I try to say, I'm as treacherous as the rest of them. I just act nice. Now we're older. <laughs> that's, the only that's the only difference. I, I have manners. The rest of these guys don't he's, have any he's, manners. He's got that P.D. Morgan demeanor, doesn't he? Oh, he's oh, yeah. the best. Yeah, the best. That's good, good stuff here. Yeah. I thought the world of P.D. Morgan. <laughs> yeah. I did too. No. Boy, I miss that man. Did, did Dave Ackerlich die? Oh, he did. I'm sorry. I, yes, I, he did. I, I but I but you mentioned. In his sleep. Now, now, oh, good for him now like, a P, like you said, I mentioned to Pat, probably at the funeral. We went down to his funeral, and I said, Pat, the guy always had a smile. I swear to uh, God, I'd never seen anything like it, and he, ever. And he was a great player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a, uh, that to beat Stevie more than he beat him, sure. Yeah. I don't think anyone in the world played better straight yeah, in God. my life yeah, yeah. than Steve Miserac. Yeah. And, and I think Siegel was great. But I thought Miserac was the best they ever saw. Oh, when, to, w and to watch him go. Yeah, yeah sure. And, and I like to play one pocket. Yeah. And uh, I think... I don't think anyone was any better than Hopkins at one pocket. Mm -hmm. But my favorite one pocket was an old timer named Jack Cooney. He's the sharpest pool hustler I ever met. He would go into a spot. 
I went to a place in Texas. I go in, I win like 1,200. He wins 15,000. He did it over. He would lay a nice little, he went to Baltimore, where I, I did pretty good in Baltimore. He goes 3,000, can't see. Came back a month later, he wins like 40. Yeah. He was the smartest pool hustler that I, and he's still alive, but he's in his 80s now. But ask any of the old time pool players, Cooney was the smartest player. I heard that name over the years. And here's one reason. When I knew he was smarter than all of us, I was in Philadelphia. There was a one pocket. Jimmy Fusco had a one pocket tournament. And I'm staying down there, and we're all sitting, the pool boys sitting telling stories. And across the room, you got all the steak horses, and Jack Cooney sitting in the middle of steak horses. And I said, This guy is smarter than all of us. Because we have no money. Mm -hmm. He was with the money people. Yeah, yeah. He, in fact, in, at Derby Why City. Did that video end? No, okay, keep on going. We were at Derby City, the old Derby yeah. City. They had a room upstairs called the Cooney Room. Right. He had played a, a, a $60,000 set. Back then. Back then, yeah, in the yeah. other well, yeah, yeah. And uh, they said he played for like three days, and at the end of the third day, they were even. He said, let's bet a little more. They raised it to 120, and they said he beat the guy in eight games in a row. <laughs> and with Jack, you don't know if he was stalling for three days. Or it just Very. turned out that he's the smartest of the old pool hustlers. Yeah. And he got the, I think he's living in Las Vegas. So I'll, but he, he just one second. I'm sorry, Bobby. Go ahead. To finish that one, I just got to give an update here. Okay, uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I, I, I've, I've heard he lives in Las Vegas now, yeah. but if I'm 73, he's got to be early 80s. And yeah, he, he, yeah. He was the smartest pool hustler. I thought Alan Hopkins is one of the smartest pool players I ever saw. I love watching him at the table. You, you can actually, they almost watch him think. Running balls. Allen had that little stroke yeah. also, right? Wasn't it crazy? Oh. You, you know, it's funny about that stroke. Yeah. When I was getting good in the early 70s, all the old timers would say, would say to me, uh, they'd say, oh, you have a beautiful stroke, Bob. And they, um, they made my ego so big. Yeah. And yeah. then I started leaving Connecticut. And I see Hopkins. Yeah, with, with that no little stroke. jerk thing. And then yeah. you got Keith McCready, whose stick is three feet out of the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I can't beat these guys. Yeah, yeah. And after that, I no longer was impressed with my stroke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Well, he's you, the best. You, you got a, lot, a hell of a lot of memories, and you got the memory that, that you remember all of it. I can remember what I was wearing. I can remember when I was four, so I got a great memory yes, also, I, you know. But I Good love, for you, man. I love being a pool player. A lot player. of guys can't remember that, you know. Most I mean, guys were doing drugs and drinking, and yeah. I never did that. So, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't do much. Yeah. You know? Sometimes you had to do a little speed because you had to stay awake. I was but, uh, I was 146 pounds at one time, so yeah. I came over from Vietnam. Yeah. I'm done. I'm I done. came over from Vietnam. I was 147. Yeah, yeah. That was about 60 yeah. pounds ago. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. And, and I'm two inches shorter too than, <laughs> than I was. I snuck in the navy. Uh, I, I wanted to go to Nam. I really did. I uh, just. I, my father was a, you know, veteran. Uh, oh. Back then, uh, we... Uh, every, all our fathers every, went to World every, War Two. And, 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 yeah. and, and you would have booted your ass from all of them, too. Yes. We, oh, yeah, you had Different to, worlds. You had to go into service when I came up. Well, we had the draft still, also. Yeah. You yeah. know, we all knew we were getting drafted, especially me. I stopped going to high school because I was making more money. I snuck in with a back that crooked. Wow, that's pretty... I have severe scoliosis. It's crazy. So. Well, yeah. Well, I'm well, sorry, you didn't see You want to play some? <laughs> what are you giving up? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Jeez. Holy moly. They said, they said if you bet heavy, uh, you'll rattle. So I'll, let's raise the bet. Rodney, some guy did that to Rodney. Rodney comes out with that story now and then, too. They, they, Rodney's beating up some guy, and the, and the house guy says, he'll rattle if you bet more. And, you know, they did. <laughs> just you know, I played, I played Rodney when he first got here. Yeah. Uh, he was with, with Jersey that, now. Uh, with he, but that was the second time. Yeah. Oh, okay. The first time I played him, he was with uh, the guy with the fake leg, uh -huh. Tony. Yeah. And I never think. Cantangio? It's not coming. He used to collect Zambodis, and he owned a pool room somewhere in New Jersey. But I played him then, so then he came back with Mel. And, yeah. I, and it, he got here late, so we came to my house to play. Um, he, he and uh, Mel came to my house. He, and Mel, I, and so I'm sorry not to cut you off, but Mel was losing like 70000 a week at one time. Go I ahead, know, continue. When he was, was uh, yeah. vibing. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's why I, you know, oh, I sure. wanted to play him all the time, because he bet higher, and he, and he wouldn't pull up, and he... His, his senses weren't sharp. Yeah. But so they come up to my house to play because Rodney and I played eight sets in uh, Bristol, uh, Bridgeport. I'm sorry, uh -huh. Bridgeport. He beat me 200 a set. He beat me five out of the eight. But I still felt this before anyone knew who he was. Right. You know, so it wasn't like I was playing a champion. So I, I didn't know I was playing a champion. We come up to my house to play, and the way the house was set up, the the glass doors are right here, and you break right towards them. Every other pool player I brought to my house, going through I, think, the window. I think they were going for the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rodney came to my house, and he wouldn't play me in my house. He's the only one 
that respected my house enough not play. So we sat there and watched TV all night. Oh, and we got a little friendly. I don't think he remembers me now because that would have been whatever he, when the year he won. Right, he's, uh, he won pretty, the sharp. he's sharp, well, he's sharp. Yeah. Yeah. But he sees me now, he doesn't re- acknowledge me. But that was the year well, he won the Who's going to recognize you 80 years later, you know? Well, you are right about that. <laughs> yeah. My hair isn't I, quite the I same color. I see people that I went to school with after 50 years, and I see them in a the diner, and I yell. And they go, who the hell are you? You know, do you don't know, you know. It goes fast, folks. It went by so quick. It goes quick. I swear, especially after like forty-five, I guess. Man, where did it go? Do we have any chat anymore? Uh, or is it? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just somewhere. Because uh, I, my, I was hoping. Uh, I don't know where it is. Uh, I was if you guys are chatting, we can't see it, and I'm sorry if we're not answering you. Yeah, that's. But get ready. Like we got. We got. What do we got here? How much was the game coming it up was here? Twenty thousand, right? It was twenty thousand, but Wama's still upstairs playing a one. Oh, that's right. Well, so these guys are playing a thousand yeah. a rack. Right. Somebody's in. The, oh, that's right. Thousand a rack here, on a bar box. No, on the. On oh, the on the ten foot. Okay. Yeah. The bar box. They're just. Uh, we don't know what they're doing here. Don't know what that that the uh, thousand race to ten for a thousand that ended a little while and, ago. And these are four and an eighth pockets here. Really tight. Nice table. This is a beautiful now, setup. This now, is a beautiful now, setup. now, how close were you to going to Johnson City? I was you about five it? years. You missed away. it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's one of my regrets. Wasn't yeah, me too. Wasn't I, it a shame? Yeah, I, it's all I you wish, heard about. You I know? wish I was five years older, because I would have loved to have said I, I knew Johnson City. What a point! I know that Clary Lascotti was my friend. Right. He's five years older than me, and he got to see that. Well, I don't I know. I don't know what it looked like there, and I, but I can imagine it looked like the first night here. There was a crowd in here, and money flying, uh, negotiation everywhere. It had to look like Johnson City back in the day. I would have loved to have seen yeah. it back then. Oh, sure. You know, they know air conditioning and but everyone was yeah you still had a you had to be there minnesota fast was still around right right. i would have yeah. loved to have seen those yeah. days yeah you know? danny danny tells me danny oh, yeah, told Danny's me a lot about there. that too we had a, a player out of connecticut named johnny vivas who won the first world one pocket at johnson city in 1961. johnny who Johnny vivas really they, they called him connecticut yeah. johnny but he's in the record books he won the first one in, in and, uh, and beat in, the monsters then. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was a top. Well, yeah, player. Weenie Beanie and everybody back yeah, then. They were, yeah, they I, wow. I saw a picture. Jersey Red, right? Yeah, I saw a picture of the whole group, and it was every one of those old times. Is that right? And Johnny Vivas won the first one. You and should my, hang on to that picture uh, if you can find it. Of yeah, course, well, you, well, you know when, whoever it is. But when Johnny pays me what he owes me, I'll get the picture. Like like that check on your wall. Same thing. <laughs> I'm, not getting, I'm not getting paid for either one. 460. <laughs> 460. Add the name to the list. <laughs> it, it, it's still on my wall in the house. Uh, good memories, though. Yeah, if, I mean, it doesn't mean... You probably I, wouldn't trade it in. If he paid me, yeah. I would have forgotten. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. You think players out there yeah. that are in this room now have stories like this? No, no. You, no, wouldn't, they don't. you wouldn't take 460 for the picture on the wall. Oh, no. I, no, I, I, I love having Hell no, we are. It showed wow. me how stupid and yeah. naive I was. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another story. I can't believe I didn't meet this guy a million years ago. Here's a story of how naive I was when I first started. Uh, I'm out of Connecticut. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So there was a guy named Jim, Eddie O'Connell who, who schooled me, had an older brother, Jimmy, who wasn't as good as Eddie. So I was in the pool room one day, and I'm still a kid, you know, but I'm getting better and better. I'm not as good as Eddie, but I'm better than most people at the time. So Jimmy O'Connor, I don't, oh, I'm playing bad, and I'm whining. I, I, don't, I stopped whining, but when I first started, I was yeah. a crybaby. And I'm whining, I can't play. So this guy, Jimmy, who I think pool players were all my friends, so he says to me, dead serious, no, Bobby, I know how I can get you back in stroke. And I said, how? He says, you got to play somebody you spot. You spot him more than you ever spotted him in your whole life. Even though it's a bad game, it'll make you try harder, knock you, put me back in stroke. So I spotted Jimmy Moore and never spotted me, busted me. <laughs> and I realized right then, these guys aren't my friends. <laughs> but I was so naive. I'm on a little town called Guilford, you know, in a rec center. I learned to play in a rec center with my friends. And now I'm around these real thieves and crooks, you know. And it was a difficult Oh, it was, oh, it was hard. It was oh, treacherous. I'm treacherous. watching Jersey Mill. Talk to my friend, my haircutter's kid, who I know, man, we're good friends. And this kid's like 16, and he's playing Jersey Mill. And Jersey Mill standing next to him, he goes, you're playing good. And the kid's going, you think so? And uh, I'm like, hey, kid, get out of here. You ain't doing this Jersey Mill. Get out of here. I know this guy. He <laughs> get out of here. We had a guy in Connecticut named Pat Lee. This is, uh, <laughs> he died like 15 years ago. Uh-huh. But he had the worst stroke you've ever seen. But he would gamble. It was like a pump pool. handle. Yeah, like a, I mean, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> but, but. He told me one time the reason he played that way, 
he, Eddie Taylor told him what a beautiful stroke he had. <laughs> I said, will you gamble with him? He goes, yeah. So to the day he died, he Eddie. remembered how great his stroke was. And he was terrible. Eddie I, Taylor. I played him 25 to 4, one pocket, and robbed him. <laughs> but, but he always had that big stroke because Eddie Taylor said, well, of course, Eddie Taylor, yeah, he's robbing you. But he, oh, my God. Al, get this guy out of the booth, Al. <laughs> get this guy out of here. Oh, uh, I got a message for you. You know what? Colleen. This is, this is all going to be on tape. This is great stuff. Hello, now. Colleen. Oh, you can't do that. So you got to wait. I mean, oh, oh, you're talking to somebody. My no. wife? For this? No. Yeah, we his, hear his you. Colleen, his wife, Colleen. Oh, what's oh, she, okay. she sent me a message. Hello. Oh, you're in trouble for all the stories oh, going she on says here. She, she <laughs> says she's listening. she's listening to it. Mike Keith says hello as well. You're, oh, good, good. you're in big yeah, trouble, mister. You. We can't see the chat, folks. But I've got it on my phone. I, I thought you were talking to somebody individually. No, 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 no. And you didn't know that. Oh, I'm Mike. A, it, nobody gets mad at me. Yeah, no, no, I can no. I say whatever <laughs> I want. No one's mad you at me. You got me in tears over here. <laughs> this guy, Mike, who uh, he's talking Mike to. Mike Keith, hello. Uh, uh, one of the ni nicest guys in the world. Well, so he, he and I gambled for a while, and I edged him out. Maybe thirteen thousand. <laughs> so my daughter, my daughter got married. At, I invited Mike to the wedding. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I invited my, Mike to my sixtieth birthday party. My daughter was there. I said, Mike, I want you to meet someone. He comes over. I said to my daughter, This is the man that paid for your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> but he's he's one of the greatest guys. He's one of my best friends in pool out of the New London area. I, but then, what the worst thing that could ever happen? He got married, had kids, and he stopped the, gambling. The New London. Now that. Is on the north. Uh, is on the on the southeast east. southeast part of the yeah, state. Yeah, on the long but shore. you can see it on off the highway, correct? I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, the pool room. You off 95. Yeah. You, yeah. I yeah. remember yeah. seeing that. That room's been there since the 60s. And I saw that one day. I'm riding by. I go. Uh. There's a pool. It's a billiards, I think, or that something. That was one of the best rooms on the east coast. Yeah, I pass it. And all now the, it's not. It's yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah. The, it's changed. I just caught, yeah. It just caught my eye, and it's, I'm like, yeah. wow, look at that. That you room know. had, I got the, that's a week. He I was broke. I wasn't going anywhere playing. But I, that I, room had so much action from, when I got, was getting good, Milford Rec, another room in Milford, had more money because you had all the gangsters and yeah. the bookmakers. But that room had the best players, and every top player back in the when, country. There were still road players back then. And, and folks, and it, they the, all went through there, and. You know, and, and you're talking about original gangsters oh, here. You, are you kidding? It oh, ain't like, it ain't oh, like yeah. nothing like today. Yeah. You know what's funny about the gangsters? You could beat them for all their money, mm -hmm. you, but if you insult them once, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> so I, you, yeah. you could bet thousands. Yeah. Just don't be an idiot. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, I mean, I loved them. And yeah. the guy that discovered me was a, a mobster, and he took me around and showed me how to make the meat. I played him when I first met him. Played me $10 nine ball. I broke me in the first nine. He beat me 11 racks in a row and busted me. Right. Um, he, but I didn't really know how to yet. I didn't know what push out was. So the next time I go in there, there's a kid in there playing. Put, put, but the name was Lou. Played pretty good pool. And he was uh, younger than me. I was probably 22. He would have been maybe 18. So I, 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 I think I'm a pool player. And I don't even know what push out is yet. And he says, well, I'll play you some. You've got to give me the 789. I don't know what that means. You got it. I had to write him a check. He but, couldn't believe someone yeah. gave him a check when he lost money. <laughs> but I, I paid my dues. These, but these guys all. Do you know, do, now, now, do you know the Greg Sullivan story about the check? The, 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 um, Greg Sullivan. You know Greg I Sullivan? Know, yeah, this. Well, Greg, here's a story for you guys. This, this might be one of the better stories in pool also. Greg Sullivan is in Louisville years ago, and they take a guy out for 3500 And the guy says, I don't have the money. I can't get it until tomorrow morning when the bank opens. And Greg says, well, that's fine. We'll just wait till we'll, we'll all go together. I would have sat there with well, him. Well, he went into the bank with Greg, and he's filling out the f withdrawal. And he says to Greg, you mind if I go to the teller by myself? And, and I heard this from Greg, so I know it's true, you know. And, 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 and Greg's standing there, and he goes up to the teller, he gets the money, and he leaves. And the teller's looking over at Greg with a funny look. So Greg walks over to the teller and says, does he have an account here? And she's got a crazy look on him. He goes, yeah. He robbed the bank that paid the 3500 FBI showed up, the <laughs> cops. <laughs> True story, folks. <laughs> and that's the kind of that's story awesome. that's, she, you got to write this stuff down. T. Roberto had a story like that. He beat some guy, and the guy goes, I'll pay you. I'll be right back. They went over to the bank. He robbed the bank, ran by Danny, gave him the money, and kept running. Oh, oh Jesus. And I, I, read, I read that in Danny's book. <laughs> but, you know what? I don't remember that. And oh. Road player. Jay Helfer wrote that, I think. Oh. And it's a good book. You he know? had a great story in that book of Larry Lascotti, who... I talk about Larry a lot. Yeah, yeah, well, I hear that. Well, well you, he's yeah, up that way anyway. Yeah, and when, yeah. I, when I came up, he was the best player. Right. One, you know, one of the best in the country, and he happened to live in Connecticut. Yeah. But Danny told a story. He was in uh, Las Vegas. Back when the Stardust 
it was more of a motel. You had to go outside to your room. So he said, Larry got went broke gambling. And Danny said he had just won like 3,500. They come walking back to the room, and people don't realize in March in Las Vegas, it's cold out because there was a pool there, swimming pool. Yeah. He said, so he said to Larry, you jump in that water, I'll oh. give you 200. Oh, I'll give you 200. <laughs> he said, without hesitation, Larry, he went into the water, came out. Now, here's the part I, I, I love the best. Larry came out of the water. Now, it's freezing. Does out. Lance know this? Uh, I've told him. Lance, okay, good. Lance knows most okay, of good. I'm sure he's heard it a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, I, I tell a lot of stuff. I, I don't want him to miss it, that's no. all. Well, he's heard most of the ones I have about his father. Okay. Um, he said, the Danny said, Larry came right out of the pool. You know, he's soaking wet, he's yeah. freezing. And, and Danny says to Larry, Larry, I was going to give you $200. You didn't have to jump in. And Larry goes, yeah, I was going to jump in the pool anyhow. And that was a, just a good wow, uh, Larry was the biggest. Here's a great Larry story. Yeah, go ahead. I'm up in uh, Maine with, with Larry and Joe Liberti, a friend of ours. Portland? Uh, Portland. Portland, Maine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kerry Huber had a really nice, right. had a nice room. Well, a friend of ours who's in the other room now, Joe Liberti. And I are up there playing one at a one pocket tournament. They had they had big action up in that one for a while. Yeah, and then it, it, it was died. A, it was it, well, it was a big big match. It was, it, everybody in the world was. It was there. a great for a short time, and then after and the owner died. I think it, it died from it died from COVID too. Now I think I it shut know, down. I, uh, I think it was I, Union that was the name of it or something. You, Union. It was in the Union Plaza. Okay, but right. it was called Spot Shot. Okay, but it was in the Union Plaza. Yeah. I used to I, when I had a job in the eighties. I used to go up there on vacation, so I, I knew about this spot. But um. What was I gonna say about Larry and I lost my? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, um, something about Larry in Maine. It ain't, yeah, I can't. Oh, oh, that was what it was. So we're at the pool tournament, and there's a guy. Um, I'm not gonna mention his name. Asked Larry to play some uh, bar pool, a bar nine ball, 300 a game. So I said to Larry, "Let me, can I get 100? You know, so so Larry beats the guy 10 games. So what should my end be at 100 a game? You gotta get a Gino, yeah. Well, you think I would. So, so Larry, gives, Larry gives That's me. That's what you get for he, thinking. He knows all the stories. He, he, he knows all my stories. So Larry gives me eight hundred. Yeah. You know, Larry, it's, it's two hundred short. He goes, well, Bob, he didn't pay me the last game, which may have happened or may not. Yeah. I don't know. Uh-huh. I said, well. It's still it's, 100 it's here. He said, yeah, I charge you 100 because we were stealing. <laughs> <laughs> and he was right. He was right. So I took the eight. But I, yeah. I, you would you'd I, take the bet again. <laughs> here's another Larry's. Uh, Larry and I played one the year he opened his pool room. That had to be the early 90s when I had a job because I would work in the morning uh-huh. and, uh, and throw away all the mail. And My old man uh, did that too, you know. Yeah. Get, to, get to the pool room. Right. Well, anyhow, Larry and I played every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for about six months. And this is at a point... Well, There's some seasoning, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get to play him. And, oh, and, kid, and he, yeah. was a, he was a great player. Sure. So what we would do, though, we bet between, well, the bet would be 300 and sometimes up to eight because I had this one rich guy used to bet on me. But the minimum, Larry and I would always bet three in the middle. And then, and then Artie, who owes me 3,500 as we speak, but that's a different story. Artie would bet up to 500 a set on the side. So Larry and I played all winter. Every time we broke even, we would flip the quarter for table time. Just, you know, just that's how we did this. At the end of this six, eight months, Larry says to me, oh, he, he was opening his pool room, so he's done here. Mm-hmm. He says, Bob, I've been keeping track. And he never kept track. He says, I've been keeping track <laughs> all winter. Good line. <laughs> Open up with yeah. it. He says. You know you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But he, he says, um, I figure we played 800 times, whatever it was. He said, we're almost dead even, which was true. We're, he said, but every time we broke even, we flipped a coin. He said, but I got you stuck 900 in table time. He beat me every single flip. Now, I don't mean 99%. Oh, to God. He beat me even when I flipped. How many, how many well, games are you talking about? Like, well, it'd be. We played, I mean, what are the played, odds? <laughs> I don't know. We played three times a week, and usually we break. We had to quit at supper time because. Could you put a number on the flips, like 100, uh, like or oh, 20 or uh, something? You know, give me something. Probably 30. Because, 30 because, flips you lost in a row? <laughs> every one. I, I, I tell you. You want to go to crap tables? <laughs> no, I'm a sucker. Holy hey, crap. But no, no, but you do. <laughs> he, he beat me every flip. That could be the he Guinness was, record book. <laughs> he was beautiful. That man, he was one of the smartest people well, I know. Like, hey, I don't mean as far as pool. He was a good pool player, great yeah. pool player. But he knew every con and gimmick. He gets a guy one day, he comes in the New London pool room, and I forgot who it was. Lee Bishop, maybe? Lee Bishop, the golfer. So he gets him, he's there, he says to him, I'm going to bet you 100. I'm going to, he had to pick a newspaper. He puts it on the floor. I'll stand on one end of this newspaper, I'll put my hands behind my back. 
You stand on the other, and I'm betting you 100, you can't lay a hand on me. And he's jiving and jiving. <laughs> they put up 100. Larry took the newspaper, slid it out the door underneath. Larry stood on one side of the door, and leaves on the other, and there's a door. I said, what a move. Got, oh, he knew every, yeah, yeah. He knew every gimmick. Yeah, you can't take the other guy's bet, folks. No, do Larry, not, do you, not take the other guy's bet. Larry and I would go places, in a place in a bar where they play $5 nine ball. He'd make people bet. That's Hollywood stuff uh, you're talking about, yeah, you know. You really are. A hundred a game. He, he made people gamble. He, because he made people like him. He made everyone love Larry. Right. Here's one of my favorites, and uh, a friend of ours, Dick, uh, loves this story. Larry's in a bar in New Hampshire. Right where Chris Street, Larry spent. Larry the Scotty, folks. Yeah, this is like, and, and the world champion, he was straight bull monster, yeah. He was a monster. Yeah. The bar. real prince of right. A lot of people don't know who Larry is. He was is. the real prince of yes. 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 Not these people now. Right. Not was, somebody else. Yeah. Years. Corey's a good guy. I like he him. is, but yeah. he's not like, the prince. I know. I, well, you know, but, you got to get the claim first. You got it. You Larry, know. yeah, back in the 70s. Right. Uh, right. So Larry's in the bar across from the track. And, he, you know, Larry would have a drink, and it was a pool table right there. So they had a, a, you know that game, they put the dice on the counter, you shake them. And yeah, yeah. Throw out the, right, so right. he gets this guy. Sit, the hey, Yahtzee game? I don't know what is it. Yeah, five dice? It's five, yeah, five yeah, dice. Yeah, Yahtzee, so, yeah. yeah. Larry got this guy, he, he got people to gamble. So he gets the guy stuck a couple hundred dollars. You know, in Yahtzee? So the guy <laughs> says to Larry, well, you may beat me at this, but you can't beat me at my game. There's a pool table. <laughs> and Larry, Larry says, what's your game? He goes, I'm a pool hustler. Larry <laughs> says to me, the, he's the unluckiest man in the world. When Larry what are the finished, odds? When Larry finished busting him, Larry was playing one-handed ch <laughs> chapped up. <laughs> he, was a, he was a genius where action was concerned. Yeah, yeah. And he was funny. Uh, you know what? You're the only one I know that talk of about him like the way you do. Well, I grew it's up good to around have, him. Yeah, but I don't know yeah, about most, him personally. Mostly, but yeah, I was with you him. know him oh, personally. I, I, and he was yeah. such a good friend and... Uh, most pool players, not, but even, not including Steve. But even Ray probably didn't hang out. I know Ray a little bit, you know, and he's all getting up there in the years. But, but nobody ever talked about Larry like you did. Yeah, you know, like I said, oh, yeah. but Larry, uh, I, I have a lot of people in the pool I'm friendly with. Yeah. But I don't think of them mostly as good friends. Uh -huh. I mean, because, I mean, I love them all, but I know they'll bust me in a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're... Like Steve would be different. He be a pool player that became my friend. Larry was my real friend. Yeah. I loved the guy. Yeah, sure. And he was funny, and I never heard him say anything bad about people. His only problem was he, uh, he enjoyed things he that he shouldn't have been doing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But he was he never bad mouthed people. He was funny. He was quick witted. Uh, he had the best one liners you ever saw. Here's a good story. I told it to someone today. There's a bowling alley, and this is back in the seventies. I'm starting to play pretty good. Larry's already a champion. Yeah. Back then, oh, yeah, 70s, yeah. Yeah, this was in the 70s. He became a champion in 76. 76, when he, when I he think he won that. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he was the year of centennial pool balls. Because right, he right. still had the rack of balls. Yeah, that's right. So there's a, there was a, a bowling alley had a pool room. I went up there because there was a guy, and I'm not going to mention the name. I think he's still alive. Played straight pool. So I went up there and tried to get him. Now, this was back in those days when not all pool rooms had air conditioning. Yeah. Remember, it used to be hot. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sometimes it was brutal. and, and they Powder didn't, and they, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah. that's how it was Smoke, back then. smoke. How about the cigarette oh, smoke? I hated it. <laughs> that dang your clothes yeah. outside. Oh, you had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't go in the house oh, without, no. without taking a shower. Even roll the car, window cars in oh, the yeah, window? Oh, oh it was great. still disgusting. Yeah. So, Larry. Oh, I'm sorry. You may so, I said to this guy, I said, you look, I'll play some straight pool. And, and back then, that's like 70. No, well, sometimes it was 75, say. Yes. I don't know what year. Yeah. You know, we bet we want to play some, like, 50 a game straight pool. That was a pretty good bet back yeah. then. You know, that was before I stopped playing straight pool. So I went, the guy goes, no, no, I can't. And I'm broke. What happened? Because this guy always had money. He said, a guy came in here today with long brown hair, real, real long yeah. brown hair. And I knew who it was as <laughs> soon as he told me. He said, we're playing straight pool. And the guy's beat me every game. And I look over, and there's no air conditioning. It's real hot. He said... He moved his wig aside to wipe his face. It was, it was Larry Luscotti. But he's sweating. So he had to move it. He wiped the sweat off his face. The guy, the guy looks over, and here's Larry. He, he was, he was, so now I asked the guy to play. He's got no money left. Way to go, Larry. Uh, here's some other Larry, Larry stories. Larry and I are playing. Uh, this I'm doing cocaine. I'll let that one go. Oh, this is oh, this being different. How Larry, Larry sharked me every time we ever played. Uh -huh. But I love the guy. We're playing it. And you knew it? Oh, God, yes. Oh, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm out of fly. I know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, but you couldn't get mad at Larry. Yeah. Larry and I would play tournaments, and Zuglin 
Zuglin, Zuglin was before, yeah. before he had the tour. Right. But there were always tournaments in New England. He was a monster player. <laughs> People Pat, don't realize. Pat Fleming told me best in the, best in the world in 1990s. In straight pool, I don't think anyone played better straight pool than Zuglin. And I was surprised it's, to hear that. Oh, like, he, he was great. Like, as far as uh, like nine ball, he was good. He never missed. Yeah. But he really didn't have a big break. Um, and now, you know, he kind of had to. But uh, what was I going with this little Larry? I'm sorry, oh, I cut oh, you off. So yeah. every time Larry and I would play in, in these tournaments, and usually we'd meet each other near the end, and Zuglin would sure. be, and Nicky Vlaho, a great player mm -hmm. out of Boston, who, who passed away of brain tumor. So we'd all, Larry and I would meet each other again in the tournament. So this one tournament in Worcester, we're playing, and the way the tables are in a row, there's a, a girl sitting here, but she's not looking at us. She's watching her boyfriend two tables over. And I know she's watching him, because I've been staring at this young lady all day. She had a attributes I love. So I keep, but I know she's not paying attention to me. So now Larry and I are playing, and I'm pulling ahead. He, and Larry knows the kind of ladies I like. So I'm getting down on a shot, and Larry walks, so I'm shooting, you know, I'm, yeah. ahead, I'm ahead like six to two or something yeah. like that. He comes over, Bob, and anytime he used that voice, Bob, <laughs> I knew something was coming. I said, what Larry? He goes, this girl right here can't keep her eyes off you. I said, Larry, this girl, yeah. yeah, she just can't. She wants to know who you are. I know she doesn't. She's looking at this guy. So, so Larry's going, I, I said, Larry, go sit down. Leave me alone. Now he's starting to make a comeback. Because I'm like, he, gets, yeah, he yeah. gets, you know. Turns it around. Trying else, to turn it around. If someone else did it, I'd be mad. Uh -huh. But it's Larry. He's making a comeback, and I can't stop laughing. We get ahead. It's near the end of the set now. And I got to the hill first. Like, like say, 8, 7 or 8, 6. I, but I was still ahead. I get down on my out nine ball. Bob. <laughs> I say what, Larry? I say what, Larry? He goes, come over here. I want you to meet somebody. He introduces, he introduces me to the girl. I said, you're girl, all done. This girl doesn't, the girl doesn't want to meet me. But he said, come here, Bob. Come here. And he introduces me. You know what? Uh, I don't mean to be laughing, but the way you explain it, the too. way you explain it, I'm losing my mind over you here. Can't, you, <laughs> You can't. I'll tell, you, I'll you, I'll tell, wait, wait. I, I gotta give you. You might be the best storyteller I ever heard about this. And Bobby Hunt, storyteller on YouTube, folks. I got a. This is great my, stuff. Here's one of Larry. Another one of Larry. We're gonna it's, throw this on YouTube somewhere a, too. You it's know. a little bit. Uh, but you'll see. I'm, uh, yeah. Larry and I are playing. At the time, I, I was. I had a girlfriend, and I, I married her eventually. I married three women. That's it. Yeah, I did it twice. The third one said no. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be back one day. That's <laughs> 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 so, so, I hope she broke my heart. <laughs> well, I'm playing Larry once again. It's near the end of a tournament, and we're in Wyndham, and a guy named Terry Kern had this nice little pool room, and they had bleachers. So my wife, girlfriend at the time, I don't know if I'd married her yet, she's sitting on the bleachers. This one we still had pay phones. So the pay phone's right next to her. Now I'm waiting for Larry. Matter, every time I play Larry, I had to wait for him. Sometimes he's making bets. You know, you Larry never showed up on time. But you love the guy, so you, <laughs> you put up with it. So Larry's on the phone, and I'm waiting. My wife, my girlfriend wife, whatever she was, she comes over to me and says to me, boy, Larry must really love pool. <laughs> and I said, why? Because he said, he, he's on the phone trying to buy an eight ball from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I had explained to her. I had explained to her what that meant. He, I, I think the world. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, a funny line. Oh, it was great. I, I, I reminds, I that, you know, that's so innocent. It reminds me of my she daughter. So, yeah. I'm playing my daughter's boyfriend at my house. And, and she goes, yeah, sure. All your shots were easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to play. It's so funny. You know? uh, but yeah. Larry's... We, we're blessed having this you know, oh. in our lives. I swear to God. I sw there's nothing else. I, I, we, if we didn't have pool in our lives, this... Oh. I swear to God. If I would have had a good job and I'd be Shoot. miserable. Yeah, no, no. But I, I'll tell you what. I, I would do it all over just like this so with the pool. I. You know? And it's funny. I never made any real money. No. But I never had to work uh, except for that short time in the, in the 80s. But... And, but, and yes. I had a good time. I don't owe anybody anything. Well, some credit card companies must feel, might feel I owe something. They might have something to say about they that. They might have it. But, well, but you, know what, you know what it is? This game, it hits you. Like when I talked about Lasseter going to play cards, I said, oh, I want to go. I want to hang with these guys. And now we're hanging out with Brandon Schaaf. And, we're yeah. all, and I see everybody and we're all friends. It's, you know what's funny? This now? is the nuts. Uh, funny now, I find, when we came up, you're about my age, we wanted to know who. Miserac was, or Ruth Lassiter, Irving Crane, yeah. uh, Ponzi. I read, every, we all knew who all the old timers were. Ask half of this field. 
They have no idea who we're talking about. That's when, when you talk them. Couldn't pick them out of a say, lineup. Do you know who uh, Luther Lasseter is? Oh, no. They have no, no idea. No, no, the kids, they don't know the history There's of the no game. history, yeah. And we all wanted to know the history yeah. back then. Yeah. Uh, it's just a different uh, world now. The yeah. kids are different. Everything, yeah. I mean, it, it, everything's you don't even see kids in playgrounds playing no more. They don't leave the. They don't leave the house around video games. Makes me sick. Video games killed the pool game. Oh. You know. Yeah. Uh, but you know what else I think uh, hurt pool, a money pool. The leagues came in. Yeah. Uh, I think the leagues were the handicap. We wanted to be the best in the world, so we got up and played better players so we could beat them. Mm -hmm. Now they play these leagues. You have a handicap. They don't want to raise their handicap because it's easier to yeah. win as a six. You don't have to practice. You, you don't, don't have to. Yeah, right. You, you want to keep sure. bad. Um, we, and we, well, when I played tournaments in the 70s, you get in a tournament, you might have Miserac and Hopkins. Yeah, oh, yeah. There was nothing about oh, handicapping. Sure. You paid your dues. Yeah. They don't have to pay dues anymore. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, we have a friend. And today, this guy, Phil Davis, was an excellent, excellent player. Oh, Phil. I know Phil real well. Very good player. He, in fact, he won the amateurs yeah, down at the Expo. That's my point. He was, he was already good enough to play in an open level, yeah. but he robbed those amateurs. He must have made 30000 one year. He won something in Las Vegas. He won everything because he was considered an amateur. Yeah, yeah. Good um, fundamentals. He's okay. a good kid. He's a really yeah. good, oh, kid, yeah. really good player. Yeah. I like Phil. Um, but the point is... Except, he, except hold on, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but he thinks his grandmother's spaghetti sauce is better than mine. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Mick. But I make better sauce than anybody. <laughs> okay, oh, continue. I just thought of a story about sauce. <laughs> all right, go on. I was not, all right, this has nothing to do with spaghetti. That's okay. But it has to do with or pool. hustle and pool. <laughs> I mean, I think it was South Carolina. It really doesn't matter. But we're down there. It's about noon, and I'm robbing, you know, I'm robbing some guy. Yeah, yeah. But the Southerners aren't like us. You can beat them, and they like you. Up here, you beat a guy. For a drink, they might want to fight. <laughs> Down there, you know, you beat. So they buy you a drink, and I don't drink. <laughs> so I'm with this guy, Eddie O'Connell. We're playing down there, and my opponent, and I'm stealing his money, like $10 nine ball. He says, I'm going to get you a red eye. A red eye is beer with tomato juice. Uh -huh. I don't drink. Yeah, yeah. So I'm already, I'm puckered up, right? He comes back and says, uh, you know what? They didn't have tomato juice. So they put a couple shots in it. No, they put ketchup in the beer. <laughs> I you know my partner Eddie is sitting there laughing because I have to drink it because I'm robbing the guy. <laughs> I got to make believe I like it. I'm drinking ketchup and beer with salt and pepper. Oh my God, it was disgusting. Mr. Capitan, you listen to this all day. He huh? knows most. all day, every day for about almost fifty well, he was, years. He was the house man. This is like a nonstop comedy. It was, show. It was the best job I ever had. Was working in that pool. <laughs> he worked in that oh, pool. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, never. It, it was gambling every day. Oh. It was you were laughing your ass you off had every all the, day. You had all the right. You action, saw man. the right people every day. You yeah. learned so much just by being there, being with these world champions. We were, we had a very lucky room. People yeah. from around the country came there. It was a, it, so, it was so, great. so he's the glorious results of a misspent youth. Oh yeah, he's yeah. To go to the honeymooners line, yeah. you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, Ralph Crampton there. You this know? happened. Oh, yeah. This yeah. happened to me twice in that pool room. Now I was starting to play pretty good, 76, 70, somewhere in that range. I played Mike Zuglin for money, uh -huh. and I beat him for whatever. It was. I think I had him stuck about four or five hundred. Yeah. And well, on that note, not to cut you off real quick, but you, you never been to Tourney Stone. I played the first year when you had to qualify. You, well, we were there Labor Day weekend coming up. Why don't you uh, get uh, in the booth? Come on. I mean, it's, uh, you go see Zuglin. And, well, I don't yeah. care. All I, right. I, I talked to my What's first the dates? Uh, Labor Day weekend, I think, this year. You know? yeah, I'll see. drive. Come on. Yeah, come on. Go have some. We'll see. Okay. I don't go He's scared of me, ain't he? That's yeah. Okay. Every time I challenge the guy, he backed uh, down every time. He doesn't want to make commitments. <laughs> so it would be like a job. Well, he doesn't well, want to make that okay, commitment. Okay, go ahead, please. I want to get back to that. Yeah. So I'm in New London pool room. And I'm friends with a house man. Yeah. So I get Mike Zuggle and stuck. I don't remember, like I say, three, four. I don't even right. know how much it was now. Well, all of a sudden he starts winning. And you can tell when you, even if you're winning and you can feel it slipping away, you know, you, know, you can feel mm -hmm. it. You can't stop it. So I went up to the counter and I don't know if you were working. Or whoever probably was. was. Probably. Said to me, you want to stay open late tonight? I said, no, no, let's close a little <laughs> early. <laughs> so we closed at like 12 o'clock. <laughs> So, last rack. So <laughs> last rack. So I won. I don't know, two or three hundred. It didn't even yeah, matter. Yeah. So I beat Zuggler for a little money. After we got friendly, I told him about it. There was a great player out of uh, Boston who got a brain tumor, uh, Nicky Vlaho. Mm -hmm. And I thought, when I got good and Zuggler got good, so did Nicky. I thought Nicky was the best of the three of us. Wow. Uh, except yeah. I played one pocket, so I had a little right, right. edge on that. Nicky was great. But now go back to the same thing happened. Nicky comes in. Now we're in our early twenties. I'm a tiny bit older, so I'm, I'm already a little better than them. I get Nikki stuck. Once again, I can feel it slipping away. I went up to the counter. Let's close a little early tonight. 
And then I told, after I get to be yeah, friendly yeah, with Nicky, yeah. I told him and Zuggerlin how I, tri I quit him. I didn't want to quit ahead because yeah. you don't quit ahead. So I had him close the room up twice on these guys. Well, and you, to you know what? You talked about the old, the old, the gangsters hanging out. There was a gangster in, in Midland Park, and I used to call him by his last name all the time. And every time he did, he kind of got, he goes, what are you, the FBI? He didn't no. like his last name mentioned. Oh, yeah. He goes, shut up. <laughs> there was a room in Lodi, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. Okay, you know the room. And that's, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was all. And that was, yeah, that was the Tony Soprano in New Jersey okay, in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, there's a, uh, a black guy, Black Rob, he was a drug dealer. He comes up to Chicago. This is the shooting you're talking about now. I was there. Okay. Yeah, so you know Yeah, go ahead, it. please continue. Okay, so he comes up, he, he comes up to Connecticut. I had just had back surgery, so I hadn't been in the pool room in a while. So I go in, I hear this guy, this black guy who's betting real high, he's a drug dealer, yeah. betting thousands. Right, I remember so, him. All right, I go in the room, and my friend Billy Lana, they used to call him Billy the Kid, really good young player um, back then. He kind of plateaued out. He has other issues. So Billy comes in, he runs down. You can see through the camera, I'm, in, I'm coming upstairs. Not but, Shorty. Yeah. Oh, no, that's Shorty. No, it's, that's, it's, that's it's somebody else. You know Shorty? Yeah. Okay, oh, great, go ahead. Great guy. Good, yeah. Great, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, I like So, Jordan. anyhow, so I come up, and Billy's all excited. Yeah, Billy's like 18. He, Billy had a millionaire backer behind us named Ralph, the right. guy Ralph I mentioned before. Right. So he says, Bob, Bob, I got this drug dealer who wants to play some bet high. So I said, well, how, we gotta, how does he play? Billy's, ah, he can't play. So we played a... Billy and I play partners. The Billy, day of the shooting, this is? This, this is a week before the oh, shooting. okay, yeah. So Billy and I play this guy, Black Rob. Yeah. He's the guy they shot down in a week later. Uh -huh. So he comes in. So Billy says, ah, he can't play. So we give him 11-8 at one pocket. So we're playing him 11-8. Billy has to shoot one-handed. He tells me Rob can't play a lick. We started 300 a game. Within an hour, we're betting 1,000 a game. Mm -hmm. I only got 600 or 800 with me. Mm -hmm. I said, Billy, you're high-rolling me. But Billy had this millionaire behind us. Yeah. So we played... Uh, quite a while. We wind up losing 4,200. Yeah. The guy laid down a great spread. He still won 4,000, and we still felt we should beat him. But I knew something was wrong. Billy, being young, he didn't see anything wrong. Because this guy made some good moves. You could see, I knew we were getting trapped, but I didn't know how good the way. Yeah, yeah. So a week later, we get on the Lodi. There's Black Rob. Oh, first of all, he bought a Lexus. He goes, Bob, come here. He says, see that Lexus? I said, yeah. He goes, you help pay for that. No. But uh, I, don't, I don't get mad. I think yeah, it's sure, funny. Yeah. All right, so now as the evening progresses, you had all, you know, all those mobsters hanging around down there. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I loved it. Late after midnight, they start cooking pasta and steaks. Oh, and, I was never there at night like that. And they would t start telling stories. Oh, and I love the old, the old mob stories. And this is this is like real life stuff. Yeah, one, this of the guy, one of the old timers, he was 90-something. Oh, that was Pippi. Pippi, Pippi Zapato. Yeah. And he got up and Pippi was my good friend. He, oh, he was 99. <laughs> he, he told me yeah. about Al Capone. He wasn't wow. like, he, 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 90 years old and I action. owed him money. He calls me on the phone. Eddie, you missed me this week. I said, Pippi, I swear to God. Don't. <laughs> yeah, and and he goes, yeah, Eddie, you don't have to bet the big. Just give me the, give me the money back. Yes, like, sir. But Thank you, sir. He would tell stories about Al Capone. And so I love this stuff. He's so, in so Steve Wynn's book, that guy, yeah. Pippi. And he, so anyhow, so now we, I'm there and Black Rob's there. And uh, when we get there, for some reason, Rob's arguing with one of the, uh, guy, the mob guys. And he gets in an argument. I don't know what it was over. Billy and I had just gotten there. And he says to the guy, you guys are you nothing. You can't argue with those guys. That's what he said. <laughs> he says, you guys are nothing but a bunch of suckers. Well, now this guy's hot, this mob guy. Mm. And I'm listening, but yeah. I don't really know what's going on. So Rob said something. And the guy said, you know, watch yourself. You're going to get whacked. He goes, no one's going to whack me. <sighs> now, in that room, all those guys stayed around till min uh, 1 o'clock every night. I know one because the murder was at 1.50. I'm two. I'm sorry. 2 o'clock it closed. Because the murder that night, uh, they said. Shooting. One, yeah, shooting, 1.50. It, it was something about a court case, correct? Well, I don't know what it was. But here's what yeah. I think. I don't know what started it. Yeah. But Rob's arguing with the mag mobster. He says we're going to get whacked. He goes, no one's going to whack me. Anyhow, that night at 11.30, all these guys leave. They never left. They always cook dinner. Honest to God. So now it's 1 o'clock. We should maybe not There's talk about this. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, it's, it's been, no, no, it's old. It's, it's 20 years ago. Yeah. Been, Go ahead. Yeah, that's like yeah, 90, right, yeah. It's a while. Oh, yeah, I had back surgery in 95. Okay, it's a while. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, so, uh, I never told him yeah. the, what I thought of the story. Yeah. So this argument went on. These guys all left. Now, Billy and I are hanging around. At 1.15, we went to the diner right down the street. Yeah. And you see the sirens pull up to the pool room. Well, now we're not going back. We went home. We slept all the next day. 
police called the, the pool room trying to find us. They put the murder at 115. Billy and I left the pool room at 115. Two guys came in, held up the room, and then shot Rob four times in the head. Yeah, and Rob said to the one guy, he goes, I know you. Because he had the mask on, but he knew who he was. And he shot him four times. Right, right, and Billy right. and I, now, I, my thoughts were I think I know why they did it, because I had watched this argument. I'm, but I never said that out loud. And neither Billy. We weren't going to implicate any of those people in that room. I never went back. But we were there when they killed Black Rob. Well, well, I would get there early sometimes. If Pippi wasn't there yet, Pippi would he walk in. And all the wise guys were walking, they'd all kiss him on it, then they'd go in the uh, back and talk. It was... Steve, the guy's like 96, and he's playing one pocket. You got to give him like 15 to 2. He, he's betting 300 a game. Yeah, and, and after every second game, he's got to rest because he's 90-something. And, you, and you're know, robbing him. And, and you know, and after he, 75... He played, he played gin. He did everything. After 75, I, I think it was all the couple, coppers get uh, a, a diamond ring. Uh, under under okay. 70, yeah. one carat diamond. And every year they get another carrot. Well, he's 90, and he walks in with this ring. He's got 15 one carrot, and the stones are like, Jesus, God, you can't believe what you're looking at. Wow. I said, and it's sort of like the mo the thing in, in The right. Godfather. Boy, if this was anybody else's wedding, I'm looking at this <laughs> ring. I'm like, how am I going to get this ring? <laughs> we, we had an old guy in New Haven. He ran the numbers for 100 years. He was still making games. At 88, beat me for 4,000. Yeah. I tried to play him that one in stop game. Total piece of garbage, but he had a big pinky ring. Uh -huh. So we, as he got older, we're chopping up his jewelry. <laughs> if, he, if, he hits, if he hits the ground, we're stealing it all. I was getting a pinky ring. Didn't one of those mobsters know, think that you uh, laid, the, laid down on him once? Yeah. Oof. You threw a game on him? Oof. You yeah. played bad, but you were worried that he thought he was. Oh, he thought it happened, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah that was, that, but, but, oh, no. I was holding the up money. It was another Oh, game. it was the up money that two disappeared. Guys are, two guys are gambling. Yeah. They they asked me to hold the up money. Now, these guys played every day. I'll give. I'll even say the first names. The guy already, his father said he blew $3 million around New Haven in the casino. Wow. My end, we beat him for 300000 My end was 30, I never hit a ball. I just took a piece. Right, right. And these guys, these mobsters, had to give me a piece because yeah. they bet on me every time I play uh -huh. back in those days. So Jimmy gives Artie every day, he gives him the seven or eight and beats him. Now this one day they come in, there, the two of them, and he and Artie says, come on, I'll play you even, play some for 2,000. So I said, so I said in my mind, you have been beat, you've been losing with the seven and eight. You want to play him even today and bet 2000 Something stinks, <laughs> right? So they, they bet the set for two. So I'm, they give me the up money, the 4000 and I hold it. I don't touch the bet. This thing stinks. And if you'd have watched it, they should have shot them both. <laughs> it's the worst, the worst dump I ever saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was so, and here's the worst part. If the minute it's over, I take the 4000 I got to hand it to Artie. He runs out the front door. He's also a junkie, too. I forgot that part. So he's on his way out. Well, the guy who dumped all these backers, the mob guys, his name is uh, uh, Jimmy, whose father is also a bookie who would die by that point. And within one minute, Artie going out. Jimmy goes, I got to go. He's running out to catch Artie because Artie's going, you know, he's going to blow the money at the drug dealer. Yeah. Well, these guys all see it happen. They get mad at me. <laughs> Paulie says to me, you didn't, you didn't bet on that match. You knew something we didn't. Whoa. I said, Paulie, I didn't know. It stunk. Oh, yeah. You know, you're getting yeah. a seven. All of a sudden, he's playing even. You double the bet. And I, Paulie, the rest of his life, I think, was mad at me. because I said, and I knew it was, I was pretty sure it was a dump. But I didn't say anything because these are adults. If, yeah. if you're dumb enough to get caught, it's none of my business, even though I like them all. You, you, you would look few and far between to hear stories like this nowadays and well, anywhere. Well, it's all changed. Anywhere, it's all yeah. Changed. Never, yeah. ever, you know? I, I played this guy, Jimmy Shershot. He was a bookie. And I knew he was a big bookie because while I'm standing there, he took a bet for 105000 one year on the Super Bowl. Wow. He was the best player in the area after me. But I, I mean, he was good. He played, like, a, a good speed. Right. But I have to give him, like, the six and a break uh -huh. at nine ball. In fact, it was the toughest game I ever played. I give him a six and a break. Betting 180 a game. I played for like six hours. I was five games ahead. Gave up the six in the break? Yeah. He was a pretty good player. This is before the, the break so uh, knowledge? In, oh, yeah. This is back. Oh, right. This is back when the table Slow cloth. I got it. And yeah. we were still playing push out. Okay. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. This is back in the 70s. Okay. So I, give, it, I beat. He's the only guy I've ever beaten and wouldn't give him the same game again. The next day he wanted to play again. 
I said, I got a headache from yesterday. <laughs> I'm not playing. Anymore. I beat him one day. Who I beat him for 4,200. He's trying to raise the bet to 25,000. Yeah. He's sitting in a seat, and people come in and give him envelopes all day. Okay. And he called me over. Oh, Bob, boy. Bob, oh, bookie. A bookie, yeah. Bookie, yep. Big bookie. Yep. Bob, look what you can win today. Eight, <laughs> I'm shooting $400. You know what? That's, $400 like, that's like trying to fade Mike Seeker there. You know, the throws all that money at you. Yeah, right? I'm shooting four or 500 yeah. at this money. Let's play for all of it. <laughs> but here's yeah. a, a good story of this guy. Because I was the only one in there who could spot him, he liked playing me. Plus, I bet higher than everybody except him. You yeah. know? I mean, yeah. I'd play 1000 2000 a uh -huh. game. He would bet twenty, thirty thousand. 30000 But he liked playing me. Nobody else was going to play him. We used to play, uh, you know, one and three in Chicago. You know, Chicago, I like okay. Chicago. Three, yeah. five, eight, ten, sure. twelve. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were the pay balls. Right, right. But Jimmy and I did it differently. Every ball was a pay ball. <laughs> I lay him yeah. five to three on every ball. The guy could run 50 balls. Yeah. So I didn't always win. I'm laying five to three, and he runs a rack. you got to pay double. It's yeah. 300. Right. Oh, so yeah. I didn't always win, but I usually won. Yeah. We had this little rule. If you made a no hit, you paid a $3 penalty to pay the table time. It was nothing. Well, I'm getting beat one day, and I, I'm not handling it well. You know, because... You know, he can blow 5,000, it's nothing. Yeah. I blow 500, yeah. I'm busting. Yeah, yeah. So I'm losing, and I'm getting mad. I made a hit, I didn't get a rail, and I knew I didn't. The ball was frozen. Right. I hit it, it was frozen. It rolled out, and the table roll brought it back. So I said, Oh, so that's how it got back. Oh, but, it, but it's not but right. It, it has to hit another ball. But it was fro right, frozen. It, it I understand. Frozen. I understand but, what you're saying. And I knew the rule, yeah. but I couldn't give in. Yeah. We're arguing, and now he starts yelling at me. <laughs> and I'm losing, and I'm an idiot. So his son comes over, Dad, Dad, calm down, calm down. So they took those $3 bills on the table. He pulled my shirt open, stuck them down my shirt. If you touch that money before you get home, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> and I, 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 I knew he had the power. And this is real life stuff oh, here. Yeah, I knew he had the power. Sure, yeah. So I'm driving on 95, going 95 back <laughs> to my house. I get, off, I get off the wrong exit. I backtrack. He knew where I lived. Well, he, I, I didn't have to do it. I was scared to death. The next day, I came back and apologized, and we laughed about yeah. it. Oh, but boy. that day, yeah. I could have died over $3. Yeah. What an idiot. Yeah. You know, I beat this guy maybe 50, 60,000 over a couple of years, and over th over $3. This is like $3. good, this is good fella stuff, oh. real life good fella I stuff. Missed, uh, I missed all those guys all passed away. And, and you know what? I, I had a store in Toto, New Jersey, and that's the area that the Sopranos were filmed. My whole area was oh. my Sopranos neighbor. That's it. And they filmed it right down the street, the pizza joint. I knew the guy that owned the pizza joint. I wanted them to use my lock shop as an office, as a, a social club, because the windows were blacked out. It was a little one, one car garage gas station. Oh, man, it would have been great. I, they were filming Sopranos all over the place. It was cool. You got the best stories on the planet. These history. were the best of times, for, in my opinion, for pool action. Not, tournaments are better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That part oh, of yeah. pool. But the part of pool I've always liked is upstairs. And even, oh, the actual even, even here, I don't. I barely watched the tournament. Well, two nights ago, you were. This was like it's. It, 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 we were right, here. It, 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 it was the best envision I had what Johnson City looked like. Oh, you know, just right here. I'll right tell you now. one thing. When Mike had that party here the other night. That's what I'm talking about. That's yep. from, okay. I, yeah. It was fantastic. Were you here? I, yeah, we went. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we oh, were here. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, God. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, we were one of the first ones in here. We went over, here. and I thanked Mike the next day. Yeah. I said, that's the most generous thing I've ever I, seen I, in my I life. Could, I tell him that every day. I can't what, imagine what, what that would have cost him. There must have been it two. Was, was an open bar? For five hours? I'm, five I'm hours? drinking Knob Creek bourbon. Really? Well, thank you, sir. Holy for, for 300 I'm, people, five hours? That's a, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's pricey. And, and, well, these probably, the prices of drinks are cheap here. Yeah. But, but still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he cheap for him. You're looking at $14 <laughs> drinks in the room. Yeah. Here. And you he, know, I mean, it's, he had to spend 10, 15 grand. Oh, I, may, oh no, I'll bet it's more than that. I think oh, so. yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Plus, he had to pay for the room. Look how big it is. Yeah, yeah. And what a generous man. Nice guy, class act. I couldn't thank him enough. Yeah. It was a best thing I've ever I've been commending him ever yeah. since yeah. yeah that was the greatest thing yeah. and it was fun everybody yeah. had fun it was at, there was plus there was a little gambling it, and action and this this it will probably go down as the greatest derby scene. I've been here 15 years. I've never seen anything like this. That was the hotel sold out completely ball. fast. Oh, All yeah. three events sold filled up. I, yeah. I think this is the most successful yeah. one they've had. This is the best. And I've yeah. been to probably 15 at least. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, I come good. every year. But this was the best. Plus, you guys drive down? And Yeah. Oh, okay. I do. He flew. I flew. Yeah, I drive down all yeah, the time. Yeah. Um, the fact that Mike did that, it made this special this yeah. year. Yeah. But I've never seen anybody that generous in pool. And I don't even want to go into the tournament room. I'd rather be in here with well, this. Yeah. Doing That's this. why we're sitting Where here are now. you going to get this kind of education? Yeah. You know, just, just listen to this guy, you know. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs>
because you could do comedy stand up and tell these stories. <laughs> You know? you know, it's funny. Or write a nice book. If, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I've, I've been approached. I don't want to do that. Well, well, you know what? You don't have to write the book. You just got to copy what you said here for the last hour and a half, you know? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, you got every story yeah, in the book I, there. I, I've been, oh, you only heard a few. I'm going to steal it all and print it. It's mine now. After you hang up, <laughs> after we hang up, uh, I got some good stories in, in Off the record in stuff. Off the record. Yeah, off yeah. the record. Yeah. 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 It was, it was stuff, a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. It was, pool was a lot of fun. Yeah, don't, you can't get anybody in trouble here, you know. No, especially me. <laughs> but my daughter might be listening. So. Well, oh, you still have to call back, by the I, way. I got three kids, too, but I don't have all that stuff under my belt like you do. You lived a life, mister. I remember everything. Yeah. But did you tell her I was what we were doing? Yes, I did. And so she understands? She understands. Okay. Yeah, you do have a fantastic memory. You, I, really I mean, do. you got the I names guess. and everything down. I, I get the money. I remember the numbers. He remembers that $5 I, I even, stole even from Even the money. Yeah, even the $460 check on the wall. Oh, yeah. But I, I just no, no, been fortunate I remember. Uh, so oh, Here's a story about my memory. I, I'm very good with numbers. Yeah. So the guy, Jimmy Shershot, I mentioned the bookie yeah. that threatened to have me killed. <laughs> he, know, he, he always knew I was good with numbers. He asked me if I wanted to be a you know, runner, take the phone calls. And uh, this is back in 78, 77. This is a long time ago. So he offered me 1500 a week. And uh, there's a bunch of us, you know, a few of us. I mean, he does take the phone calls. We all would. He had an apartment, you know, set up. So, Bob, I'll give you 1500 a week, 5% of all the losses, which is about 1800 Now, this is back in the 70s when my father's making 300 a week. He's offering me about 3000 I said, I got to do that. And so he says, first of all, Bob, if we get busted, you got to take the bus. I can never tell who they are, which I already know that because they'll kill you. And he said the other thing, and he said, and with your face, you got no shot in jail. Mm. <laughs> so that, was yeah. end, that was the end of my yeah. crime. They're going to be career. tossing you around like a rag doll. Yeah. <laughs> he did say we could try to protect you, but we probably won't. Yeah. And that was the end. I was. I went from making thirty to three hundred a week to back to being broke again. I was making seven dollars an hour right back then, selling hot dogs. You, you know, know it's funny. Right, uh, that, right down the road from Lodi, Lodi you know. A friend, when I grew up, uh, I grew up, you know, in the 60s. All my friends got jobs at McDo- uh, not McDonald's yet, First National. Oh, yeah, They're yeah. all making like a buck 40 an hour. Yeah. Well, in 1965, I'm already playing $50 <laughs> nine ball. I mean, races, not by the game. It, it, $50 straight pool. How could I go to work for a dollar and a half an hour? And then on January 1st, 1960, in 68. In 67 or 68, it was a dollar ten minimum wage. That's, That's what I worked for. And, yeah. And I'm, I'm already grinding out 40, 50 a week. Right, right. <laughs> On January 1st, 1968, my father walked me to the front door of the house. You're no longer welcome here. <laughs> I, I found a room. I don't mean to be laughing. No, that's right. I, okay. I, I laughed too. Okay, I okay. I wouldn't have told you. I don't you. mean to be laughing. You're no, just, I don't care. I, all right. I think my life was fun. Yeah. So I find this rooming house. I rent a room $10 a week, and I'm still in high school. Wow. Well, in theory. Yeah, okay. In reality, <laughs> in I'm, reality. Going, I'm going to the bowling alley. And they had three tables. And they say, I'm all, now at this point, I'm 17. Yeah. And when father asked me to leave, I was 17. And I'm paying $10 a week rent. I got this young lady doing all my laundry. I'm going to the bowling alley. I'm grinding out 40, 50 a week. I was in heaven. And then you went to the Marines? What are you, nuts? <laughs> they gave guy, all that up. The guy sharing the room with me was a little older than me. He enlisted in the Marine Corps, he and my a uh, friend of ours. Uh-huh. So they come I back. I don't mean to cut your story here. You know. But he comes back to me, and his name's Mike, one of my best friends in the world, yeah. and he lives in Florida now. So Mike comes back. He says, Bob, we went to New Haven, the, ru- the uh, recruiter. We're going to get our own apartment. We'll be together for <laughs> the whole <laughs> And I'm, se- I'm still 17 years old. Parents Sounds like a good deal, right? He did. Yeah, I'm, I'm still like free that. meals. See, I'm so, free meals. You're gonna get your own apartment. Medical you're gonna closing. So I said, and I'm only 17. Room service. I said, well, I'll join. So we drove. We drove right into New Haven. I enlisted, but my, because I was so young and I hadn't been home. You need a signature, yeah. And, and I actually, in, I joined on the day Bobby Kennedy died. Uh-huh. So I went to my father's factory. I haven't seen him since uh, January 1st. I said, Dad, I enlisted in the Marines. You got to sign the papers. He fi- signed those papers so fast I couldn't believe it. He told me, he told, I'll fix you. He, he, he told me later, he said, I was afraid you'd change your mind. Yeah. And I thought I was going down to get an apartment in Paris Island. Yeah, Paris Island. Oh, yeah. my God. How was that getting off the bus? They ju- they Surprise. Ju- they jump on the bus all the way down. They're nice to us. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. We go on the island, yeah. and they jumped on the bus, start screaming. Oh. I'm 17 yeah. with long hair. I should have had, had the haircut. He oh. comes up to me. I'm laughing. No one ever yelled at me. Whack. 
<laughs> wow, what happened? Oh, yeah. They dragged me to the front, shaved my head, my head's bleeding. Yeah. Now I want to cry, <laughs> but I'm scared to death. They put me aside because I'm a, they thought I was a wise guy. Nobody had ever yelled at me they before. They did that to me in the Navy. The guy, I, 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 I mistyped in like six words for radio in school. Six words. They pass the test, and they go, now you're failing. So I get to the director, he goes, a chief. He says, where are you from? I go, Jersey. He goes, New Jersey. I go, yes, sir. He goes, oh, a hood, huh? They thought we were all hoods up here, you know. I had you it, too. You too. You too. It was cool, you know. <laughs> wow. You're from the mean streets of Guilford. Don't forget that. Oh, we have Guilford. Where I, Guilford is a little rich little town. I heard that. Too. On, on the shore in Connecticut. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so I was down in uh, the, one of the pool rooms, and all these kids out of Bridgeport are tough. I mean, these young kids are armed. Yeah, yeah. So they're in Chicago Billiards, which was a great spot, late one night, and they're, and they're telling about where they live. It's called Father Panic Village, and the police don't go in there. The mailman won't go in. I said, you kids think you're tough? <laughs> I, grew, I grew up on the mean streets of Guilford, Connecticut. <laughs> we had, I said, I said, we had two. Bl- like it's Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> yeah, I right. Said, I said, we had two black families and a Puerto Rican family. <laughs> and you th- they look at me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, you, you've sharpened up since oh, then. Oh, but everybody boy. liked me, so yeah, no, yeah, you know, yeah. they didn't hold me You were like a black guy. Like, <laughs> uh, my pants are always wet from laughing so hard here. You know what's funny? Uh, growing up in Guilford, which was a little town, I never saw racism until I went to the Marine Corps and it, uh, after boot camp. Now, yeah. in boot camp, we all got beat, black yeah, sure. or white, oh, didn't yeah, matter. Yeah. But when I, after that, I had never seen racism, and I was shocked at what was going on. But I got along with all the black guys because I gamble. You know, oh. I could play pool already, and I, I learned talk and all the card gaming crafts. Oh, right. You know, and they busted me every time, yeah. but except the pool, I could win. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I was sh- I never saw racism. I mean, I was shocked when I was... I what played, was going on? Yeah, when the fleet would come in in Athens, Greece, I would play pool in the USL. Now, you got 30 guys online waiting to play. If you lost, you, you're going home. You keep the table all night and just torture them. But And Mike Lambros comes in. And this guy's hitting the balls. But I said, wow, this guy knows a little bit. And we could be, become good friends. It's so cool, you know, all of it. I got a Louis Roberts story. Oh, then Louis, um, St. Louis, Louis. Louis, yeah. yes. Um, when, when I was in uh, Vietnam, a friend of mine, Mike Schaefer, out of West Virginia, I talked about him earlier a little bit, a real great hustler. Uh-huh. Mostly he was a, a con man, you know, and a grifter. Yeah. But he could play, He was a real good hustler. He's in Vietnam. He walks down the street wherever he was. I was in a, a combat unit. Michael was in the rear, you know, so different. we have a different war experience. He sees this guy drunk laying on the side of the road. It's Louis Roberts. He went to help him because he knew in who Vietnam? Louis was. In Vietnam? In <laughs> Vietnam. Wow. He knew who Louis was. Louis didn't know him. And he said, Louis laying there and go, I'm the what do you, I'm the <laughs> pool champion of well, St. Louis, and he it was Louis Roberts yeah, yeah. laying on the side road drunk. You know? Wow! And uh, Michael wound up. And this guy knew him by his he knew, pool. Well, he knew of him because or he knew him from the pool. No pool. Wow! So when he saw Louis there, he knew who Louis was wow. because Michael was a good pool That's player. That's wild. This Michael was a grifter. He came to my town. He immediately tried to set up a print shop. They wanted to put it my name because they had, they're easy to burn down. I said, I, I am not getting, I wouldn't, and you know what's funny about Michael? Michael goes back to West Virginia, hits the lottery for 14 million. <laughs> he, he and his buddy, he sent me a gap or 15,000. Wow. Because when he was broke, I helped him. Holy and crap. And he sent me 15,000. You know, uh, and, then a lot he, of pe- and he never got to spend the money. He had a heart attack yeah. and died. Uh, I, you know, I'm keeping this recording, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna oh, play. I'll be listening to this a couple times oh. while I'm practicing. What oh, the hell? I got a million more. Yeah, I, I, it sounds it too, yeah. You knew my buddy Shorty there, man. Tommy? Lodi. Tommy? What's Shorty? Shorty, um, Shorty. Um, There's a black Shorty? No, no, uh, no. He Shorty was Johnson? at a Lodi. At a Lodi. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Shorty. Skinny oh, yeah, guy. Skinny he, guy. He died. Is he the kid that oh, died? No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm wrong. Man. Shorty was always at the Go-Go no, Bars, and he was, he was, uh, Shorty was. There was a kid who played pretty good. And I, that I'm, was Shorty. I'm going back into Shorty was put 90, on the earth to, to deal weed. Oh, okay. okay. There was a kid. I thought they called him Shorty. He was small, played pretty good. His name pocket. was Billy. His name was Billy. And then it's not the same. The okay. one I'm thinking of died. All right. Um, but the but Shorty the Shorty I most remembered, Boston Shorty. And oh, yeah, sure. And then uh, on top of it, there's a kid out of Rhode Island, uh-huh. Tommy Delfranz, real good player. Oh, yeah, that's Tommy's Shorty. He's he, Shorty. But that's Shorty. Yeah. He, he just moved to uh, Denver, I heard. Oh, no. Yeah, I haven't seen him uh, in a long yeah, time. I used to see him at there. Snookers all the yeah, time. Yeah, he's played uh, Snookers. Yeah. But yeah, that's where he lived. Right. But a friend of ours lives in, out there in Colorado, in, spring, um, in Denver. He said, Bob, you should go move out here. 
He said, every old pool player should be here. He said, there's three tournaments every night in bars. He said, there's, he was saying something ridiculous, like there's 200 B-level players, and they all play 10 and $20 nine ball. He said, you can retire there. It's like and, Vegas. And Tommy went out, and other people, I, I like uh, Connecticut. And Did I, you get out? To, you ever get out to Colorado in the 70s oh, to play? Yeah, I played. Uh, Pick? Sc- a guy Sc- named Pick. No, I played Scott Smith. When oh, he, he did. Who, who just passed away? Right, right. A couple weeks ago. What about a guy named Pick, a big gambler? I, I don't remember who I. Played. Okay, he, I remember he was Scott, playing for thousands. I, I remember Scott only because he owned the pool. Scott room, Smith, and right? And we stayed friendly over the years, and I used to see him here every year. Yeah, yeah. Um, Is that where Danny Medina was? No, Danny was in. Uh, he was in Denver. Denver. This okay. was this was Colorado Springs. I oh, all right. And you know it's funny. This, now Scott had this real beautiful pool room. I, I play him and. It wasn't that hard to beat Scott. He was, he was uh-huh. a decent player. Yeah. So it, it's 3 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday when we get into town. We go into downtown Colorado, uh, Colorado Springs. There's a pool room open. Every light's on. The door's unlocked. No one's in there. We go inside. Grady Matthews owned it. He's downstairs. They got a crap game. Oh, no kidding. Well. You know, I, I was gone for three weeks with Bobby Hunter, a really good player. Yeah, yeah, I met okay. Bobby. Yeah. Bobby and I lost one time. He lost to Grady. We watched Grady Matthews hit a ball. Like this? Yeah, I yeah. said, he can't play. <laughs> well, we were wrong. He beat us, and uh, Bobby and I were going three weeks. We booked one loser, but we didn't know how to manage. We ran out of money in Tucson. I had an old Master Card, uh, what do you call it? Master Charge card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back then, before computers, they didn't know it was expired. They don't know. I, char- I mean, overdrawn. I charged my way across the country. To get, to get me home. Did you leave the TV in the hotel rooms when you checked out? Yes, I did. I, did. I didn't pay to call That's funny hotel. stuff. And then we found out, if you go to McDonald's, first thing in the morning with a 50, they can never take them. Oh. So we would go, and we'd go in there. And there were three of us, Bobby Hunter and I, and my, my friend Dennis, who was an yeah. okay player. Well, we go into this one, we give him the 50 to give us a meal. So a few minutes later, Dennis go back and ask for seconds. He had the same 50. <laughs> he got no I said he had bigger balls than I did. He, he really did. What a great move. Oh, my God. But you, so you could travel the country. You didn't have to pay the motel and hit McDonald's when they opened. You didn't have to pay for food. Well, there, yeah, well, there was another move, too, that walk into the diner separately, and one guy has a coffee and toast. The other guy has a giant meal. They switched checks. And the oh, guy, God, I did. Oh, yeah, just, it's just. The, right next to the pool in New London where Steve uh, robbed that money from me. Allegedly. Right across the parking lot, there was a great ice cream and uh, sandwich shop, you know. Yeah. But the here's, room. here's what they did wrong. You'd order a, a burger. You get a bill. You order a soda. You get a bill. Then you order dessert. You get a bill. Well, you pay for the soda, you throw the other two away. <laughs> <laughs> we must have done that about a thousand times. And, and do you think they would wake up? You think they, They're you not think in business they, anymore, in case yeah. you're wondering. You think they'd be shocked, just like motels. You yeah. think they'd figure, how can you not ask us for ID? Yeah, right, we're, yeah. We're all a bunch of bulk pool yeah. players. Thirteen to thirteen dollars a room, 13, imagine. And that's what we're paying thirteen. Yeah, sure. Room, and we're not even paying that. Yeah, if, yeah. If you don't pay up front. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, my God. <laughs> Running out the back door. Was, I didn't we, steal. We have any <laughs> oh, you took all your, that one without saying. Oh, saying. sure, and yeah. You took all the shampoo. <laughs> yeah. Took, but I didn't take the TV. My friend, my <laughs> friends did, and I'll, I'll tell you who they were when I get off. And then, uh, oh, my God. They, a lot of people are asking about the Guama match, and as far as we know, still, he's, he's still upstairs gambling in the yeah. other action. Yeah. Room. And, and, and he will be playing uh, Jesus Atencio when he comes down. This is this is going to go all night here, oh, folks. Yeah, it could. I mean, but, 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 yeah, uh, would you do me a favor? Yeah. If people don't want to hear my stories, tell them. And, and they tell they, them it's too bad because I want to hear them. Right? If they tell me to stop, I'll stop. I you, know what? Want, you know what? I'm telling you not to stop, and there I don't care go. what they're saying. I, I, know, but I think they, only one person has told you to stop. My wife? Nope. Who? Marty Herman. Marty Herman. Marty yep. Herman. Let me tell you Marty Herman's story. Yeah, give me some yeah, Marty Herman give stories. Us some, give us some ammunition. Since, since he doesn't want to <laughs> listen anymore, go ahead. Okay. Marty Herman and I were at a tournament in somewhere in uh, Massachusetts. I forgot where. Yeah. Marty didn't have a queue. I had a nice Josh for sale for a few hundred. He goes, Bob, let me use the queue. Is that Josh or Josh? Josh. 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 Yeah. Okay. He, <laughs> said, he said, let me use the queue, and if I do good, I'll buy it. Marty wins the tournament. He said, I don't like to stick a hand in the back of me. <laughs> Way to go, Marty. I, I hope Marty's still listening to Way that. Way to one. go, Marty. <laughs> well, I'll let you know if he is. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he still brings it up whenever I bump into him. Uh, no, Brian Lowell, I love it. Keep the stories coming. Please. Brian who? Lowell. Okay. These are, the, and, and Bobby Hunt, 
Bobby Hunt Storytellers story on YouTube. And we're just telling the stories now, only because we're waiting. We're trying. Yeah, yeah, of course, we're, of we're, course. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to hold and, 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 up and, and, air until and, the match We're waiting starts. for that $25,000 match. My face hurts from laughing so hard right now. <laughs> Are there many people watching this? About 500, I think, before. Oh. So I get yeah. 301 on right now oh, with okay. the uh, stream. Yeah, well, I, don't, but if, I got it up on my phone. If people don't want the stories, I'll stop. Because uh, Al no, took no, down no, the chat. No, 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 no. Please continue. No. Yeah. Well, Marty, you got a... You got a just, every time I see Marty... You got a request for a story. Who is that? For uh, Ryan Lynham. He wants oh. a Billy, Billy the Kid story. Which Billy one? the Kid. Billy was with me. Any when, of them. Billy was with me when they murdered uh, Black Rob. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, really? Down yeah. Lodi? Oh, yeah, Billy was with oh, I never saw him in Lodi. Well, oh. okay. B B Billy and I were together yeah. on that one. I played Billy up in front. I tell you, yeah. Billy, Billy the kid, when I first met him, he was 15. First of all, I thought his parents should have been arrested. Uh -huh. They should not allow a boy to move from Providence, Rhode Island, to the back of a pool room <laughs> yeah. with people like me. Yeah. Yeah. 24 hours a day. I really think that's... I have children. <laughs> I, I think they should have been in trouble. Yeah. You can't send children to live with people it's like child us. Endangerment. We're all adults. Yeah, yeah. But Billy, at 15 and 16, 17... Like, Lucas is a really good young player. Billy, at that age, I don't think was better than Lucas, but he was smart. He Right from the start, he was sharp. Yeah. And he understood gambling. The worst thing that happened... When he was about 19, he got a fake ID. They started letting him in the casino. Oh boy. Yeah. And then Ralph bought out that mob card game down there, and Billy stopped hanging around the pool room. But I thought he was going to be a champion. No kidding. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think the world of Billy. Here, here's funny. I see Billy twice a year. He hugs me every time he sees me. He whispers in my ear, Bobby, let me hold 100. <laughs> I give him 20. I figure I did well. I'm 80 ahead. He made a 20 wanders <laughs> off. So recently, a friend of mine from, uh, <laughs> named uh, uh, Brian Merrick from Connecticut, he went up to, New up to uh, Providence. I said, if you see Billy, give him 10, even though I give him 20. He said, tell him this is from Bobby Hunt. Uh, Billy, meanwhile, he owes me twelve hundred, but that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different story. You, you and somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah Joe Roberti. Yeah. Uh, so he call, he goes up there. <coughs> it's my friend Brian. He says, "Billy, this is from Bobby. It's ten, right?" Billy says, "No, Bobby gives me twenty. <laughs> he said, well, I'm giving you ten. <laughs> so anytime guys go from Connecticut, I tell him, "Give Billy ten. I'll straighten out later." And I, I, well, love, I love the kid. Yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. I'm never getting paid. Yeah. I did say to him once. Billy, you ought to pay me. I'm the only guy who can spot you. Yeah. And, but until you pay me, he had a backer wanted to play. I give him nine eight, but I can't play a guy that owes me money. You got to straighten out. Yeah. How stupid do you feel losing to a guy who owes you money and you pay him? Yeah. Uh, but I think the world of this boy. I I don't care if he ever pays me. I love seeing him. Yeah, I like seeing him around. Yeah, uh, he's sure. He's funny. Yeah. It's just a shame he has problems. Yeah, you know? yeah, it but sure he, is. He's a great guy. You have to know Bruce Grayson. He had, the Amazing he's, Grayson. He's the first guy. He, I ever he met. passed away. What a shame! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, about over he's ten. He's the first guy. I ever about met. Maybe ten years ago. Oh, I'm going back to 1970. He had a couple of porn shops. Bruce Grayson. I remember he had a couple yeah. of pornography. He was where, a cool guy. Where he was this? In uh, New Jersey, somewhere. Yeah, okay. yeah Bruce Grayson. He, he was a tennis player. I never knew that till the funeral. Oh. Me and Pat went to the funeral, and and a lot of people there. No pool players except for me and Pat. Oh. And I, yeah, I, he wouldn't. Well, he didn't really. Get he asked trapped me at a Chicago game. He goes, "You want to do deductions or no deductions?" I said, "I don't care." He goes, "Okay, no deductions," <laughs> and he never forgot it. You know. He, he um he and I played one time in a tournament. It was in the one in uh, uh Asbury Park. They yeah. had, I think there were two or three there. Uh -huh. It was a, a one year when the air conditioning went out, and it was brutally hot and humid. And they made us wear the suit jacket right, right. with the with yes, the vest. Yes, sir. So yeah. I'm playing Bruce. It's soaking wet, <sighs> and we're miserable. And Jack Colavita's son, well, actually, uh, Danny Gartner started out as our ref, yeah. but he fell asleep standing up. <laughs> so they took him out, and Jack Colavita's son, Jackie, yeah. Jackie was the referee for our match. I had never played worse in my life. He played as bad as me. It was We played like an hour, and the score was like, you know, 20 to 20. I mean, it was a terrible game. Right, right. I'd had enough. <laughs> I said, listen, and I like Bruce. We weren't friends, but we were friendly. Uh -huh. I said, I'm quitting. He goes, no, you, Jackie goes, you can't quit, Jackie Jr. He says, you can't quit. I said, I'm quitting. And, and then Bruce goes, oh, yeah, he can quit if he wants. <laughs> it was miserable. I was ho playing horrible. It was wet. But then I got to know him a little bit. I asked him to gamble but once, but he didn't really. You got, you got any uh, uh, Ervolino stories? Oh, he owes me money. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you wanna, Johnny Orvalino. Johnny Orvalino. Okay. Yeah. I never knew him when he was young. Uh -huh. I knew him when we got older. He, right. He'd come back from wherever he was. And he started coming to Connecticut. And um, 
But that, that scratchy sorry, voice he had. He, oh, wow. God. Yeah. Velvet Fog. It, it was great. Great, he called. Yeah. Uh, so I met him. Oh God. It had to be the 90s when he, he came. I think he lived in Las Vegas, but he came back to Connecticut. So he comes around, and I really didn't play much One Pocket yet. I was, oh, yeah, it was before my surgery. So I, had, I wasn't playing much One Pocket. And, uh, but I liked the game. <coughs> Excuse me. So he, we, he and I played, and he beat me easily. Uh, two or three times. Each time he beats me, he's hugging me. I'm his buddy. Oh, yeah. Right, Keep now, your friends right, close. Now yeah. I'm starting to learn the game a little bit, and I'm playing. So now I break even. <laughs> I break even the next two times. Instead of hugging me, he's barely acknowledging me. Now we're up in Maine. He says, you want to play now? He still, I still haven't beaten him yet. We're in Maine. He says, you want to play a set of nine ball and a set of one pocket? He didn't realize mine was always my best game because oh, okay. he had been gone right, for right. years. So I beat him easily at nine ball. We play one pocket. Now we beat him at one pocket. We went from him hugging me to calling me a piece of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, and I laugh because I think it's funny. But I, uh, he yeah. insulted me all over the place. Wow. He, uh, and then right after that, I did an Accustat video, and he was in the booth. Now I'm thinking, oh my God, he's gonna kill me. Because oh, you were playing in the Accustat? I, was, I played. Uh, so the, the Accustats has it on record, then. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, could rent that. Nicky Varner. Oh, oh, oh Nicky. In fact, Nicky went Nikki's on. Nicky's here too. Oh yeah, I yeah. saw him. Nicky went on and won the tournament. Uh -huh. But uh, so I played Nicky, and he's in the booth, and I said, I know he's killing me. Oh, he's gonna barbecue he, you. Because right. I had just beaten him, and he was mad. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was <laughs> always nice to me. Never asked me to play again. So he beat me six times. I broke even twice, beat him once, never played me again. How did the recording go? Did you listen to it? Um, <laughs> did he barbecue you? It took, no, I, well, he beat me. It took, a, it was a, it was a long No, the, com the commentating, I mean. Oh, well, he was fine. He oh, was okay. Fine. He, only, he did part of it. Um, that was back when Pat, like the commentators, most commentators now, except for two or three of them, Jeremy, uh, yeah. Josh Roberts, I think is great. Most of the commentators are horrible. You there was an old Accustats with Pat. Everybody in that booth was great. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, and they were all good to me, uh -huh. even the, uh, but it's funny, now, Johnny knew me well, but he always called me Hunter, you know, <laughs> oh, right, and yeah. I'm Bobby Hunter, Bobby, yeah, right. I'm not Bobby Hunter, Bobby but Hunter, he always yeah. called me Hunter, even on the video, but we got along fine, I played him, oh, I did play him one more time, in the, uh, he was in Milford, um, I get to the pool and he's hitting balls already, Tall John had brought him in, yeah. so I said, you know, he asked me to play, he was on the table, I said, sure. So I start beating him. He accused me of trapping him on a phony table. He was playing when I got there. Right. So I was ahead, I don't remember how much, 100 maybe, it wasn't very much. I said, you know, John, why don't we just quit? You don't have to pay me. I said, take care of the time. He forgot to pay the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay the time. <laughs> and maybe we'll track him down. Yeah. He, he yeah. passed away. And oh, here's the last story of Johnny Ervolino. Okay. Um, with Larry. Uh oh. You got an unopened. Oh, you're in trouble now, lady. Okay. I'm, I'm in, Larry Guscotti's in the hospital, in hospice, yeah. in, in the Hartford Hospital. Oh, boy, yeah. So I'm sitting in there with Larry and my friend Bruce, and this is uh, on New Year's Eve of whatever year that was. Oh, so it would have been New Year's Eve 2004. Bruce and I are in, in the hospital with Larry, and you know, they gave him not much time to live. Yeah, right. At this point, his mind was still great. So we're telling stories like just like you and I are. And at, at what age? I'm sorry. Uh, what, 58. Uh, some complicated. I'm just curious. Cancer. Okay, thanks. You know, thanks. Untreated. Till yeah, it's too rest late. in peace, Mister. So, yeah. um, anyway, so so while we're there, he calls Johnny Orvalino up on the phone. Larry had everyone's phone number. Uh -huh. And it, and Johnny gets on the phone. And Larry says, Johnny, we hear uh, we hear you're in a nursing home. Johnny goes, No, nursing home. I've been telling people that so I can get more weight in Derby City. <laughs> then he then he calls he calls Ronnie Allen up, and this is how Larry how yeah. Larry's mind, mind was. He calls Larry uh, he calls up uh, Johnny uh, Ronnie, Allen. Ronnie Allen, and he goes Ronnie Ronnie, you know what the worst thing of having a terminal disease is? Ronnie must have said no. What Larry? He said my bookmaker made me post. <laughs> I, I got no credit line anymore. <laughs> what we uh, oh, a couple of uh, people are asking uh, Donnie Willis. Any Dolly Willis Willis? I stories? knew of him, but I don't know him. Nick Vlahos. Uh, great player yeah. who died too young. Yep. Nick who? Nick Vlahos. Nicky Vlaho. He was the one I said he was out of Boston. When I got good in the early 70s, would, at the same time, Mike Zuglin got good, yeah. and so did Nicky. We won 
we won pretty much everything at that period. Of the three of us, or straight pool, Zuglin was by far the best. But at nine ball, I thought Nicky was, was better than me. Uh -huh. Even though I had beaten him gambling, I thought he was a better player. Yeah, yeah. One pocket, uh, he, he, he didn't play, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got a Nicky Vlaho story. Uh, if that person want to hear a Nicky Vlaho story? Yeah, yeah we want to hear something. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Nicky and I, now this one, we're young. Remember I told you I, I got the place to close early? Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. So Nicky yeah. says, he lived in Salem, Mass. Nicky says, you come up to Massachusetts, I'll play you some more. So my friend Bert and I, he was my partner. We had a little pool room in Saybrook. It was connected to a bowling alley. So we go up to play Nicky. Well, we get up there. Nicky Vlaho asked me for the eight. Now, I'm, I'm now I'm good enough to understand what weight is. Yes, sir. And on the old tables, the dead tables, the eight was way more than it is now because no one ran packages back then. So I said, I can't give you the eight. He says, what will you spot me if I play one-handed? I said, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> so he chose the five and six. Within an hour, I'm flat busted. I got no, I never saw anybody play one-handed yet. And now here's the guy running out, robbing me. Of course, I'm giving him five. So now we're broke. Bert and I get in the car. We're driving back to our little pool room in Sabre. So here's our plan. The way to bowling alley, it's a bowling alley. We have our pool room. And the office is between us, and there's a safe that's never locked. So we get back. We're gonna we're, we're see gonna, where this is going, right? You can see where this is going. Yeah, okay. We're gonna climb up into the rafters. You climb over into the office and down. I'm gonna rob the safe. We're going right back up to Boston, and I'm gonna bust Nikki. He playing one hand. Yes. Jesus. We climb up in the rafters. It's disgusting. <laughs> I said. I'm not going up there. So that was the end of my being a, a, an armed robber. B and E, yeah, B &E I, guy. I wasn't robbing the place. It was too dirty. But but Nikki, you're probably not built for jail. Remember, no, not, you know. No. But I didn't know how good guys could play one-handed. Yeah. I mean, I I thought I was good. They're playing jack up one-handed, running out, and oh my God. Keith yeah. McCre Keith McCready stories. I. Keith McCready, I've played. There's probably a million of those. I've played wow. Keith twice. He beat me twice. Uh -huh. But I have a story that has a little to do with Keith. All right. We're down in Stanford playing in a tournament. It's down to four of us. Gink Ginky and I, myself, Keith, and Zuggler. Mm -hmm. I think they're playing the hot seat. And um, Ginky and I are at third, fourth. We had to play our match. This is back when the pool room was customers would come watch. You know. Right, the, right, the, the right. The place is full. The stands yeah. are full. So Ginky and I, Ginky had just... He was in a loser bracket because Keith had just beaten him. So I'm playing Ginky, and it scores like 4-4. I mean, it's early in the set. One of us look at the other and say, let's go to the bathroom. So you know what's coming. So we go into the bathroom. We're going to chop the tournament. There's a little side note. We go into the bathroom. First thing I do is look <laughs> under. I look under the stalls. There's nobody in there. So now Ginky and I, are, I said, I don't care if you wouldn't. You know, I'll, I'll dump my match off. I don't care as long as I get the money. So it was fine. Just then this guy, Bobby Cobus, walks out of the bathroom. I didn't hear nothing. I heard nothing. I checked. There were no feet under there. <laughs> he should have gone out and bet. He knew I was dumping. Standing up on so, the toilet. So Ginky and I go out there. I dump my match. I don't care. I'm, as long as I got paid. Yeah. At the time, I had a wife who had money. Couldn't understand why I would do that. I got paid. And women who, people who work, don't understand. In pool, 500000 Especially then, yeah. you had to worry about that. Yeah. It was so I dumped. That Anyhow, was, that was but, double the rent there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And back then the rent was like yeah. two hundred. Sure. Month. So now I get beat by Ginky. Now here's where Keith McCready comes in. So I'm going to beat Keith. Ginky's going to play Keith, and that's what he wanted. He wanted me to dump because he wanted to beat Keith because Keith had just beaten him. I walk to the other side of the room. I order a sandwich. It's six minutes later. Ginky's down six to nothing. Keith opened up with a six. Wow. And Oof. earlier, Keith had beaten me earlier. So I played, <laughs> I played Keith twice. I've lost to Keith twice. But I have a good story with Keith and Louis Roberts. I wasn't there, but this was told to me by other people. Louis Roberts played Keith a set, and I don't know if they were playing 10 ahead or a race to 10. Keith opened up with a 10. <laughs> Louis never hit a ball. Wow. Keith ran the whole set. Louis? That's vicious. Now, according to, Can't get much stronger than that. According to, I think Ginky's the one told me, but I'm not positive. I think it was Ginky. They said Louie paid them. I think it was a thousand. Louie paid him. Never said a word. Takes his cue. He's walking out. Teeth is yelling, Louie, Louie, come back, come back. We can adjust. And this is where Louie had a great line. He says, I'm embarrassed to ask for what I need to play you. 
and I'm afraid you might give it to me. And he and I thought that was a great full line. I and got I got probably one of the cl- a classic story about Jersey Mill. Uh, and low dive billiards. I pull into the parking lot. It's winter. It's, there's ice in the parking lot. When you pull up, up off the off the street onto the parking lot. I'm doing two miles an hour, and I start sliding fast on the slickest ice I ever seen in my life. I stop a foot from the dumpster, almost hit the car, hit the thing, and wreck my car. And I and I walk into the pool room, and all the mob guys are there. And I announce, and I know them all. And I said, I'm an, uh, I'm. I'm laying even money that Jersey Mel has a car accident when he pulls into the parking lot. <laughs> the way he drives, and. So an hour later, Jersey Mel walks in the door, and he says, uh, and he says hi. And about two minutes later, he goes, you know what just happened to me? And yeah, everybody yeah, turns to look at me. So now I'm playing geeky like two weeks later at West End. But uh, I'm sitting with Kenny the Farmer in the stands, and I said to Kenny, I said, I'm playing geeky right here. He goes, they didn't have the draw yet. I said, yeah, but I had a dream last night. Sure enough, they call me you on table two. So I finished with Ginky. I beat him five to two. It was a spot he had to give him to six. And, I, and uh, I said, Ginky, I went to the farmer to tell you. He says, he told you, he told me he was playing you here before the draw. And Ginky goes, didn't you the guy that said Jersey Mel was going to have an accident? The other day, he goes, yeah, he says, stayed away from me. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> How many years has he been gone now? What's that? Gig- How many years has he been going well, now? I, I, about, uh, I guess about maybe 12, yeah. 12, like 12. Yeah, okay. yeah. I need a five-minute break. Hey, hey, yeah, take it off. Let me hit your phone. Yeah, okay, give me your – yeah. Uh, Bobby Hunt will be right back. And uh, this was kind of enjoyable. He's taking a break. Right Head cold. No sweat. Don't worry about it. Take your time, sir. Mr. Capitone, you hanging out? Or? Sure, I'll hang out. I've got it right here. Hold on. We're, we're, st- we're still waiting on a, on a 20,000 point match, I believe it is here. Uh, 25, I think. 25,000 points. Points, yeah. Points. Yeah, points. They're called points here. I don't know what the yeah, game was. I, I it was. A race to 15 or 20. I don't know. Was it 10 ball? I got no idea. I would, oh, I was because uh, Atencio was giving up 8, 9, and 10. Oh, I race to 21 for 20,000 points. You know, this whole conversation being recorded is. Is is important for the a lot game. Of great stories. You don't it's, see that with money people. No, and and now he just wrote a book here. Sure, he did. You know, he really did. He, he said really he had offers, and he but he doesn't want to do it. Well, it's entertaining, and it's out there now, so he he could start right from there. Anybody that, that wants to approach the man, I got things to do. I ain't doing it. Well, <laughs> you and Al know people. It was cool. It was yeah. cool. Oh, it was uh, like I said, we had the greatest. You're blessed, man, hanging out with this guy. Man. Yeah, I never heard it. of him. I smoke it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm broke forever. What are you, crazy? I got kids and, you know. Yeah, well, no, he's a grandfather, too. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all messed up there. Yeah, I no, I didn't mess up. I got the coolest grandkids and everything. No, you guys did things the right oh, way. Oh, sure. Yeah, a lot of people are wondering when this match is going to happen. But well, you're just going to have to wait. It is yeah, going to happen. We're waiting, too. And, this, and, and unless you want a refund. You can have a refund. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, these guys are playing for a thousand points a rack. Here's a one pocket match right in front of us here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, and uh, I don't know who it is or. Neither do I. I don't let me see. Them. I can't see who they are. Reyes Gomez was in here for a little while, but he left. Oh, I didn't even see him come in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know these guys at all. Neither one of them. I don't remember. But that table is open for anybody to practice on and play on. But they got something going on over there. You know they do. And there's a bar box in front of us here, and I don't know what's yeah, going on there either. I'm not sure what's either. going on there. That was a uh, race to I'm 10 gonna, for 1,000 points. I'm going to go find out right now for you folks, and maybe we'll switch over to the other one, if you don't mind. Uh, no, that's fine. I'll try and keep up with the chat over here. And we'll see if we can get some idea on when Guam is coming down as well. He's in the action room upstairs. Don't know where upstate went. Bob will be back in a few minutes. He had something to take care of. Let me see if I can switch this here. 
Okay, we've got a bar box here. Race to nine for 400 points. And I don't know who's ahead, but oh, keep us busy. At, least, at least you uh, know what's going on, on on the table. A lot of people in the chat love the stories. Oh, good. I, You know what? I was hoping so, because yeah. when, when are you ever going to hear it? They beg Earl for stories on Facebook. When, please tell the story. They always yeah, beg. Yeah, he's got a million of they them. Always, oh, yeah, yeah. You could probably put an encyclopedia out there with all the guys that are out there that know. You know, you got Varner, you know. Uh, uh, Billy and Cardona, he, he's got, oh my God. Is he here? No, no, no. Uh, and you know what? I see him every year, and I hope he's, I hope he, I don't know how he could miss us. And I hope yeah. he's well, well enough to get here. But it's it's fun hanging with Billy. Love uh, his one pocket commentary. Oh, yeah, sure. If he was picking up his commentary is uh, Scott Frost. Scott Frost is doing a lot of commentary now. Is he really? Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, J J yeah. Dub Double J there, yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is this is the uh, this is the event to be at. I think this is my tenth time. That's it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have not have not been going as long as uh, Bobby and the guys. I, I never went never went when it when it was in Louisville. Yeah, only since it's been here. So okay, like 2011, I, I think was the first time here. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. I, I might have been before that, maybe. What's that? The first time here before 2011, right? What? This, what, the Derby City in this location? Uh, no, it was here in, in, in 2011. It, it was it here. started in 11? No, or, no, it's been here. That. It's been here for 25 yeah, years. Okay, all right. first, first time for me was 2011. Uh, all right. Yeah, because I quit for 20 years and I came back and oh. uh, and I'm hanging out with Fleming all the time and I'm, you know, I'm having a blast, you know. But to come back for after 20 years, I, I was in a bad motorcycle wreck in 2006. I was two months in a coma, broken neck, lost a kidney, my left leg's half titanium, oh seven ribs, tracheotomy. I'm a ghost, yeah. You've been through the mill. Yeah, I'm fun. I'm having fun now, you know. Yeah, I took a girl ran a light on me uh, in North Carolina. Her brakes failed. They always fail when you don't press on them, you know. <laughs> so I hit the Cadillac, and uh, I woke up and see my brother in the hospital. I go, what, what the hell's going on? <laughs> he says, you were in an accident two months ago. Two yeah, months. Yeah, swear to God, yeah. Yeah, I'm a ghost. Very, very fortunate. Yeah, maybe not. I, I, I was comfortable sleeping there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Fastest summer of my life. What year was this? I what year was this? Uh, 06. 06, okay. While I'm in crutches, I buy a brand new Harley, full dress Harley. I put 206,000 miles on it. Oh, my God. And I sold that. Now I got another one with about 135,000 on it. I ride a lot. It's a lot of fun. And and I, you know what? I probably like riding a bike more than this game. I hear you, guys, I hear you talking about it a lot, especially the, the turning stone. Yeah, yeah. I hear you talk yeah. about that on there. Yeah. That'll keep you out of trouble, and you see everything. It's great because I got the radio on, and you know, any bikers out there in the chat, uh, I got to give a plug here to uh, a company to help me out with batteries. Renegade Battery out of Goodyear, Arizona. I had to give you guys a plug. You may never hear it, but uh, I'm off the hook now. And I'm also going to give a plug to Phil Capel out there with his library, BilliardsPress.com, Joe Tucker. Joe What's Tucker. Joe T yeah, Joe Tucker. Mr. Mr. The, Rack. The, you're right. The greatest uh, information you're going to get on, on nine ball break and and everything this man knows every is what everybody's using. and, and It's changed the game. Joe Villapando, I hope you're good up there in Minnesota. and You, you ought to get down there. We miss you, mister. Who, who am I missing? Sorry, I forget. Mike Lambros Cues. Mikey. Uh, I got to say hello to Mike Lambros Cues because... Uh, I got one of his cues. A beautiful piece of piece of work. Um, you need a mic. You need a, another microphone, sir? Or are you? What'd you do with your mic? Do you need a mic? Oh, sitting Bobby's sitting back here. Tired of my stories? No, yeah, no, yeah, people yeah, like yeah. the stories. Yeah, we hate you now. <laughs> now. Marty Herman has not replied. All right, put that on. I got you back on in a second. Okay, you're back, Bobby. Uh, sorry. Yeah, What'd you find out out there? In the, oh, so this is a, a race to nine in front of us on the bar box for 400. Uh, okay. And, and, and I don't know either player. And what's going on upstairs? Well, I'm still upstairs. We're still waiting for him to finish it. One so place. he must be in something good. I don't know what it is. You get two and a half hour matches you know, all day long upstairs. Are we going to still show it tonight or are they? 
Oh, it's probably still on. As of now. This place is going to go all night. We, we're, got, we, we were in there until 2.30 last night watching yeah. Wama play uh, yeah. Reyes Gomez. Yeah. Well, yeah. I got back to my room at like 5 this morning. And, 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 I'm yeah. not staying here to 5 I'm with you guys. I'm not used to that. Oh, you know what? I'm, I don't know if I am. I am. I was 50 years ago. It depends on, It depends how much time I have to buy back in. Because oh. I missed the buyback yesterday, but I ain't going to miss this one. Oh, I have a question because we've been on the air so long. Ask yeah. uh, anybody out there. Tell me who won the Kansas City game. I missed. I, I, I missed the end of it. I believe Kansas City won. Baseball. Yeah. No, no, no. no. no I know that. <laughs> yeah, we, we the Evan, Royals. The Royals. Evan See. Broxmeyer says hello. <laughs> oh, hey Evan, how you doing? <laughs> Long Island guy. See if someone answers that. Not Evan's a rider. Evan got a new trike actually. Uh, I heard it. Yeah. Chiefs twenty-seven twenty-four. Chiefs won. Chiefs won twenty-seven oh. to twenty-four. Oh my God! Oh. I must be ecstatic. Oh, Sean Wilkie must like that. I would be busting the chops on that. Oh, you know what? This is the playoff time uh, right here on, like, Sunday night. Something's going on. And I was torturing Sean Wilkie out here. Oh, boy. This is a gr- I'm, I'm glad remember, you're here. This is a great place to be. I know? remember when he was a kid. Yeah. I was down hanging around Baltimore, and I heard about this kid playing in, uh, oh, I can't think of the name. It's a town where Cal Ripken lived. Well, he, yeah, Sean's from Harvard de Graaf. Yeah, I used to, but I saw him in a pool room. The same exit where Cal Ripken oh, had you know, the baseball stadium. Right, he's got the stadium right off there 95 was a pool there. Room, right, right. right. Yeah, the other way on the exit, I went in there, and I remember Sean was playing somebody, and I was playing a guy named Sammy Smith. And every time Sean broke. Sammy Smith? Yeah. Every time uh, Sean broke, my head spun around because it was like a shot yeah, going yeah. off. And this has to be. Know, you know, he, he's, a, he's into photography, and he's going his own. But he's still in action a little bit. He came down here one year, and and I, I drove him. To, I drove down when we shared a room, uh, and uh, he ends up playing Niels Fine, mm-hmm. Johnny Archer, Ralph Suquet, Levian, and some guy from Canada, and beats them all and bangs in one play. And I'm wow. like, in one in one in three days, he's playing four Hall of Famers. It's I had Niels. Niels stayed with me for a few days. Oh, Niels, this is a class act. I snuck him around Connecticut a little bit. Did you really? And took him. To, yeah, uh, I took him to Jason's room. Well, before Jason had ever been there. Oh, okay. When uh, his right. wife, wife's I, family I understand. had it. And then I took him up to the casino. He won the casino tournament that year. The Tournament of Champions tournament thing? Tournament of Champions. Mohegan. He won 50, I think. He just went to Hall of Fame down at the uh, uh, U.S. Open, I think. Yeah. The only negative I can say about that man, he's one of the slowest players I've ever watched. Is that right? I watched him play straight pool. He won the straight pool, that, the world straight pool that year. I've never seen anybody play that slow. He was great. He but puts he, that cue ball in the middle of the he, table all the time, right? Oh, he's a great player. Oh, oh sure, But yeah. he was so slow. No kidding. I never minded playing slow players. I liked them better. I, play, I played uh, Luke Salvas out of Canada. Luke Salvas, the speed fastest. player, speed ball. He played speed so ball. fast. I played him one time. We flipped a coin. Six minutes later, I was down 4 nothing. I've never seen anything like it <clears> in my whole life. Six minutes? Wow. Six minutes, he, he ran four so fast he ran so i had to take two bathroom breaks to, to, to just to, to slow, slow down the, the clock and he still beat me on the hill yeah. but i had to put a stop to this and this is back when i could move full with the rack he can't, it didn't matter what i did with the rack yeah. he was still making ball i had a race to line in providence against jason and i won the first game you know how he scratched on the line it's one nothing eddie it was over in 29 minutes he plays fast i'm like where am i up with he the, ran that 700 in like seven, two hours and 30 minutes and really? That's what. Thir- oh, I didn't know the time. Two thirty-eight. He ran. That means fifty-one racks of pool in two. Hours. I've run two hundred one time, and it took me two hours. He ran fifty-one racks in two hours. I watched That's a lot. Of, I watched a lot of that, but not that run because he's going to come back. He's not going to have the heart to go at it this Why again. Why would you want to put yeah. yourself through that? But but to, to bear down the way he did and, yeah. and stay intense that long. Yeah. I, I'd rather get that a job. concentrate. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather get a job. That was brutal watching because every, you know, you'd run 300 and then have to do start at you gotta zero. you got to start over oh again. My God. And he had 400s in there. 400s. Yeah. And you seen him towards the end. I seen the way he was breaking me because he said, oh, I remember the scratch on this one before I ain't doing that again. He really learned about that ball going to the back now. You know? I'll tell you one thing about, about uh, Jason. And I, I've never seen anyone who can pocket balls better. I've seen other guys I thought played right. better, nine ballers, straight pool, but I've never seen guys who can come with the tough shots like he can over and over and over. And who was the best guy you would say with a uh, a, a straight pool break shot? 
into the pack. Who would you? Steve Miserere. Miserere. Miz, Miz, he crushed yeah. that. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, I tried to emulate that when I started getting better. Yeah. I, I really, when you heard it, you paid attention to. Well, right? because I, I knew yeah. he was great. Yeah. He was left-handed, yeah. so I looked up to him, and he liked me. His son, know. his son, uh, Steve Jr., sitting next to me in the Sandcastle Billiards, and, I'm, and we're talking, and, and, and we're talking for about 10 minutes, and he's making these expressions the same way Steve looked. And I go, holy crap, he looks just like your old man. He, it was so, yeah, it was so good to see, you know. With the eyebrows going up and it down. Was, it was yeah, incredible, yeah. But he's got the same uh, mannerisms, yep. you know. Miserac's the best, I, in my opinion. Made it look easy. I think Siegel was great, yeah. and certainly. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, sure. But I liked the way. And Miserac ate himself out of pool. I mean, when he was young, he would bend over to shoot. When he got in those latter years, he barely could bend over from the waist. You know, well, Billy Henderson uh, used to stop with him on the road, and when they stopped at McDonald's, it wasn't just a happy meal. Give no. me three of them and three of them and three of them. You know, it's, boy. You know, I went out to dinner with one time. This is when I was still playing straight pool, so the late 70s. I went out. Gus and Bodie and I were pretty friendly. Uh -huh. He used to make me a cue. I made got him a cue one time in four days. Right. Wow. He, he, well, he liked me because yeah. I I used his cue. I and got, for the, for those that don't know, you couldn't get on the list to get a cue from the man. But here's one, and his son will tell you this. I picked a cue up from Gus one morning. I s I slept in his driveway the night before, waiting for the. Okay. Oh, he gave me the cue. I picked up about seven seven thirty. Coming back through Connecticut, there was a, a black pool room down in Bridgeport. The guy opened at midnight, and usually in the morning they're cleaning up. You know, it was an after-hours place. So I stopped in to try my new cue, you know, before I didn't have a table in the house yet. I try it, and Gil was a decent player. He had a table. You couldn't get the chalk past the ball. It was the tightest table I ever played Gil on. Gil Black. Gil Black. Really? So, I, two, so two, three, I, three. I'm so i giving the guy, to Gil, the seven ball normally. I tried to give him the seven on this table. Like three-and-a-half-inch pockets oh, you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Oh, yeah, it was just tight. I've, I've <laughs> yeah, never played him. So <laughs> I'll move to the end. At 12.30, we're all done. I got to call Gus. I lost this cue. Oh. I had it for four hours. He started laughing. <laughs> I'm make, I'm making up. Another time, I'm in, I'm in North Carolina. I think it was Wilson. I spent a lot of time down there. And uh, I, I broke. I was with Billy Dunsmore. Uh -huh. I didn't miss one ball. Chicken man. Yeah. I had half of him. He had half of me. Yeah, yeah. He lost so much, I, lost, I was busted. I, I never even played. So I called Gus. I said, listen, I got to sell the cue. I have to get home, you know, and this is when the queue was probably worth three fifty before his prices yeah. oh, went yeah, crazy. Yeah. I could have got so, one for three fifty back yeah. in the day. I remember, but that was a lot of money. I still have. I have then. one. I'm still playing with. Oh, do you? Uh, I, I, yeah. I, but anyhow, um, so I called Gus. I said, "Listen, I'm busted. I got to sell your queue to get home. Um, can you make me a queue?" Four days later, I had a two-piece house queue. First time he'd ever made one, sixty-six dollars, and it had ivory ferrules. Wow. I had two shafts. He gave it to me. I take it back to Connecticut. Everybody loved it. I ordered five more. There's still two or three in Connecticut to this day. Um, that Now, Gus never signed anything. But his you can go to his son, and he'll tell he him. He validated it. Because sure. he'll say, yeah, he'll because he knows it was made for right, me. Yeah. Gus made five of them, total six, five the second time. He said, Bobby, I'm never making these again. He said, there's no, he said, it's not aesthetically pleasing. Plus, oh. he got $60 yeah, yeah, for the yeah, cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he made me a cue in four days. Yeah, Jersey Mill had a Zambo. Oh, you he had a nice one. In fact, that's I think it was Tommy Rocco's that he bought. He also had a Bell. But it was ago. short. The, the Jersey Mill's well, cue was shorter. 50, they were 57 in the yeah, early Jersey, days. Jersey Mill's cue was two or three inches shorter. Even shorter than that. Yeah, yeah. And I, and, but he, he, he loved it. He really did. He loved it, you know. He Did he pass by now? Jersey Mill? Oh, yeah, I years, so, but over, I 20, okay. over 20. Okay, I never heard no, it No, you know what? Sure. No, I shouldn't say 20. No, because he was at the world, he was at, when, when Siegel won, when Siegel won the world straight pool at Clifton Billiards, um, he was there. He was, uh, yeah, he, Jersey Mel was there because Johnny Fulcher was playing. And I don't know if you know Dennis who hung out in Lorelei. Mel, Jersey Mel got in a, a laugh attack. Him and he couldn't stop laughing. In the middle of, right next to a straight pool, like, wow, you can't do that here, you know. And and Johnny Fulcher's looking over at him, and I go, hey, Mel, come on. And I know Johnny Fulcher, and we were, we were like friendly, and, and, I, and he just couldn't stop laughing. And Mel, leave the room, please, you know. 
Yeah, he yeah. He, I like he had a beautiful beautiful wife. I remember her. Yeah, he was. Uh, I like Mel. Yeah, yeah. And I missed out when he blew all that money that year. And, and oh, you did? I mean, well, I, I heard about it. Yeah. The, I, uh, yeah. Bill Henderson got a chunk. Oh sure, yeah. He, he yeah, did yeah, pretty yeah, good. He wasn't stupid. <laughs> no, he, he was pretty good. On yeah, there were guys lined up over in Lodi there. I heard that. Yeah, it was great. I heard C players were winning. It 10, was good 20, to watch. It was good to watch. I swear. Yeah. And he, he was well off. He, his, father yeah, owned his, a, his father owned a slaughterhouse. Yeah, yeah, honestly, guys. In and Patterson, he, New Jersey. And yeah. didn't he have a pool room for a while? Um, Mel? I thought he I, maybe had something trying to I get. I thought he had I vaguely a remember something going, but I don't. I, I like Mel. We got along pretty yeah, good. But he pulled in with that link, and I knew he was going to hit that dumpster the way he drove. Oh, what do you got, Steve? Got any Danny Basovich stories? Oh, uh, Danny owes me money. No, another one. I know he's on the list. He just passed, and last he's going too. Before, yeah. I like uh, Danny Basovich. Um, he couldn't have been more than seventeen, eighteen. He came up to Chicago. Kid, kid Delicious, that is. Kid folks. Delicious. Uh, you know, it's funny if you read his book. He says, "Where how he got the name Kid Delicious." Right. He's wrong. I was it, <laughs> Tommy Jr. gave it to him. He's saying there was a guy in New Jersey. This and that. Well, I give was, us a story. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I don't remember the full story uh -huh. on what Danny says. Yeah. But that's not what happened. Yeah. We were up. He he moved into Chicago billiards. Chicago had two back rooms. Bedrooms. And that was where? That was in West Haven, Connecticut. Oh, okay. He moved in there for a good six months, maybe longer. They had two big rooms in the back with mattresses and air mattresses. There was a shower. Um, he, oh, good. He stayed a long time. And he was losing money to everybody. And Tommy Jr. said, boy, you are sweet and delicious. Oh, my. That's, oh, where no he, that's where the name came. Now, he's saying it was about something in Jersey. He's, yeah. He was lying. Well, I don't say lying. That's yeah, that's wrong. okay. But yeah. he was wrong. I was there. But he was a pretty good player. I mean, yeah, he sure. got he made himself pretty good. Right. But he only would play good for like a year because he, he got huge and he got skinny and he always had other issues. Yeah, he liked he, – he, I had seen him with plates of food a couple of times. And I don't want to talk – Plates of food. He, he lost – 100 pounds, maybe. Uh -huh. I'm in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. He's into the final group in the tournament. Yeah. And I don't know if I was in the tournament still or not. It doesn't matter. He, he's playing a match, and he sends someone out. They brought back two candy bars. Had to be a foot long. <laughs> he, he, and this is when he had lost the weight. I said, he's going to be fat next time you see him. Yeah. He put all the weight back. I on. seen him with a turning stone at, at the snack bar, and he's walking away with cheeseburgers and oh fries. Oh, my God. And, he hit that yeah. food hard. Yeah, yeah. But he really he was a good, good yeah, sure. player, yeah. and he was pretty young. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Well, shame he went out too early. Yeah, you know? yeah, just, a talent like that, you know. He really could play. Right. But, you know, he ate, he got so big, and yeah. and he had other, you know, things he did that were wrong. Yeah. Um, he's, and not, he was, he's not gone that long now. Either. No, it's only been this year. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But he was, a, I mean, I liked him. He was a nice kid. Yeah. Uh, he just wanted to be a pool hustler. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on, uh, Steve? I got some stirring. I see one of Wama's uh, backers sitting down oh. right there. Okay. And I folk. think I just saw Wama walking around me, in the background. Let me just uh, so they switch. Might, that, something might happen soon. Let me switch this. We're really not paying too much attention to it with all these stories. And I, I don't uh, apologize for these stories. I do. If you, someone doesn't like them, all they can do is tell me to stop. Yeah, we can be quiet. I, I, I'll stop. I th this is the nine-foot table. And that's the one they're going to play on, I assume. Yeah, yes, the other one is. is the bar box that race to nine for 400. Yeah. But when points. they get going, when him and Atencio get going, it's a race to 10 for... For 25,000 points. Uh, yeah. Race to 21. For 25,000 points, 20, right? 20,000, I was wrong. 20,000 points. Yeah. points. Yes, points. Cool. Yeah, a lot of points there. A lot of points going around. Yeah. Boy, if this was anybody else's wedding, sweet tuna. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Godfather line? Oh, yeah, the sack of, sack yeah, yeah. of envelopes. 20, 30 grand in small bills. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a couple of uh, stories. On yeah. The, I, I do commentary for the Shark Stream in Connecticut. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh, I, I'll uh, pay more attention to that. I, st I only do the, the best matches. I'll I, tell Bobby to contact me next with time. The, yeah, with he, the kick and chicken. Yeah, with oh, the kick and well. chicken. We, we're, we, we're, we do them as a team. He and I had a blast well, in our game. We, we had well, ch um, I talked to Pat Fleming yesterday, and I was telling him when I started doing it, and I they, they explained to me, Bobby Hilton told me I can't call the points titties anymore. <laughs> I got to call them points. So he says, Pat says, I got a great story about that. He had Kim Davenport. He put Kim in the booth wherever they were. Maybe it was here. I don't know. He said he had Kim in, the, in his do commentary. And he explained to Kim before he started, Kim's a great pool player. It's probably at the international. It might be. Wherever yeah. it was, he said, I, so I explained to Kim things you can and can't say. One of them is pockets. 
you can't say titties. You got to call them points or pocket points. Yeah. Okay. So he said, he, he puts him in the booth. The ball hits the point, the side point, yeah. and Kim starts talking. He goes to hit that, and he stopped. He was going to say titty. Yeah. He goes to hit that, nipple. He couldn't remember the word. <laughs> and I thought that was worse than the titty. And I thought that was a, he said that was a great line. Well, uh, you know, that's, that's the stone now, too. Yeah, I thought, that, I thought that was great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But I, I started doing matches with chicken, uh -huh. and I, I made comments. What a likable guy he is. I, I have, I have, yeah, I have, he's I, another one that should be here too. Yeah, oh boy. In fact, we, we talked to him today, yep. and he said he's coming next year. But last year he said he was coming this year. Um, I talk to him every day on the phone, all, ninety percent of the day. We, you know, we we talk all the time. Yeah. I, uh, he and I used to play bank pool. Well, that's how we got to be friendly. <coughs> Excuse me, before the quarantine. So I was spotting him seven to four at bank pool, and I edged him out. It was a big edge. And uh, then the quarantine came. Yeah. And during the quarantine, and I was ahead quite a bit. During the quarantine, we started talking on the phone every day because we couldn't do anything else. You couldn't go anywhere. Else. And so when the quarantine was finally over, I said, I can't play you anymore. I mean, we become friends. I said, if you want to be my friend, I can't gamble. If we're going to gamble, I got to try to bust you. So we never played again. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, but I, I think the world of chicken. No, oh, I played him at the expo this last year, whatever. And uh, he plays better. Than and he expected. found me. I wasn't at the right table, but I always wear this hat. So he looked in the arena for anybody wearing my hat, <laughs> and he didn't say he found me. So, but I had head for headphones on, and I had my back turned. I'm not paying attention. I'm having, we're having a blast, and I'm 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 drinking wine. I'm having fun. So I had ball in hand. I didn't know, and I shot from there. He says, "You had ball in hand." I said, oh, he says, I told you. I said, well, it's my fault because I got the headphones on, so no, don't sweat it. And then he's shooting the wrong ball on another shot, and I told him about it. But we had a good time. He's, yeah. We were laughing a lot, you know. He, he um, I'll tell you one Good thing. player, boy. Well, he, he played pretty you good. You know, his best game is bank pool. They, oh, that, really? Because when he and I started gambling, we weren't friends yet. Yeah. And we couldn't make a nine ball game. And it, I, I would play him. He only has to drive a ball to the rail, you know, because. Yeah. But his bank pool was good enough. Where at seven to four, I could win, but I could lose too, you know, because he, he could bank. And, uh, he, and I imagine he was one of the best kickers around when getting that kick nickname. Chicken. Kick I guess chicken. I, I, he already had that nickname before I knew him. Is but there a story on that? Because I don't, I don't know. He you don't just pick up a line like that I, out of the wood, you know. Uh, they say, but by the time I knew him, that was his nickname. Yeah. We call him Chicken. Yeah. Um, that man will will sell a cue or play a match, and he'll work as hard for ten dollars as you. As he'll work for ten thousand. Every shot's important, that, right? Whatever he does, buying, yeah. selling, cues. Oh yeah. He is the where money is concerned. I've never seen. He's like a pit bull. He gets. If you want to sell something, give it to chicken. He gets every. Just recently, I was buying a Porsche. I'll keep that in mind. I, I was going to buy a Porsche, I, and I'm telling Brian about it. Yeah. And I, I, I was cheap. It was, uh, this is Brian Carroll, I think, right? Ca Brian Carroll. Yeah. Okay. Chicken, chicken. His last name, so, I got it right. So I'm going. I'm looking to buy this Porsche, and it's it's a 2005. Said no warranty. I said, listen, I hate to spend twenty five thousand and have no protection. Yeah. So Brian says, Bob, let me handle this. I don't know how to negotiate. Uh, right, right. I don't want to. Yeah. I, just, I, I was in the I car usually, business. I, I just sell. Like Shoot. I'm buying a, a car when I get home. I don't even want to negotiate. Just let's buy sure. it. Sure. So, What's the number? So yeah. I let Brian call the, the dealer. Now, best I could get out of the guy was, I think it was 25000 and no warranty. Chicken calls me back an hour later. <laughs> I got an, a one-year They told me you can't give a warranty on a used car. Yeah. I got a one-year warranty. He got 700 off the car, and they, they passed on the... Uh, Conveyance fee, which is about seven hundred yeah, more. Dealer preference, sure. Yeah, and yeah. they don't have to. Oh yeah, that's a gimmick. Yeah. But they're washing it. The, fa <laughs> yeah. but the, the fact is, he talked them into giving me all this. I've never, I couldn't believe it because I couldn't even get the guy to barely answer the well, phone. Well, yeah, he worked so them over good. Anything with a pool cue, he's gonna get. Have they started? Or that's the other still playing. No, this is this is our no. table. But I don't. Are they still more okay. people are showing up. Okay. Corey Duels over there now. So oh, Corey's in the room. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so, I see so, Corey. All right, so the players are starting to come. Yeah, some a couple but, more of the backers showed up. So if you want to sell something, Eddie, get a hold of Chicken. Chicken, okay. He, he is relentless. Yeah, I was talking to him on AZ Billiards uh, uh, a few months back, actually, and uh, yeah, it was it was kind of good. Those videos that we did, he was the interviewer for me. 
and he would ask me all the questions. The so he, he was in the booth with you with Bobby? He up does, at Bobby's? 90, 90% of the time I'm in the booth, chicken's with me. In motorcycle season, I'm going to shoot up there a lot, you know? But, and he, he won't go in the booth without me. Cool. He, oh. he says everyone else makes him look bad. I don't care if we look bad, yeah. but he does. Yeah. But uh, he's a great guy. He's got every ailment in the world. Oh no! Well, he's had he had. A, well, we were old too, you know. Yeah. Well, also he had uh, misdiagnosed Lyme disease for a long time. I think he was on an incubator for a bit, or not incubator. Uh, one, yeah. A lung machine. Iron lung. It, uh, didn't that didn't that originate up there, Lyme, it, yeah, Connecticut? Yeah. yeah. Like tw uh, between my house sure. and Steve's. But he had a, but they misdiagnosed lung. He has lung damage, eye damage. He has so much damage. He catches every virus or cold that comes along. Oh, boy. He has no immune system. Oh, I didn't never you know, knew that. Oh, well, no, he's a uh, oh, very... So that... He's in so, emergency room all So the time. since it got that name Lyme disease from Lyme, Connecticut, yeah. was there a massive breakout there? When it, That's where it started. Yeah, I know, but and was it like... A lot of people died. Oh, when it no started. kidding. Before they... In that area. In that, it took oh, okay. a long time before they diagnosed it. Oh, wow. And I guess you don't die anymore, but they can't beat it. Yeah, they can, they can hold it back. I know one guy that had it. My yeah. my wife had it. But when it when it when it first hit, no, th there was, was a lot of people a in lot Lyme of, itself. Lyme that got itself in the whole state. The yeah. whole state. No one knew what it was. Yeah, right. It took a while. Something new, like that a Legionnaires people, crap that uh, went around. Yeah, you know? Oh, uh, early. Was, you know what? A lot of people believe in conspiracy theories. There's Plum Island, an island out there. Yes, it's where they test things. They test things. And yeah. No one knows what they're Hannibal testing. Hannibal Lecter spent he, the, the beach there. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had a room with a view. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a lot of people feel it, something escaped from there because it's right there. It's a few right. miles from there to Lyme, Connecticut, across the water, and they feel something had escaped from there well, and came into the maybe birds brought it over, and that's how people in Connecticut. You know, you know, you want to talk to about that. Brandon Chef knows everything about everything about stuff like that. What's those chickens? Aliens, and I'm like, I hang out with Chef a lot. And, uh, and, and well, so they, Plum Island, huh? The uh, chicken researches everything. The, the guy, he's brilliant. He's really a, a smart man. Oh, yeah. Um, no, he's a likable guy. He, oh, he's very yeah. likable. Uh, I, 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 we were hitting it off right away. I was having fun with I, him. Yeah, I have fun with chicken. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we talk every day right. almost, and uh, he's hilarious. So funny. Yeah, I'll um, talk to him again. Oh, so the ailments, though, no, no immune system, but hardly, no, he, he's having a hard he time. He catches yeah. everything that comes along. He gets it worse than us. Wow. Uh, he just, he's, and he's probably about my age. I'm 71. Uh, no, he's younger. Uh, 60. Oh, today. Was today Sunday? Yeah. 67 today. Oh, okay. Happy birthday, Brian. Way to go, chicken. If you're out there. Chicken licking, uh, kicking uh, chicken. So, <laughs> he, but he, he's a funny guy to hang around with. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's hilarious. Uh, well, I was tell we were, I tell... I have a good time at the table. I tell jokes. I mess around, and I don't play. But you try to play solid and solid. But I'm in, I'm lucky. I'm here. You know. When I play, I have fun because I, yeah. I don't really play for money much. I'm not very often. Right. So I play. It's fun. Chicken. I know I'm a good friend. If I play him for ten dollars, he treats you He's like he oh hates boy. He, there's no joke in it. No Where way. money's concerned, Brian. Is Brooke. You know, it's funny. But he didn't play like that in the tournament. We had... But yeah, you had a good time. Before. Okay. He's yeah. a great guy. Yeah, But yeah. you know, it's funny. Uh, Brian's Jewish, and he has a Star of David. Yeah. So when he starts negotiating, he pulls his neck, <laughs> his Star of David out. He said, so they know what they're dealing with. The man is brutal. <laughs> you got to have the move. You got to have the moves. Who's here? I can't see. I can't twist oh. my neck anymore. Jesus Atencio is here. Hey, Jesus. How are you, sir? Are you playing soon? After this match now? Both players are here now? Okay, cool. I want to let the people know. Thank you. Good luck to you. Good luck. Okay, they're waiting for something to finish over here on this table right here you're watching on the nine-footer where that two's going in the side. And uh, Jesus is playing for race to 15, I believe it is, for 25,000 20, points. 20,000 points. So I've told more stories today than I've now told in years. And it's all on tape. So now I was just telling, uh, just tell him that uh, um, Steve, Steve, uh, your your partner Steve here that uh, he, he doesn't want you don't want to write a book, but I don't all you have to do is type in what was said here, and there's your book. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, no, no, you, somebody uh, might I'm, pick I'm, this up, you know. I don't plan on doing it. But, were already but somebody to buy might pick book. it. Oh, you know, sure. when we did the yeah, thing. see, there's a lot of yeah. interest, you know. Mom is right over there. 
He's okay, here. So we're getting close. Yeah, after they finish this, they're game waiting here. for this game okay. right Jesus here. Jesus said they're going to start. It's a race to 15. And then we're going to concentrate on that and end the stories, folks. Race to 15, 20 in the middle. And I appreciate you listening without any hard, giving us a hard time here because I, I love this stuff. Uh -oh. And everybody likes Earl <laughs> stories. Well, and if you, didn't, if you uh, didn't love this stuff, you shouldn't oh, be here. Right. Apparently, right. Marty doesn't like my stories. Well, Marty Ma Herman? Marty who? Ma yeah. <laughs> I've known him for 40, 50 years. He owes you money? No, that was the one that oh, okay. he promised to buy the Q after. And then he won, oh, he won oh, the tournament oh, and right. gave me back the stick. <laughs> <laughs> he was beautiful. But we, I, I, mean, I, 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 as far as pool, I consider him a friend in the pool world. Sure. You know. He's been He's played everybody, too. Like I, I mean, I played Miserac and Allen, Ray Martin. And, uh, I, I, I didn't I beat a, him, I but a, I had a lot of fun. Oh, I got a story. Is Ray still alive? Ray yeah, he's about 90 years old, and he's still and he's on tour in Virginia. I think this week, okay. maybe or next week. Because I have some good ones, but yeah, he's going to do an would, exhibition. Maybe he'll make it to 99. No, maybe I would tell you after we're off the air about oh, oh, about Ray. Okay. And uh, uh, anyhow, I, I think I, I know where you're going. You, with I would tell you after. He, I played him in, in the Worlds when he was inducted <coughs> into the Hall of Fame. He was in my bracket, and his daughter has it on tape, and I'd like to get a copy of that. You know. Uh, he was quite a straight pool. Player. Oh boy, was he, he ever! Really, he really cool cat, he, Martin. Right? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you make it to his room in Clifton, New Jersey, upstairs? No, I never went. I went to his one when he was in Newburgh. Uh, he had a room in Newburgh for a while. That's uh, that room is still there. I think. Um, 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 what's the name of it? Oh God, Dave Pinkston owns it's it. It's a different room. Oh, okay. Because I've been to Dave's, and the one I went to Ray's was different, unless Ray had two of them. Oh, uh, right. You know, uh, uh, Earl Herring plays out of Earl's Dave. Dave Pinkston plays. He's 80 plays. years old. And, and he and shows still, up at, and he's a monster. And he's still, he was just at Turning Stone recently. Yes, he? he was. But yeah. he still looks like he did when I met him 40 he, he years looks, ago. He looks great. And I say hello to him all the you time. You know what's funny? I hadn't seen him in maybe 20 years. And then about 15 years ago, I heard about this little room in Newburgh gambling. and I snuck, Gallery billiards, yeah, I gallery. think. Yeah. So I snuck in there yeah. and uh, I beat a uh, few people. Uh -huh. Earl came in one day and we, we were... We're not friends. We were always friendly. So we started talking about the old times. I said, you know, Earl, we played one time in a tournament, and it was Hill Hill. He made the greatest shot on me. To this day, I, it was the best shot I've ever seen, uh, and especially at Hill Hill. I mean, yeah, yeah. it was cue ball. The best shot you ever seen. Best Hill shot, Hill. Good for, well, uh, let's hear yeah. this one. Well, if you. It's hard to explain to people on hard, TV but here. I, I'll try to explain to you. If you take the pool table, like this, cue ball was frozen. On the long rail, about one diamond up from the corner pocket. Okay, first diamond. And the nine ball was frozen to the rail right near it on the short rail. Okay. The eight ball was frozen to the rail past the side. So you got on the, oh, long, on the long rail, you got the cue ball frozen, and then you've got the eight. Yeah. But the nine ball is all the way back by this. He shot that past the side. He shot the cue, the eight ball in the pocket and drew it all the way back to get on the nine. Your stroke ha has to be perfect. Because if it moves at all, it doesn't go. So I'm telling him that. He says, you know, he set it up and did it again 30 years later. I said, Are you it was the, it's the best shot I've Both? ever had played wow. against me in my Just whole life. Just the fact life. that it's frozen in the whole Both long frozen. rail. But, I, the, but the long rail frozen both well, balls is pass, like. Would pass the side pocket you know, too. Yeah. Now, I can make two balls frozen. Mm -hmm. I can't do it with draw. Right. I can do it with inside, you know, you spin yeah, yeah. it and it hugs the rail. That is a hell of a shot right there. Yeah, but. And he did it again. He did it again 20 years later. Whoa. And he was, well, it had to be 10, probably 7, yeah. 68, 70. He was up in turning. He was holding his own at turning no, stone. He, oh, yeah. He's but always he, in it. He just turned 80. Yeah. And I said to the guy, I said, I would have come. Yeah. I think the world of him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's there every year. Who's here? I don't know. Oh. And for those who didn't hear, Atencio will be playing Guam oh. soon. Hey. Race to 15. 20K in the middle. 20,000 20, points. Atencio was given the eight out. Is, is this after this round? Oh, that's yeah. right. The eight out. That's eight right. Out. Oh, that's right. Eight yeah, when, the eight Whenever now. they're done here. We're waiting on this start. right here, so be patient, folks. Because everybody's here that needs to be here. Because this is going to go till 6 a.m. And, yeah. and, this, and This may. And no, 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 no. And you're here. We're not. He's not leaving. We're not <laughs> staying till 6. <laughs> He's, I, I, I have no business. I've already been here four hours longer than I expected. How long have we been here? I don't know. We came to say hi. Forget about the book you need to write. We got an encyclopedia <laughs> on here. I'll you know? put us to work. We came yeah. here to say hi to you, you guys. You did great. I just wanted right? a picture. Well, this wasn't the plan. People got an education here. Uh-oh, watch that. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, yeah, this oh, Earl Herring. And I, when he, they told they wouldn't let him play in that room. Yes, yeah, down south. Right, right. 
I felt terrible for Earl. Earl got robbed by a guy named uh, Roanoke Red. He was out of Roanoke, Virginia. Yeah. We're down in North Carolina. Um, I had gone down there a little while after it. I won. My friend Eddie and I won uh, seventeen thousand uh, dollars. I came home, sold my condo, and we moved down there. We we're going to open a pool room. Jersey, uh, yeah, Roanoke Red got a hold of Earl. I don't know how they got together and. He took them all around down there, and Earl beat everyone he played and won a bunch of money. The last morning... That was his neighborhood. He grew up in that area, that well, part of the country. You know. After they were done, they, they're sleeping near the airport because he's going home. He wakes up to a gun in his face. Mm. Roanoke Red robbed him from all his money, and that was it. So Oof. he left, took, left him broke. He didn't take his cue, at least. So now it's a year later. I'm down there. Red wants to take me a few spots, and he's... I said, I got to ask you about this. Yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> we need to clear and something he, up first. He says, you don't Let have me to, call Earl. <laughs> he said to me, you don't have to worry, Bob, you're white. He robbed wow. Earl because he was black. But he took everything Earl had. And Earl's one of the nicest oh, guys in what the whole I, world. Oh, yeah. He's a sweetheart. Oh, yeah. And I felt bad. And I, I still went with Red. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he, he knew all the Earl spots. carries himself. I he, mean, really. Classy, oh, yeah. He's a classy guy. And, and you know, and, and you, you could tell, and, and he, you could tell he's a straight pool guy. Oh, you yeah. You know, just carries himself like a straight, like. Uh, he's, he, a, he's a great, yes, he's a. He's, he's he stands a, up a little straighter than. He's uh, a blackjack Calavita. How's that? <laughs> Pretty, you know, that same move I, and that same. I love, just, yeah, I love just, Jack. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Jack. I love the way he played. He was he was classy. But, you know, I heard something once. He, he played a lot of tournaments in Connecticut. He never won a big tournament. And I heard Alan Hopkins say to somebody, he thought the reason Jack didn't, he was good enough. He said because Jack was a working man. Yeah, machinist. And if, machinist. He was, yeah, if he was going to take, say, four days off to work, to play a tournament, once he got to the point in the tournament where he won enough money to cover what he missed by working, Alan said, then it's like he lost his desire to win. He just oh, wanted. Wow. So, he, and I thought that was interesting. And I can, and it I, is. I can understand it too. Now, I, I don't know if he's right, but this guy was great. And he kept coming in second, third, fourth when I saw him. I saw him all the time in Jersey. Same pool room in oh, Wayne, New Jersey. Player. Yeah, yeah. Great player. And, and I played him once in Connecticut Nine Ball, and he broke like a girl. So, yeah, oh, yeah. So he didn't have to beat me at nine ball. But, he never missed. But the way he racked in nine ball was classic because he would rack the balls and he would look away and then he would lift up the rack. He didn't care if they were frozen. Oh, well, we, nobody cared oh, back then. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, we, we used to rack. I looked at the f top three. Here's something yeah. interesting that I, I did. When they came out, this is Steve, Steve is actually part of the story. About 15 years ago, they came out with the magic rack. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, in our pool room, Joe, this is our friend Joe. How uh, are you, sir? Joe Eddie Liberti Clark. is in the house. Joe? Joe Liberti. Liberti, how are you, sir? This is what's happening I, I, I Nice to meet you. In fact, he was in on some of those early stories. Right, okay. Um, so Steve and I are playing. Now, we have the Magic Rack has just come out. Yeah. And we had brand new felt on the table. Brand new Simona. Simona said. Tournament Blue. So, and and the, the, can you get him that? Tournament can Blue back then? First, no, yeah. No, no. Yeah. It, it, it was, was a Tournament Blue, wasn't it? I don't remember I that. I don't think it came out, but that's okay. Added. No big deal. So anyhow. Oh, nobody cares. So Steve and I are playing. Well, they had just also come out with the app where you could check your brake yeah, speed. The brake speed app. So Steve. Oh, right. Yeah. I remember that. All right. Yep. So Steve had the apps. We played on brand new Simonis. Yeah. I don't think it was great. I don't think it was blue, but it was brand new Simonis. With soft pockets and a magic rack, he broke thirty-five times. He made the corner ball thirty-three times. The wing ball, yeah. The wing yeah. ball. Oh, with the magic rack. Yeah, with yeah. the magic rack and Plus new balls. Ball. And he was Every breaking time. an average of twelve miles an hour. I was bad racking him. I was. Wow. Put, I was stringing you racks together. Like you, you couldn't. Believe. Twelve miles an hour. You're looking for thirty. You're trying to. Do yeah. I, I Twenty. Yeah. So he did like say thirty-three or thirty-five times. I bad racked him, crooked racked him, upside down. I couldn't stop the break. I, I'm the first person I know who's figured out how to stop the he magic He finally rack. got it to stop. I got it to stop. It's, really? It yeah. might be considered unethical. It may be. In uh, some circles. I, I, can, I can show you a little bit with my hand. Yeah, it's okay. That's as, I go to, as I go, as you get a picture. Remember, <laughs> the corner ball is dead every, yeah. every time with a magic rack right. on New Simonis. Mm -hmm. 
I lick my hand. Uh, look what he's doing. I, I go to ra- I go. <laughs> I know to, somebody that pulled that move. <laughs> I go to rack the balls. I, I rub my thumb across yes. the wet spot. I touch where the balls are dead. Yeah. He couldn't get within three oh inches of, of the pocket. Yeah. It's, I'm the only person. And I, I didn't know in. what he had done until I put, until he put a little too much spit on the spit ball and it, flew and up it left in the, the rooster tail it flew up going in into the pocket. You know, Bob Bob Jewett. I remember him. Bob Jewett like does that. Ball. Bob Jewett does a shot. It's not, it's not, it doesn't wet the ball, but he does put a chalk mark on it and a chalk mark on the object ball. It'll do the same and, thing. It, same It'll thing. grab and twist. Right, yeah. Well, and, and that's how he cut it. Into, I'm like, wow, what a shot he did, too. But he told me how he did it, and uh, well, and I'm not going to say what shot. Well, but, Steve and I figured that out that day. Yeah. But I, 12 miles an hour, and the balls are fighting to get in the corner, so I try it. I can't break 12. It's like pushing out. Yeah. I can't hit it that easy. Right. You know, but it, it was a... I, if I was still going to play for money, uh, unless I was stealing, I wouldn't use the magic rack. It's too easy to I make hate the ball. It. I, yeah, I wouldn't I, use I it. I played a guy in Virginia, and it was fouling all balls, 10 ball. So he breaks it, doesn't make anything. So because it's fouling all balls, I get up, I pick up the magic rack. It brushes the 10, and the nit calls foul. I go, what are you, sick? He's a nit. <laughs> and they call, and the, <laughs> yeah, call the director. Yeah. Going, oh, yeah, you fouled. Uh, I'm like, where am I? You know? And it got in my head bad, you know. He's a there's nit. A, there's a couple guys here who are wearing T-shirts. No nits no allowed. No nits, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you see it all out oh, here. Oh, I love that stuff. In fact, if I could buy one, I probably would. Any shirt, uh, you go up the hall, you'll see I everything. I was looking, but I never saw him oh, okay. the knit shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reyes Gomez is back, too. Okay. So uh, they're, they're getting warmed up. You can tell, trying to find uh, the money. So they finished, okay, they finished the game, or they're still at there? Um, I think they're trying to rush him along, actually. At some point, we have to get Al back to work. Yeah. So well, they they must be so we don't they must be to. playing for some points too, or it'd be they were. Already. It was, last I heard, it was four hundred points. Maybe this, that was this table. No, this table. Oh, it was okay. Yeah. That was the bar box for four hundred points, race to nine. These guys are maybe they look like they're settling up here. Well, yeah, money's being exchanged. Okay, right, good. okay, good. So that's over. So now you got twenty thousand points here. Race to race to fifteen. The ten show is giving and, the eight and out, it, and it's the eight out eight, in Temple. Yeah, Temple. Eight nine ten. Yeah, eight, nine, ten. This might be quick. This might be quick. It could be. Yeah. Because so, they, they both have really good breaks. And then maybe there'll be a, another one by then. You know, double. You want to go double another? You know. Yeah. But she's all excited. They were playing for twenty-five thousand points last night. They played a couple of them. Did they? Uh, Wama and God bless America. And, uh, Reyes Gomez. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. It's a little more than she can afford. Uh, but uh, so he might want a piece of it. That's why he's here. It seems uh, back with backers, I think. Yeah. Back, oh, yeah. Of oh, course, yeah. Multiple. She just yeah, sure. She's all excited. Oh, oops, sorry. I would have turned it off for you. Sorry. All right, we're getting settled in here, folks. We'll let you know if anything starts. And Al, if you're out there, come take your job over. There's a lot of yelling and screaming going on. I like to watch the beginning of it, but it's already 12. Yeah, you got you only you only got four more hours here. Don't don't worry, you're good. We're good. <laughs> if I wanted a job, I'd go to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's on a slight delay compared to that one. It is a couple you know, seconds. I mm-hmm. I got That's a, what you're seeing on Facebook. I got there. a P.D. Margo story that I told out in the hall before. When he was in the hospital, did I say this before? You were talking about when he was in the hospital. And I went to see him? Yes. And I couldn't find him? His, uh-huh. Right. His name was Margaret. Because you told different I'm name. I'm sorry. Well, we, I, we, oh, had, we got so many stories, I forget yeah, where he yeah, left okay. off. I have a P.D. Margo story. Yeah, then. let's go. All right, this is, a, um, well, I don't know what year it was. Pete was in Connecticut doing exhibitions. Now, I was a pretty good player, but I've never fooled with tournaments, so people didn't know I was good. Remember Howie Pearl? He used to follow name, him. Yeah. He used to follow uh, PD around like a, like he was carrying his golf clubs. Well, he was a lawyer too. I remember, and he had a wife that was hard to look at, and she <laughs> liked pool players. Anyhow, <laughs> so Margo's doing an exhibition in Waterbury, so I go over there because that attracts people. Yeah, yeah. Well, he comes in with Howie, Howie Pearls with him, you know, carrying his cues and stuff. Now PD knows me, and he nods, and we're not friends, but well, he knows I can play a little bit. So um, after Pete finishes his exhibition, the other guy, uh, Howie Pearl, jumps up, and he's hitting balls, you know, like he's part of the exhibition. So I said, excuse me, sir, would you like to play some straight pool for money? He goes, you want to play me? (laughs) I I said, well, I just got my income tax. I haven't filed yet, and I'm 73. He says, well, I I just got my income tax, and I wanted to see what I play $50 straight pool. 
well, all right, I'll play you some. Like he's like he's yeah, tough. Sure, like uh, so we start playing. Now I have an old Balabushka at the time. I'm, I still have it, but so I start playing him, and he had a nice looking Zamboni. So when I play people, I'm very friendly. I said, "Boy, that's a beautiful cue. What is it? I already know what it is." He says. Oh, you wouldn't know what it is. <laughs> and I'm thinking, he says, and then he says, it's a Zamboni. Yeah. I'm thinking, you stupid ass. I got a Balabushka here. And normally I try to beat people like 100 to 70. I just wanted to crush him. So I beat him two quick games. I won $100. And he was livid. Well, tomorrow we're going to be in New London. I want to play you again. I said, well, I'll be there. Well, the next day I go there and Peter told him who I was. But Pete let me beat him the first time. Oh, okay. So before he knocked it. But... I never cared for him, and anytime people talk down to you, which has happened to me all my life, you, then you just want to crush him. Well, and he was a lawyer too. Wow, yeah, that's all. But it, when his when he was playing, his wife had a lot of attention to pool players. You know. Oh really? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> are they ready yet? I, no, they're still messing around over here. Whatever they're. Okay. They're, there's you a ever lot heard of, of something called the Liberty see. Tap oh. Rag Shootout in Clinton? No. Uh, oh, Clinton, Iowa. In the oh, Clinton, Clinton, Iowa. Iowa. Sorry, oh. the 80s. You didn't make it out to Iowa, Was Rookie? Right? No. No. Was the Rookie there? Uh, no, I, I never made that. I don't know, I, what I, he was, he was I don't know what's pain. going on over most here yet, the, folks. Most of the places I play were the whole East Coast. Uh, and I went out to California for a while. Went to Texas a few times. But I never went to really to the middle of the country. I went through uh, out to West Chicago once. And it was funny. When I first started going on the road in the 70s, uh, I was used to people like Hopkins playing him or Miserac. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So you when didn't I have to, you didn't have to leave the Jersey area to find a straight ball. It was. It was. This no, was I it. Ju I jumped right over right, it. Yeah, what are you gonna? Sure. The guy's gonna run seven hundred and he wants to play you twenty a game, right. ex <laughs> except for Hopkins. Uh -huh. Hopkins had more gamble, I thought, than oh Mike Sika too, but he wasn't that good a player. But. Um, <coughs> When I started going on the road, I thought everybody played like the Miserac and Hopkins. And I get down to the Carolinas, I'm saying, my God, it can't be this easy because I'm used to seeing Miserac, Hopkins, yeah, Siegel, sure. yeah. uh, those guys. Yeah. And now I get down there, and the top player would be a, a decent player. Right. But And then the push-out days, they had, oh, no, they the had no idea what they were doing. The push -out, they were yeah. still playing. We played 50, 100 a game, honest effort. And if you play a safe, effort, if right. you play a safe, they might whack you with the kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you couldn't play a two-way shot, but you know, because you had to go in on everything. But yeah. you were stealing, so you allowed it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you catch a beating. Oh yeah. You, oh, you, so you, so now mention Lodi one more time, Lodi Billiards with the mob guys, right? Uh, Tony Spinelli was the guy that hung out with Miz all the time. I remember the name. Uh, yeah. And Tony was a friend of mine, and he was into them for seventy thousand. For those guys? And he, yeah. And he said, "I ain't paying it." And it's Tony, good move. yeah, Tony died kind of young. And, but this guy wow. was crazy as hell. He was his he, his truck got repossessed. He was a construction guy, aluminum siding stuff. He got towed by the tow truck, and the tow truck driver went to the diner. So Tony went and stole the tow truck and his truck, <laughs> and he drove away. And they caught him. <laughs> but he wasn't paying Pippi Zabato. Uh, now I should no, it wasn't Pippi's. Uh, uh, I better shut up here. Okay, uh, I got a, a story. Give it away too much. Yeah, no, I don't need a beating either. Never mind. I'm sorry. I have a story about uh, um, Jimmy Fusco. Yeah, a great, great pool yeah. player. Now the guy, the bookie we had in Connecticut, I told you was yeah, Jim, yeah. Jimmy Shershaw. Right, right. So Jimmy Shershaw played one pocket. I mean, I was giving him at eleven eight. I beat him for uh, quite a bit of money. Uh -huh. I went to twelve eight. And I, I was a dog. He beat me. So I'm about the 11, 8, three balls better than him. So he told me he'll play anybody. I sneak Jimmy Fusco in. Jimmy's a world champion. Yeah, yeah. I can't not make money. They start talking. Next thing I know, Jimmy Fusco is betting sports, college baskets, with my, the bookie. They never hit a ball. <laughs> so, so they had this thing where Jimmy Fusco went back to Philly, and my friend Jimmy stayed up here. And every week... They'd meet somewhere on the Jersey Turnpike. That guy would go down and either pick up money or drop it off yeah, yeah. with Fusco. Now Fusco, this is what Jimmy tells me, I, and I had, now this, and then it was verified by my friend the bookie, Jimmy Fusco. I don't know how much he owed my friend or Jimmy Shershot. Yeah. He never told me, so he said, "Well, he's not going to pay it." He but, was on the hook then. Yeah, he was on the hook pretty yeah, good. Yeah. He said to me, he says, 
I'm not going to pay to go. What's he going to do? A, bo- <laughs> a, bo- a bookie in Connecticut. Oh, okay, boy. now he lives in Philadelphia. And at the time, that little Nicky Scarpo was the... Yeah. Okay, and his second guy down was pretty big, and I remember who it was now. Well, one Saturday morning, Jimmy Fusco wakes up to someone knocking on his door. It was the, f- the guy right under Scarpo. Normally, it would be... Yeah, of course. It like would be probably the, a cop. Yeah, yeah. it, it, normally, though, yeah. they would send, like, the guy in your neighborhood. Of course, yeah. So Fusco calls me. He says to me, you know how much juice your friends got? I have no mm-hmm. idea. He says, he sends so-and-so here. And all they said to me, what Jimmy Fusco says, they walk in and said, Jimmy, you have a problem with a friend of ours in Connecticut. You better take care of it. We don't want to have to go back. And that was the end of it. <laughs> yeah. but, and Fusco upset, called me, yeah. and he said... Do you know how much juice your friend had? Ooh, this, whoever he sent scared him to the point where Fusco had to make a payment every week for a year. Okay, the man. All right, a few minutes we're hearing now. A few minutes we're hearing. Upstate Al just gave us an update. He's back. My neck is killing me from sitting here this long. And, and, and shortly... So you can take my place because I haven't stopped talking in three hours. Yeah, we can't shut this guy up, Al. Hey, hey, can't. Jesus, we can't. Can hey, Al. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Seuss wanted to know if you had a iPhone charger. Al, do you know my friend, my friend Joe? Oh, yeah. This is Joe. I, you know, Joe, Joe, would you keep it down back here? I, this guy don't say nothing back here. You know, you know what's funny, Eddie? Huh. I bought my first two-piece house, a two-piece Palmer Q in 1971. A girl gave me a watch for my birthday. What am I going to do with that? I got the money back. I went to a guy selling Palmer. It was his father. In 19, he was one year old. I went to the house, and his mother always said she liked me because I had good manners and I was barefoot and I had long hair. And that's when I met him. He was one year old. I bought my first cue from his father. Damn hippies. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would. I have a Palmer. I paid $65 think- for it in about 70, 1975. Guy came into the hot sauce then. DeMar, De, Jim De Palma, and he played with the Miserat crowd at Plaza Billiards, and and uh, he wasn't a great player, but he played, you know, a player, and uh, it's still sitting, it's oh. it's still sitting in my living room right oh. there, you know. I have it was my a two piece had the red and black wrap, the, the brass joint. I had titleless points. Yeah, well, he, yes. Yes. Uh, and I didn't have titles because I, did. I, I didn't have any ear. And mine cost only $52. So his father sells me a lot of those screw-on tips and ferrules. Yeah, I have uh, one of them too. I'm wa- yeah. I'm wa- so I'm watching the older players. They're always sanding their shafts. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize years later that they couldn't play a lick. So I used to sand the shaft. Then when I had to change the tip, the, sh- the ferrule was a 14 and the shaft kind was of a, like a 9. <laughs> yeah. I, I was sanding the shaft on my Palmer, yeah. and it's kind of like... It, it bows because... You, yeah, exactly. And, but... I, you know, when you're young, you look up to the older guys. Yeah. Then you get good and you realize they can't play at all. Yeah. But th- his father I met when he was one year old. And I, you know, I've known him well, since he was born. Yeah. Yeah. But you? You want this? No, no. Uh, we Go ahead. Do what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. Is this part uh, of it? Oh, uh, you are, need the chair? Are they getting ready to Hold start on. now? Or is that the other one still finishing? Wait, wait. Yeah, well, we're. We've been here for like three hours. Three hours. We stopped over here for a picture and to say hello. Yeah. I never got my glass of water either. I'll get you water. Bear with us, please. We have to wait till they get. Oh, what, uh, uh, excuse me, Al. Tensio's getting ready to break. Are they starting? No, no. Or is he Stop just? No. They're still practicing. No, no, Guam is not here yet. Okay. Well, we're getting closer. They're hey, warming up now. Check one, two. Where's Where's Mike number one? S- Steve Happy. Steve. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it is a race to fifteen. Okay. Hey, Jesus was here for ten minutes ago and said race to fifteen. Hello. Para la 15 o la 21? 15. Está bien, 15, you're right. 
15 minutes? No, 15 race. Oh, race to 15. Race to 15. Well, <laughs> Thank you. you know something? Steve, right? Yes, sir. Steve. Thank you for that because Very I was welcome. just going to make a post and put it all out there. <laughs> I, put it, I put it in the chat. Okay, how many people are watching right now? I hope you guys are going to split. There's, there's uh, only a couple of hundred. Folks, the match is on. They Jesus Atenzio is given Guama 8-9. And, of course, the 10 ball when he gets it. Race to 15. Bobby Hunt's in the booth, and I hope he stays in with me. But uh, i got to promote it. And the way you guys can promote it is by just clicking that share arrow right above the, right below the narrative. I'll be back, folks. Give me a few minutes. Bob, you got it. I'm here with Steve Capitan. He's sitting here with us. Oh, I'm sorry, and, Steve. And we have Joe Liberti in the background. But we're just waiting for it to get started. Can, can, oh, we got the chat room back over oh, here? Oh, yeah, you put the chat back up. Good. Huh. Well, it's going to be I've been doing it off my phone. Going to be taken down just a no, minute. No, that's fine. Thank you can take it down. Thank you. Oh, yeah, here. This is, I'd like to see the comments. Well, i got to promote the Bobby. Just give me a few minutes. Okay. You know what? I'll do, I'll, you can read the comments. I'll just do it on the other computer. That's all. Yeah, he went to get them. Oh, good. Thank you. Do you want a beer or a drink or alcohol? No, or water's fine. Do you, want okay. you okay, you guys? Yeah, we are right now. All right. Do this you listen, folks. I don't know whether you know it. Bobby's telling stories for almost two and a half hours. <laughs> non-stop so don't bet him that he can't tell stories without telling the same one within two hours because you'd be a dead loser he got the nuts I got where are you going Steve you got your thank you well he's just working on his break can you want Al, I'm going to be joined here for a couple of minutes with uh, my friend Joe. Absolutely, Joe. Welcome aboard. It's Joe Liberti coming in. Lola, hey, I know that name. His father used to be a Q salesman. And I tell him his name and stories once in a while. Liberti, I know that name. Uh, yeah, so it should be a good match when they start. I don't quite know what that thing is on his head. Scott I think, Seminetti I think says best handle. stories. Way to go, Scott. Oh, Scott like the stories? Good. Yeah, of course. I like when pool players like my stories. Well, hello, uh, everyone else. Mike there. Dillon, you're welcome. Good guy. Only person who complained was Marty Herman, and I've known him for 45 years. Marty would complain if you hung yeah, him with a new rope. But I've been friendly with him for 45 years. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I got you two playing in the background for a few minutes. Nice, nicer than what we have it. Yeah. Um, I've known Joe here for 50 years. <laughs> My God, we're get, I'm getting old. Uh, it's funny I watch, I watch everyone grow up and now they're old. Well, he used to be my road partner for a while. We had a lot of fun. Till he uh, broke down and got married and that, that changed things a bit. Deserted me. So. I'm glad Scott. I like. I'm glad you like the stories, because I like. Uh, I like you what pool players think. I'm glad you like the stories. Mm. I'll, I'll mute that in a little while, Bobby. Okay. There you go. Oh, so I assume he's still warming up, right? I mean, uh, I don't see. Um, you see his bone in here, Guame? I haven't seen him come in yet. I don't know. Is that him with the green hat? I, I no. can't tell his face. You know, it could be. But we are getting closer, at least, because there's people sitting there watching. So. Anyhow. And what is he getting, Guama? Uh, eight, eight out. Eight out. And uh, yeah, put in ten ball. Yeah, I don't know if it's wild or cold, but no. said so he's getting the eight out in ten ball, and a race to fifteen. Yeah, for uh, 20. I'm not really sure if he's going to give him the 8-9 and a race to 15. Maybe they're going to go maybe just the 8 ball. Oh, I, I, I'm I not really sure. Okay. Well, we'll find out when they start shooting. Absolutely. You know? oh. I'll get you back to the comments just in a couple minutes. Sean, how are you? I thought I might see you down here. That's Sean is uh, the guy they call Pancake. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 
He's a my man. <laughs> I hope you like the story, Sean. I only met him a few times, but yeah, he seems like a really good guy. He sure is. Yeah, he seems like. Thank you, Michael Holder. I'm glad you liked it, Sean. I'll see you Tuesday night then, Sean. Yeah, like I said, I've only met him a couple of times, but I liked him instantly. I don't like calling him Pancake. That, I think that's. Oh, I, I don't like that. I'd rather call by his name. No, I don't want to pin post. What did I do? It's a do? pretty nice break. Oh, uh, I love the way these people yeah. break nowadays. You know, these. Oh. Um, what the hell am I doing? Oh, here comes my, here comes, uh, my water. Yes, please. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Thank you. It's getting exciting now that it's getting closer and closer. We've been waiting for hours. He was in one pocket uh, match upstairs. If I wasn't do doing this with you, I would have gone up and watched the one pocket. Well, that's why I announced it. Maybe <laughs> you wanted to. You know, I didn't want to keep you in the dark. That's all right. Did, did we really talk to Al for three hours? Um, I can tell you in two seconds. <laughs> uh, I'll look at my broadcaster. Okay. It's not important. I love it. You know, after you say 15,000 words, yeah, what happens? you're in the union, you get oh. 250 an hour. And I got, a, I got a bottle of water. Mike Siegel broke me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I imagine. I heard he was great. Pat Fleming said when he was in the booth well, by himself. By himself, By yes. himself, he yes. was great. Yes, yes. I got I, good emails about and, that one. And other people told me when he had someone with him, he wasn't quite so great. Hmm. Well, they stepped on each other. Yeah. You know? So. Anyhow, Joe, what do you think of this set? It's pretty neat, isn't it? It's a nice set up, it's yeah. a good way to watch the thing. Really good. At least we get seats in the front row. So. Yeah, I'll take that monitor and I'll twist it to the side a little bit. There's one of the backers, Albert. He's sitting uh, by himself there. So getting closer? Yeah, we'll be, on, we'll be rocking soon. Yep. Okay. I think I still got Okay, you want to know how long we were on? Just curious. Three hours and 19 minutes. So you came in about, yeah, 45 minutes into it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You did, you, did, you did a number, baby. My daughter told me when I started talking, I don't stop. That's all right. I love it. Are you kidding me? And I know a lot of people love it, believe me. Well, we had and now we have it, Bobby. We we got, I know you got it on your YouTube channel. And tell everybody your YouTube channel, too. If you go to YouTube and you put Bobby Hunt Storyteller, I tell a lot more stories. Folks, I put my earphones in at night and I listen to them. Every one of them. I think you had three or four out there, right? I have, I have three out three there. Three out there, right? Yeah. I watched every single one of them. And believe me when I tell you, you don't have to really relate, but if you can relate to the players. And if you know the players, it makes it all better. Oh, yeah. And but you don't have to know the players to really like the stories. It's done excellent. And you did that with uh, Kicking Chicken, didn't Kickin you? Kicking Chicken, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the, he's the interviewer. Good guy. He's done a couple other matches with other people. I mean, uh, interviews with a couple other people, too. Yes, I know. I know. I found a couple more. Yeah, Bobby Hilton uh, does a, I mean, Bobby Hilton, I'm sorry. Bobby's uh, another good guy. Yeah, well, Bobby does a great job out of Yale. Yeah. And this was done out of Southington with a, a, a man named Sal owns, the county owns the room. And he's the Sal one that, Conti. Sal Conti. And he's the, is that he, the one that owned Hippos at the time, upstate no, New York? No, no. He, that he, was Al Conti. He owns an, an APA league for a while, but he's been up there forever in Connecticut. Right, right. And, um, but That's up there by Jason Shaw, US uh, 1 billion. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a hat like 45 minutes away. Right. Yeah. Jason's down on the shore. I don't know. I, you know, yeah, I travel I just, to each state. Don't ask oh, me where I, I've I, been. I know it was on the Virginia Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get Red Bull to come on as a sponsor. 
they were doing a surfboard competition now, or surfing, whatever oh. you call it, man. It was people in the water at like 7 o'clock in the morning because you can park down on Virginia Beach right on, on, the, beach? Right on the strip uh-huh. without paying until 11 o'clock. So we got into town coming from Texas. Oh. We, I said, let's go to Virginia Beach. Maybe we can lay down and get some sun. We were just exhausted. And uh, here we walk on a surfing competition. I'm, I get on the phone and say, oh. and I'm talking to Red Bull right now. Maybe they'll jump on as a sponsor. We're going to handle all the averages of everybody surfing. <laughs> We were, we were tired, man. He has a, <laughs> Al hasn't been home in two and a half years. Three. <laughs> three years? Yes. Three years. So, this so, Derby makes three. He's, and he's got a wife. Does it still count as home then? No. <laughs> his, wife's, his wife's still home. <laughs> My son calls me and he says, hey, Merry Christmas, Pop. I say, hey, son. It was like something uh, like uh, once upon a time. With, I think, I don't know, with uh, Jimmy Stewart when you ring the bell and Angel. <laughs> he goes, happy. He says, Merry Christmas, Pop. I say, hey, Merry Christmas, son. <laughs> And my wife's in the background, tell him to get his tail home. <laughs> I said, tell your mother with that attitude I'm not coming home anytime soon. <laughs> three, three years. <laughs> um, what would Gene say? He would say, uh, good so job. Yeah. She wouldn't be talking to me anymore. <laughs> no, no, we're going to use you too, Eddie. I want everybody to get on in this one. No, 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 man, you can get in. You can have my heads it. Oh, right. we, mix like, we mix like sugar and tea, baby. When it comes to oil and vinegar, you know, that mixes too, but not too well. you got to stir it up a little bit. So that's when you get in. You're the colorful guy. That's Guava in the green shirt. Yes, that is him. They might be ready to start. They're getting closer. I would imagine he wanted to practice a little bit. Well, I know the, uh, Tenzio's still hitting balls, so. No, he, I think this, he. Is this the start? This is the start? I don't know. He. The other guy hasn't hit any balls yet. Yeah, the other guy hasn't hit any. That's why I thought he was going to practice. But maybe you don't want to hit after you just came off of uh, that one pocket match. It's not a race to 21 anymore, folks. The guys in the truck just messed up. Just give us a second. We'll fix it all. Yeah, he's still warming up. He's still warming up. Mm-hmm. The only, I don't know, did Bobby get his headset on? Um, it's a race to 15. Did they start or is he practicing? I, I, I think he's practicing because I saw The him only thing I, I really want to ask, uh, and I hope it's not too much from you guys, I really love the story, but I just asked for it little concentration. I think between the three of us, we can get a light bulb in the wall, right? Or well, I think lamp. when they start playing, it, the match is yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. yeah, this is beautiful. We've just been in a stall until it happens. Now, Bobby, do you want me to caddy corner that monitor in any way? No, I'm fine. No, yeah. This looks good. Just don't make the mistake, because that, that's a lag over there. Okay. Oh, I this see This is the saying. real deal right here. Okay. Or if you want, I can pause the video. Can, I'll pause the video. Let's make it easy. What here. does that mean? In other words, the one on your right, is just used for the comments. Okay, then I'm going to turn this a tiny bit. Crank it, yeah, turn it. There you go. Can you see that now? Uh, Opie, right? Oh, Opie? Yeah, yeah that, looks, that looks good. Opie? Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> I'm Joe. Joe? <laughs> this is Joe. Opie? I was just talking to Opie. <laughs> Oh, Opie just bought me a couple of adult beverages, folks. I'm oh, okay. sorry, Joe. It's okay. I apologize. Oh, is that Opie? No, that's Hillbilly, oh. Bryant. He shaved. Oh, my you God. Didn't, you didn't recognize him, right? Years. That's the Hillbilly right there, baby. Wow, it's been years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Folks, we do have Hillbilly Bryant right here, Charlie Bryant. And his new website is hillbillybilliards.com, and we're going to – Listen, I know us in the pool world, and I mean all of us. Three guys, one light bulb. The yeah, people thanks, watching. Thanks, Cliff. And the people who are sponsors. Go check out. Al, could you turn this monitor back on, too? I like to have them both. You, uh, I, I don't have them hooked up to do that right now. I would okay, love okay. to do it. No, then, but that's a good idea. No, that's fine. That's fine. I do have the equipment to do it, but it's in that cabinet no, right that, behind that, that's me. fine. I can keep looking at this um, one. Hillbillybillards.com. That's Charlie Bryan. So let's. Oh, so that's his booth. In let, let's get over and help Charlie Bryan out. Hey, he's here at the Derby City the Classic. Donald he's a great oh, friend. And Mikey is I a great friend. And I'm sure there's not going to be any qualms about it. Hillbillybillards.com. Just check him out. 
The guy's, Charlie's right here, and I'm going to, listen, I'm going to give him a microphone. I'll give him my microphone, honestly. And uh, Charlie, if he was willing to sit in, uh, Bobby, I don't know if you ever heard Charlie do commentary. No, I haven't. Ooh. He's giving everybody the breaks. Or, or you can give him this one if, I'll, if you want to stay on. You, you Just for a few minutes. He's no. not going to stay long because he has business to take care of. Charlie, come on in, Charlie. Actually, uh, Thank uh, you, Joe. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, go ahead. You're coming, Bob, you're coming back, right? You're coming back. Yeah, yeah okay. Check one. Charlie, which one are you? Skimmy uh, I hear you. All Do right. you hear me? I hear you perfectly. All man. right. He'll be in action. Well, put your seatbelts on because this is going to be 35,000 square, uh, 35,000 altitude. This match is going to be strong. Oh, for sure. You know? Well, I was just talking to Carlos uh, for a second, and I asked him what's going on, and he said uh, they're both from the same country. Okay. But they don't so like they're... each other. <laughs> now, Jesus, where is he from? Uh, Venezuela, sir. So they're both from Venezuela. All yes, right. sir. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Beautiful. At least that's what I was just told. So uh, I don't have to put up any flags. No. <laughs> All right. So I wonder how long it's going to be before we uh, hear it, uh, before we get to see the ball drop. I know you're from up there, and you've seen that ball drop yeah, up there uh, in New York a whole yeah, bunch well, for I'm, New Year's actually, Eve. I moved out. I was born and raised in Manhattan. Oh, yes, sir. And then I moved out and, uh, after 9-11. I worked 9-11. I moved upstate. I'm uh, between New York City and Canada. I'm right in yes, the middle. Sir. So anytime you're coming up from New York, if you know me, you give me a buzz. But I haven't been home in three years, so I might not well, be there. <laughs> uh, it, it's been a while for me that I've been out doing a whole lot because, I, you know, me and my wife own Brutal Game Gear. But uh, right. uh, a lot of people out in the pool world right now, and one of the reasons I'm up here is uh, me and Heather is actually going through a divorce, but we are helping each other. And, you know, we're still keeping the business relationship. But we're... Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, I got distracted. There That's for all right. A I'm second. sorry. You're going through a divorce. I uh, and uh, but no, no, no. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, you know we're going different ways. I buried my daddy last year, and I started rest asking myself what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I've always loved teaching pool. And, all right. and I've got a whole bunch of information I've been working on for about 25 years, which is about 2,000 pages. I know. I remember speaking to you about it. Yeah. Probably. In 2004, I brought out a 380-page manuscript. No, it was here. I, well, I knew about it then. Yeah, here. But I spoke to you here about it. Yeah, wasn't yes, that long ago? Oh, my God. Well, I finally feel that I've more completed everything, and I'm ready, really, to finish. Start to flourish. You want to flourish Absolutely. Right well, I just want to do something with all my knowledge there you go. and see if I can leave some kind of great impression behind. Well, you have already. Let's well, just put you, that sir. right out well, there. Well, thank you, sir. Um, so, well, I know there's one thing I've left behind, breaking the pool balls. Well, probably the hardest <laughs> breaker in the world, never mind the country. Everybody out there can step up. Charlie, uh, we well, clocked well, Charlie last year or the year before when he was playing that bank ring game there. We had radar well, on. No, that y'all had that break contest with that break demon. And you know what's crazy about me doing that little break con that thing over there? Oh, that's right. That's what the, uh, yeah, was yeah. it the demon was called? Yes, sir, break demon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I and, forget. And so uh, I go in there to practice a couple breaks, and a tip jumps off my break cue of the break cue I've been using for like five years. Yeah. Well, my break cue I break with, well, everybody says lighter is better. My break cue that I've been breaking with for 20 years weighs 23 ounces. Like ash, folks. Ash wood is like heavy, heavy, but I don't know what yours is made out Purple of. Purple heart. Purple heart. There you go. And I have but one being made for me personally uh, by Gary Langley, too, with purple heart in it. Uh, so that's a good cue. Well, I also, uh, I mean, I don't have none in stock right now, but I've had a uh, break cue that Josh has been making for me for about seven years called the Hillbilly Thunder. Watch Are they these, starting? What? No, I don't think so, but just let's listen into his break right here. That is probably about a 23 mile an hour break, 22. That's pretty high, folks. Believe me when I tell you. That's pretty high? Well, you know. Do she, you know what my number is? Yeah, I forget. We clocked you the last time. No, we that's there. last year. Do you know what my ultimate number is? What is it? The hardest break I've ever had recorded. What do you know? What do you think it is? More than Bustamante? 
the hardest break I've ever had recorded that the ball stayed on the table was 34.7 miles per hour, sir. Jesus Christmas, man. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. So X Breaker, when I was out playing on the Pro Tour, X Breaker. Yeah, yeah. The the I don't remember his name, but the name of my cue that he used to sponsor me right. with was called the 3-4.7 <laughs> because of my break was 34.7 wow. miles per hour. Listen, when that you, I kept the ball on the table. When Charlie breaks, everybody listens. All of a sudden, you turn around. It's sort of like a scene out of the color of money when uh, well, Tom Cruise was breaking the balls, and Paul Newman turned around. He said, did you hear that? Well, and she says, what, that break shot? He says, no, that's money. <laughs> <laughs> so did uh, – so there's a couple little things about – so the beer digest, uh, I don't know if you know this about me, Al. I don't know if you know my age. Okay. I didn't go pro to us 36 years old, sir. God bless. I'm glad you did. Within f three months, I win my first pro title. Within nine months, I was number four in the United States on the pro tour and held a top eight ranking for the five years I played on tour. Wow. So Beer Digest in 2005 did one article about me. And so they asked Jeremy what now he thought, thought your, about Hillbilly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Your new branding is what? Hillbilly Beards, or my new brand is HB. HB. But my website is hillbillybeers.com. There you go. So, so uh, somebody type that in the in the uh, comments there, so we can open up his website. Please, please. Hillbillybilliards.com. Just type it in the website and it'll in the chat in the comments and it'll open up, give us an idea. Uh, Charlie deserves uh, uh, our well, back right now. Well, thank you guys. Uh, anybody that knows me and knows about the game that. I'm not into what we're doing here right now. Right, I haven't right. been for about 18 years. I love to teach pool, and for me, I just love the game. Well, I got a – And I want to leave something behind. I got an email that says, Charlie, you might be the best commentator that you're ever going to have. Well, I don't know about all that, but we'll, well give it a I whirl. Know. And I, I, I love being in the booth, and what you're always going to get from me when I'm in here is real. We're honored to have uh, Mr. Hillbilly in the booth, guys. Well, thank you, Mr. Uh, Al. I appreciate yeah. all the kind words. Are they getting ready to get started yet, or are they going to keep practicing? I'm waiting. Oh, Bobby? Okay, got him. Charlie, I don't know if you know Bobby, huh? I know Bobby. I'll tell you a little bit about him. Just I? been a little while <laughs> since we chit-chatted, any. Over in the other place. <laughs> yes, when sir. It, when it was in Kentucky. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I quit in 2010. Uh, I couldn't take care of my wife and my kids properly, and and so I went to take care. Uh, I got my kids raised. One sent one into the Air Force. The other one's getting ready to graduate college this year, and... How old are you? I just turned 55, sir. Well, you kids started young. Are you, huh? you had kids young then. I no, uh, I, I got two stepkids. I actually oh. got no children, sir. Oh. Uh, but uh, I'm blessed. Uh, they, they, they're going on to do some great things. You know, when we were young pool players, I never wanted children. It, it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. But when we were young, all I wanted to do was be a pool bum. Yes, sir. But yes, sir. The best thing that so now I got five grandkids. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, awesome! Yeah, it is. Congratulations! Thank you. Hey, and uh, I'm Eddie Colleen. I'll just step out again. Three. How many? How many grandkids? Four. Five. I got three. You um. You're gonna have to lose this accent you got here, Charlie. There ain't no chance. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> there ain't no chance. Have you heard Brandon Schuff do his Brooklyn impersonation? Come on. Uh, you no, can, sir. You can match that. You say no. You gotta say coffee and cost and door. Coffee. Co yeah, you got it. See, it ain't that hard. <laughs> well, I, I had instruction. I heard it, you say it. It's simple. Right. <laughs> I got to go get me some coffee. <laughs> you got it. You're in, Charlie. We'll let you in Jersey now. A couple people saying hi to you. Uh, Brian Mr. Rums, White Jason Wolf, uh, just to let y'all know, I'm no longer with Brutal. Uh, I gave my wife my half of the company, and I started a new brand. It's called HB, which is, you, if you want to check out what I've got, uh, the different clothing and the things that I'm offering, it's under hillbillybeers.com. But uh, there's nothing, I mean, Miss Heather has done something great. Me and her built something great. And I want her to always prosper and do great things. Uh, she's one of the hardest working people I've ever been around in my life, and I, I wish her all the best. Hey, Jason, how are you? 
Hope John, everything's going good. You got here. You got here just what 15, 20 minutes ago, and yes, sir. You missed three hours of road stories. Three, uh, three solid well, hours. I walked over it's here for on, a second, and they was it's, telling me it's all on tape. <laughs> It's classic stuff. You know, Rose, you know, you got stories of your own. I know, sir. Uh, honestly, I've never been real big into the gambling side of things. We don't uh, want you in the booth if you can't come donate to the booth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, but I can donate in my knowledge and yeah, what glad. I give back to the game. And, you know, with my book material, I mean, I've got, you know, I've got a few Rose stories, but nothing like That's, the old classic Hustlers and we, the pros, I really don't. We were saying those days are gone, and they truly are. Oh, they are, are gone. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's Absolutely. What, we had no choice in my generation. Absolutely. If, you had to travel. Absolutely. Now it's all pulls changed. Right. Well, for, for the better, I think. Uh, um, absolutely, it, it appears it's changed to, for the better. It appears to be getting better, too. Yes, sir. I like what they're doing to tournaments, and, you know, the, uh, it, it seems uh, to be. <laughs> no, uh, no comment. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, That's okay. We're all here having fun. Well, the one thing, uh, there is one thing that I love. Well, there's a couple things. Right now, the last three or four years, we've got one of the greatest junior programs that we've had in the United States in the last 30 or 40 years. That's great, then, for the future. If, yeah. if, it should be the future. So, with Brutal Gang Gear, one of the things that me and Heather had is our logo. It's a... Uh, it's three circles almost, okay? And they overlap each other. And what our, what Brutal meant, the logo was, it represented men, women, and youth sports. And no sport can survive without the youth. That's why they're on top. Yeah, that's, that's no you, sport can survive no, without the youth. No, there's no future without the youth. And uh, one of the things I do when I do travel and I'm doing lessons, and over the last three or four months, I've been in different locations around the United States, and anytime I'm somewhere, as long as I can do enough lessons privately with adults, I will donate any time I have to the juniors. That's great. That's great. Uh, in Connecticut, we have one young kid playing. There's no pools dying up there. Uh, it, it, it's sad in the situations that I see of the older oh. pool rooms and – you know, the things that are legacies, it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, it really is to see some of the old stuff be gone. What's up, Charlie? Uh, how you doing, Dustin? Glad you're watching. Uh, hope you enjoy the show, and thank you for reaching out to the Healy Billy. And the race is going to be to 15. Is that what it is? That's what I was told, 15. Uh, we got somebody here on the sideline doing push-ups. Must have made some kind of bet. Oh, jeez. I haven't done that in 50 years. I don't know if they started yet. Uh, they may still be practicing. I don't know, sir. I don't, it, well, we'll find out. No, he took ball and hands. Oh, okay. uh, they still practicing. <clears throat> he just played a one pocket upstairs. We've been waiting for him to finish the one pocket to come down here and play Did, this. Oh, okay. That's why we're so far behind right now. Eh. Hey, anything that's worth having takes time. It's kind of <laughs> like fine wine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> good age whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want good peach moonshine, you got to let them peaches soak for a little while. <laughs> pretty sure I haven't met moonshine yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guarantee you, you've had a little moonshine in uh, your days. Really? Well, both my grandpas made moonshine. I'm a real hillbilly from the mountains of North Carolina. I don't think we have hillbillies in Connecticut. Well, if you if you got mountains and you got trees, we got hills. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's one of the great things about our beautiful country. You know, all the beautiful hills and stuff that oh. are out there. Uh, I don't know why anyone wants to go anywhere else. Yeah. We got we got everything here. Yeah, absolutely, there's, sir. There's no reason, in my opinion, no. to go I did go to Asia for a year in Vietnam. Did you? But that's, well, the, that's the only time I really ever went anywhere. Else. But the uh, United States has everything. Oh, like absolutely. Oceans and mountains does, and water. And, and it's be and, uh, it's the, beautiful. There's nothing like the eastern United States oh. at all. Uh, I mean, for me. But, you know, the people are nicer here than they are in the eastern. Eastern, like where we're in New England. Yes, sir. Like, just, yes, I was sir. saying that yesterday down around here. I mean, you, people talk to each other. Where we're from, people don't even look at each other. It, it's Who so, are you? I'm, from, I'm sorry? No. Yeah. But, but it's so, <laughs> we were I was talking about it earlier yeah, today. Uh, people are just nicer in the South than we are in the you East. Know, of all the places I've been, uh, because respect was something that I had to have. Because if I didn't have that respect for, I don't care if it was a dog, 
I don't care what it was, I had to show respect to anything. I give everything respect. Everything. And that was the number one rule in my house. I mean, from my mom and dad, it was yes, sir, no, sir, no, ma'am, no, sir, thank you, sir, thank you, ma'am. I still do that. And it, it's something with, like, I heard Heather broke a guy's arm. Yeah, it did happen one year. <laughs> I, well, I was arm wrestling uh, at the old Executive West, and I actually, I didn't break his arm. I jerked his elbow out of socket. <laughs> So I do have one story about Derby City. Uh, I was a little intoxicated, and the guy challenged me for 500, and uh, he got hurt because he got to jump on me. You, you and I have a much different life. <laughs> but I, I, I always liked when I was a young pool player, I always liked coming to the Carolinas, Georgia. Uh, uh, the, People just changed after well, Philadelphia. They're, they're just going to treat nice. you right. Yeah, and, and it starts around Baltimore. Yeah. Um, so I got a uh, Mr. Al was talking about where he was from earlier and stuff, and so I I don't know if you know this about me, but and I told Al this, and you just got back to the booth. Why didn't your pro to us thirty six years old? I heard that. Is that about when we started seeing? I started in two thousand and four. That's probably when I started seeing you. Then and, we started coming here, and so. In 2004, you know, the UPA tour was still around, where mm -hmm. we still had an American Pro Tour, mm -hmm. in which it folded in, like, 2009, 2010. Well, it folded at the end of 2009. But one of the great things that I got a story about up north, Grand Central Station. Do you remember when the UPA, we all I remember, played? I remember there was a tournament there. There was a tournament, yeah. and something I'll never forget, because I'd never been to New York, and I go up there, and I'm playing in the middle of Grand, Grand Central, Central Station. Station. How'd you like that? Well, it was the craziest thing. Me be. being an old mountain boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you got, how many people goes through Grand Central Station in a day? A million. Oh, it doesn't stop. And it was the wildest thing I've ever seen. But I have to admit this. Uh, the girl that I was with at that time, her name was Amanda. And we get up there, and they messed up our hotel re reservations. So we're in down in underneath the main part of where you exit Grand Central Station up at ground level. Uh -huh. Up underneath is where all the food courts and stuff is. And so we, me and, me and Amanda's walking around with our bags, and we ain't got nowhere to go. And so we was going to have to just loiter. All or right. to oh, all night until the next day we could check in our room. So we run into Raj Hundal and two more of the England players that had a room. And I'll never forget that Raj and them invited us up to their room so that we didn't have to sit oh. and not have nowhere to stay. And there was another gentleman that helped us while getting from to get to the Grand Central Station. And the one thing I want to say about the experience that I've had up there, and I don't know if it's because of my Southern hospitality and the way I talk and uh, the respect that I give people, every trip that I've ever been up into the New York area or anywhere up north, I've always received the most utmost respect. Well, that's good. That's good. And, and uh, it kind of went against what everybody, well, maybe you, you know, what everybody talks about how the differences are. I don't even like driving through New York City. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll break well, down and we'll get robbed. In the sir, that was in 2004. <laughs> okay. uh, when I was or 2005. I don't know how it is when, now. When I was young, I'd go into New York City playing pool because there was action. Yes, sir. I was. I always expected to get robbed. Really? I, and I, yeah, just you'd have all these people hanging around watching, and I was always uncomfortable. Well, yeah, what was crazy, my, my perspective, because of what happened the first time we ever come there and we was able to have, uh, you know, somebody took care of us it to make sure that we, yes. it, it was pretty amazing. It worked out nicely for them. Yes, sir. And I would have invited you to our house, too. So yes, sir. there's some, but so many people up there are creepy. Well, yeah. I, uh, I, I really like. That's in any big city. Probably. Like, I've been living in Houston for 23 years. Oh, I, I played pool uh, there. I used to, I remember going to Reds. 
Um, so it, it was after, I mean, because I started. So I've been playing pool oh, yeah. for 50 years. I've been playing since I was five years old. <laughs> but I didn't leave North Carolina until I was like from? 23 years old. You from North Carolina? Yes, sir. I, I, I Hickory, lived, North Carolina. Oh, I've been there. I played. Yes, I lived in Greensboro for a year. Well, eight months or so. I lived in Pinehurst for a while. I, I always thought I'd go back to the Carolinas. But then I had a kids and then I had grandchildren. Yes, sir. But yes, sir. I always liked the Carolinas. Uh, People were nicer. And I, so I there I am from and the era that I was. Do you remember Tony Watson? Yeah. Well, monster. Little T. When he was right, he was a monster. You think? Yeah. I, if that kid had to got on the wrong side of things, uh, he was a, he was, the, that kid had the potential to go and do anything. Uh, oh, he came, up, uh, he came through Connecticut once when I was up there. Yes, sir, you did. Hillbillybeers.com. Thank you, Mr. Al. Honored, sir. I'm sorry, guys. We're not. Uh, I'm not watching so much over here on the ride. Uh, I think there's still warm. <laughs> Where's Hillbilly from? Hickory, North Carolina. Well, actually, a little town outside of Hickory. You know what we call it? One card. One card. I card. I C A R D. <laughs> I w back. I of course I'm a lot older than you. I stayed in Greensboro. In, it was 1979. Okay. I went down there. There was so much pool in the what south. What was his name? Ray, uh, the gentleman. Oh, yeah. They was a real good player from the Greensboro area. The, oh, and, was, he, and he loved to play straight pool, too. There was, oh, there was, and he had a pool room down there. Uh, God, I can't remember. There was a pool room. I remember we used to go. Again. Earl Strickland wasn't too far from there, was he? He lived out I don't in the, think so, originally. He, he lived out in the, I went and played Earl out in the country. And it, we, I was talking to him a while back when he was in Connecticut. He really was out in the country. Oh, yeah. we, and then we find this little grocery store with two <laughs> Brunswicks, and we heard about this kid, nine, uh, 16 years old, running out. We went in and played him, and the only reason we could, we were still playing push out back then. Yeah. It didn't matter where you pushed Earl, you could push him here, and he'd shoot a jump shot. And that's the only reason people like I could beat him, because he yeah. was, made everything he looked at, but you could push him anywhere. Okay. He hadn't, and it was funny, after I, we played him, I didn't, three years later, I'm in Houston, first time I'd ever, and I'm hearing about this kid Earl beating everyone in the world. I think, could it be the same little boy I met? But in that two or three years, yeah. he'd become a monster. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, uh, something a lot of people don't realize, I mean, and something I realized once I went out on the road. Where I'm from in Hickory, we had about 20 to 25 players that played within two balls of each other. There was a lot of pool. And so... I believe this. So little Tony and we, I mean, I'm serious. Was Tony had, from there too? Yeah. So we had like, we had, I'm seriously, we had like 20 players that played within two balls of each other. And then once I went out and start traveling the road some, I'm going, these people can't play. And so we busted so many road players that come through my little town. Oh, we got any good players. Because we had such a big stack of players that you couldn't outrun all of us. Uh, you know, you might have answered a question I've had for since 19, about 95. I, I live in Connecticut. There was a pool room in West Haven named Chicago Billiards. I'm over there one night, and Tony comes in. I had never met him before, but he had a weird-looking face. So I knew I'd seen the face, and I've never had no way. So he's trying to play people. We happen to be in the bathroom at the same time. He says, hey, Bobby, how are you? And I don't, and I said, now look, he must, I must have seen him when I was in Hickory as mm -hmm. a child. So yeah. he would have remembered me. But I, to this minute, I've never knew, known why he knew who I was. I heard, I heard a story about this kid. I mean, I was still in Hickory or in that area about when he was 16 year old, about why him, Shannon and Dennis Hatch, Shannon Dalton and Dennis Hatch and Billy Ross went out on the road when Tony was like 14, 15 year old, 16 in that range. And he wound up beating Buddy like a 15 ahead set in like Buddy Hall? two hours. Wow. Tony, hours. Tony did? Yes. I heard some great stories about him, but listen, I, that that kid I heard when he was well, right, no one had to beat him. Oh, a game like that could last for days. 15 it, ahead. Well, it's the only way I used to gamble when because I, I like the headsets. Listen, I knew my break. I'm hitting them at 30, 31 mile an hour every time. It's going to outrun that slug rack, what we was all famous for back we then. We all slug rack. We'd get away with it. <laughs> but we didn't check the racks back then. You guys no. are criminal. It's not like now where they – we looked at it. If, if the front two balls are touching, you broke. There it was. So uh, I was starting to say this earlier. So when I go pro, 
uh, Beard Digest, they wrote one article about me in 2005, and they called Jeremy Jones for a quote. And this is what Jeremy said about me. He said, you can't expect Hillbilly to give you anything. you got to tear it away from him. And he said, man, that breaks always in the back of your head because it sounds something like a 12-gauge and a car crash. All right. My friend, <laughs> well. Joe, my friend Joe and I, this is back in, at the old place. You had a bunch of books with you you were putting yes, together. my manuscript okay. that I brought up. I watched, I followed you two matches because I watched you break because you had such a powerful break. In fact, Joe played, well, on, the, Joe played on the table right next to you, if I recall. What, what didn't you, when we were down at the other place? I mean, you were like one table over from him. Because I remember you were shooting bank shots, you were reading notes to figure out how to aim the lines. But Stuff we, that I created. Yeah, we followed you a couple of matches well, thank you. just to watch, I don't care how you played, I just love the break. You know, it's just, well, it was, it's Earl, almost. when I beat Earl when I won my first major tournament up there at, at Glass City. He, and he had a good break, too, Earl. And Earl said this to me. I swear he said this to me, guys. He said, Charlie, I've seen a lot of people break the pool balls. I've never seen nobody break the balls as hard as you do, as flat as you do. Uh -huh. Because if you, remember, you're not lose the ball. if you remember, my cue ball never jumped no, no, high. No. Mine didn't. Larry Neville had a hard break, too. I, yes, he did. I, I watched him a couple well, I times. I roomed with Larry oh. for like six years up here. Oh. The yep. problem I have with Larry, he always looked unhappy. Rest you had, you, you looked Listen, like you were having it, fun. It, it, he looked miserable. If Larry would have got right between the ears, and I don't mean this wrong, I love Larry to death. He's one of the greatest players. When it comes to American pool players, when it comes to the stroke, and the things oh, that could be done, powerful. there's nobody that ever done it any better in my eyes of what I see. Now, the older players before him, I don't know all of them because I was a sheltered, because I never went nowhere. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't leave my hometown until I was like 24, 25 years old. Wow. Actually, Little T's was the first one that ever took me out to go anywhere. We go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, to Barefoot Beers. That I ain't never... Great. That was a great spot. Yeah. Is, it, is it still open? I no. don't know about that. Is, I, mean, is there, I don't is, know for sure. Is there a pool in Myrtle? I, I heard you know, one, I don't even know I because it's been in, so long. In North Myrtle Beach, I heard. Mm. But they, I went to Myrtle Beach in the 70s, and it was not like Myrtle Beach now. Oh. It was a little town. It was wide open. It was gambling everywhere. Every pool player was going there in the winter. Really? There was, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't anything. It wasn't even a wow. big. It was a little town on the water, but there was pool action and bar action. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, it was it was just a great time, 70s and early 80s, for, for us anyhow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's always cool. I mean, I wish I I mean, honestly... I wish I'd have been out more and got to knew more of the older players that's not really that older than me. And I would have loved to have been able to see what I could have done if I'd have had another 10 years in my pool playing career. Because I was only on the Pro Tour for five years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that about me. Five years. Hey, Charlie, yeah. uh, Charlie, you mentioned uh, 31 miles an hour. Is it? No, 34.7. 30, and is, is that it? Now, that's the highest I've seen or heard. Well, for a long time. I, from you what know? I understand from everybody, it's the hardest break that's ever been recorded. I mean, it doesn't sound big on paper, but that, that is massive, yeah. Well, for the for the pool players that know pool. Yeah, then they know. But, but you tell a stranger, uh, you, tell a, you, yeah. tell, you tell a non-player, they're going to say yeah. they're gonna say 100 all day long, 100 yeah. miles an hour. They don't know. If you could hit 30 miles an hour, that 30 you miles an hour is like, no, but 34 well, there, is... There, there's one thing about it. They couldn't nobody sleep around the pool table. No, when I'm breaking that's why I said we, we followed you around. <laughs> I like watching you break. Hey, hey, hey Charlie, do you think... Uh, what, what speed do you say you break at now? I'm just curious. Uh, what would you guess? Well, so I got a little thing that I show in my break seminars and when I do stuff. I mean, when I do <laughs> seminars with people, I take the length of a pen. Yeah. I put my bridge... I have to fold my middle finger right. to get next to the cue ball, and I'll guarantee you I can hit them 25 miles per hour within three breaks. Wow, okay. I haven't done that in 20 years. You know, I, I ain't but, doing it ever. But, but you know why I show this is everybody thinks it's about a stroke distance that creates power. It's the Bruce Lee punch. If you understand timing I, and you have balance, I agree then you can create 
controlled chaos. Oh, no, I, I agree. With that. <laughs> if you can pick, if you can get that short break and, well, and well, generate so well, much, well, see, and, it, and you're going to hit it perfect if it's a short. When break. I was out playing all the time, and everybody that knew the big breakers, I told them all if they'd shorten their bridge up to the length of mine, I'd give them three miles per hour. No kidding. You know, now when I get home, I'm going to have to try That's a it. pretty good tip right there for you yeah. people well, listening. When I get home, I'm going to try shortening my bridge. Yeah. So the biggest thing, if you can find the timing with that little short bridge, now it's going to force you to follow through. That's a good point. That's a good point, yeah. And it's going to force you to release your back foot because now you're going through the ball. You're not trying to arm break. Oh, yeah, really. Just natural. And it's going to force you not to squat the back leg. No, I like that. The break starts from the heel, toe, boom. Heel, toe, boom. The secret of the break is the hand and the hip coming together right before you hit the cue ball. So, Charlie, so you're twisting your hips and coming in. There. Absolutely. Yes, sir. I've been, yeah, I do that. It's because Bobby wants looking for some action against you right over here on this bar box okay. right now. Bobby. <laughs> I might play him some left handed. <laughs> there you go. I'm left handed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had to. Well, I done stuck my foot in a trap in it. <laughs> How big's the trap? Is it a mouse trap or, or, or bear trap? <laughs> <laughs> hey, does that bear trap have teeth? Hey, hey, I want to be able to walk home, not wobble hey, home. Hey, Bobby, I'm just trying to help over there. You understand? Thank right? you. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a blast. So, question for you guys: What do you think about the hillbilly being in the booth? Been a while. I think you're great. Uh, I, it's fun. I like that. You know what? You. I'm impressed with the Jersey accent. You know. <laughs> yeah, I need some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> hey, do you know what the coffee cost? No, we will. <laughs> hey, it, it costs way too much. It's a. It, you got to get it at the office. It's okay? a little. <laughs> I, 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 well, I can't. I don't know about two syllable Listen, words like outrageous. Or something. I'll, t- I'll tell you, boy. You got a classic <laughs> voice. He's got. He's got a recognizable voice over any any other. Well, there's one thing. If y'all remember, you see me at Derby and stuff. Yeah. I'd, co- I'd come in the first day or two, and I'd have a big beard. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then, like, three days later, I'd cut it into a goatee. The same people that just seen me yeah. didn't recognize now, me now until look, I opened my mouth. Now you look different, man. <laughs> I didn't know who you were when you were standing yeah. there without the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have a recognizable voice. It's, it's, it's just like Bill Billy. Timothy yeah. Tim, Craig says, "Hey, Mr. Timmy." It's almost like your your voice carries like Earl, when Earl talks, everybody's head Absolutely. snaps. Same same thing with you. You got that. You so got that uh, the first time I go to the World Championships, I qualify for qualified for it to go to Taiwan. So Sky Sports got me to come in and do one match. They offered me one match. In the next three days, they wound up having me do nine matches. So they must have liked what I said. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's unmistakable. I asked Charlie about the break at a tournament in Mobile, Alabama, about 20 years ago, and he said the same thing. Then you got to get your hips into the stroke. So everybody that's tuned in right now on YouTube, on Bright Beards, I got a two-part video. Short it's name. called Smack 'em Hard, Breaking the Hillbilly Way. Sounds like a... So if you want to go, the first video is about understanding balance and the key mechanics. I mean, the key components of being balanced with your front foot, your back foot, what your front arm should do, your back arm should do. And then I give you three drills to develop timing to develop... So you, you go into YouTube and you put hillbilly drills? Uh, hillbilly beards. If you if you got uh, well, okay. no, I gotta change all that because of what's going on right now. But if you go to YouTube and you punch in "smack them hard," is this just something you just releasing now? No, sir. Uh, I had a uh, about ten years ago. Me and my wife made uh, a rentable video mm-hmm. that was a two part video. Okay. Break them hard. Right. I mean, smack them hard, break it in the hillbilly. Way. And the people can access that. That are watching? absolutely, sir, and it's free. Where do they go to? Where- uh, you, just uh, if I'm not mistaken, the easiest way to do is go to YouTube and punch in "smack 'em hard." Smack 'em hard. Okay. Good point. Good point. Thanks. I Thanks. met Hillbilly. I ran into him in Vegas. Told him I own a car dealership. Oh, that's it. 
Okay. With Dennis Hatch. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir, Mr. Mike. When I get home. That's it. Steve, let me, yes, sir. Let me, when I get home, okay? Because I'll forget. It ain't the greatest quality. Me and Miss Heather, uh, you know, we was just swinging it back then. And, yeah, that's but, true. That's but I promise you, it might not be the greatest quality, but there's some great information. There. Yeah, information is real solid. Good for you, man. Oh, well, people get to pick up on stuff here, yeah. you know. Hey, everybody likes free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's working. You know what's cool about it? I mean, everything that I've developed and what I do and what I teach, my daddy had this little old saying, it don't cost nothing to pay attention. Mm. Yeah. You know what most people don't? Pay attention. I'm so broke I can't pay attention. Ah, that's bullshit. <laughs> Easy. You're talking about money. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about just no, paying attention. Yeah, I understand. I understand. It was just a saying I, yeah, I, know. I seen I'm that. messing with you. Thanks, fella. Thanks, I got to give it back to you. You're giving it to me. I never did once. You got the funny accent. That I don't understand. Why is it got to be funny? To, Can't well, it just be cool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get away with it. <laughs> it sounds good, bro. I'll tell you what. I love Southern girls' You're, accents. Oh, love, now, the, yeah. You've done yeah, switch me over to that. I, what the I, hell? Yeah. I Bobby, like, come on, don't do me like that. I'm just now. saying, when I was in North Carolina, I loved the way the girls talk. Hey, Bobby, my first <laughs> wife was from western Tennessee, and when I went to visit the in-laws, I had to ask some of them eight times what they said because I couldn't oh, understand nothing. I just, How could you not understand? We talk so slow down there. No, this was, this was different. Hey, hey, <laughs> you doing, Bob? Can you hear this guy? <laughs> Listen to this man. <laughs> Can you hear this? He's hilarious. <laughs> Well, the fans are uh, the fans are getting a little nearful here. How bad here, Willie? I ran. I, I hope he didn't run into me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen him, Mr. Michael. I haven't seen Dennis Hatch in a while. No, nope. he's selling cars out in Ohio I, somewhere. I, I, I so I, I go to the BCA Master. I mean Grand Masters <laughs> over uh, probably 2004, 2015. I lose my first match to Larry Neville. Grandmaster's eight ball. So the next match, I beat Darren Appleton. I beat, I mean, so you know when you lose your first yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, it's a long time. I beat two Filipinos. I don't remember exactly what their names was. <laughs> I beat Oscar Dominguez. And so me and Dennis has got to play each other, and I hadn't had no beer. And Dennis knows I like to drink beer. And he said, Hill, brother, you want a beer? <laughs> and so I, I wound up beating Dennis, too. <laughs> That's a great player. And I wound up playing Skyler in the finals, but I couldn't hardly walk. <laughs> <laughs> but this is after I quit the Pro Tour in 2010, so it's like 2013, 2014 that I go out to, and I played, just played the Grand Masters and wound up finishing second after I lose my first match. So, you know, it was a, a great accomplishment for me for not playing much. Charlie, tell those guys to start playing. Yeah, hey, we're waiting on that. Hey, guys, y'all got to get it out of the mud. We're over here. We, hey, we're losing content. We ain't. <laughs> We've been sitting here for four hours. Yeah, but, yeah, but. We're yeah, on, on hey, the, hey, we're tired of watching paint dry. On the other side of the coin, though, we just got three hours of Bobby's so, stories, and now we got part two with Hillbilly in here. Well, guess what? Hey, Road we, stories. We, yeah. we can't hardly tell much more. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, actually, it's not hey, stopping at all. And actually, hey, Hillbilly's got to open up his booth up here at Derby. So I would like to say this, guys. If anybody's going to be at Derby this week, uh, I got a booth set up to where I can do actually private lessons at my booth. Oh, you and so I can close the curtain around table? my yeah. booth. I saw and that. Today I did five hours worth of lessons. Good for you, sir. Adam, so, Adam, they're very close now. They're they're almost done warming up. Hopefully, it's any second now. But we we're waiting also. So Please bear with us. Oh, God. <laughs> We're talking we're about trying. me singing stroking. Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw you do care. <laughs> when I start making love, I just don't make love. I be a stroke, and that's what I be doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You should be paying this man. <laughs> you, got, you got me laughing. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we're getting ready to start. Oh, God, I'm out of here. mean to snort on you there, guys. <laughs> um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, This five, may be the start. Should I find it? This is one. Should I find that? It's time. 
rack and the first rack, so we are getting close here. Finally. Okay, folks. I'm Eddie Klein here with Charlie Hillbilly Bryant and Bobby Hunt and upstairs. Booby. Out. I'm sorry. Did you say booby? I'm Toy Boat. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, Bobby Hunt. I can't disagree with boobies. <laughs> Booby. Booby Hunt. I'm sorry. Booby no, Hunt. He's on, got a new, hey, he'll better give him a new name. Come on, bro. I didn't say that. He was at it. Thanks. All right. I believe that was the first break. It was the first break, sir, and he's I made. Have, I have a question. Guam is getting a game? Two balls. No, he's getting an eight out. Well, all right. Three well, balls. Why is there a coin? See the two coins on the rail? Yeah, I do. Is there a game up front? Wait a minute. I can't see that he, far, sir. He just put one here and one so there. So he must be. Maybe he's getting one on the wire? I don't know. It, well, we'll see what happens. Well, we'll find out what happens. Yeah, maybe they just didn't straighten it out yet. Now, this is for 20,000 points oh, yeah. here, race to 15. Is it for 20? I heard earlier it was like 10. Yeah, they jumped it up. Okay. They doubled it up, I think. He got pretty fortunate. You got half of it, Charlie. What happened? Charlie, you got the other half. Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> 10,000 pennies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he needs to. So three, five, we'll see. Three. Uh, I think he, it's the five he, is next. He, he would have liked to come just a smidgen further yeah, there. Yeah, instead of cutting it. Yeah, he's going to have to use a little inside. I don't think he can hold it just a smidgen. And there he goes. He got him a good angle for the six. There's no reason now, why he shouldn't well, run out. Well, what he don't want to do here for sure is he hit this straight. ball too hard and get close get to straight, straight in. Yep, yep. He wants to, he's got to get over across the table. So, Bobby, mm -hmm. there's a little old video I put out called the three diamond rule. When a ball's froze to the rail or close to the rail. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. If you went straight across the table on the shot he just shot to the second diamond, and you count up one, two, three, he come at the third diamond. He That's did. That's when he comes at the third. Okay. So I put it out because I got tired of scratching in the side, and I wanted to figure out how far I can go and do something. Oh, that's good. I flew with this. Oh. oh, I forgot he's getting spotted. Yeah, me too. I, I, I forgot. Going, what the hell? It. Yeah, I didn't know why he was cinching it. <laughs> it was, excuse me, guys, for cussing there. I'm sorry. Yeah. He won't have a problem. He usually plays perfectly consistent. Or perfect consistent. Is, is it I imagine this is winter break? Um I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure I'm not hundred percent sure but I Well would. he's uh, breaking the second rack, so uh, it has to be winter break. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that throwing me in. You no, know, my, my daddy had this saying I, I got you. It don't cost nothing to what? Yeah. Pay attention. Thank you. You didn't See, pay you was listening. You're damn right. So you was paying attention. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You see what's going on over here, Al? I'm getting tortured I, here. I'm still curious about the coin. Why do yeah, I have no idea what that. Wait to see what they do. Yeah, they, they put up two coins earlier, but like you said, there's one. Did anything yeah. move yet? Not yet. Okay. We're watching a movie. What are you? Huh? Yeah, you didn't see that one? Uh -huh. Yeah. Was that Happy Gilmore? No. <laughs> that what a movie that was. <laughs> Happy Gilmore, Adam Sandler. So uh, I also got a little group on Facebook, guys, it's called the Hillbilly House of Game. Like the detergent, and you're gaining something. I did a two-part video on the dreaded cheer. The dreaded so many cheer. people get defeated in that cheer; they got to go sit in between the innings. Oh, the dreaded cheer! Mm -hmm. I had to get. I love giving things names. So that cheer that Jesus is sitting over there in. It's called the dreaded cheer. Yeah, makes sense. So. And so one of the things that I use, you heard the video, I mean the movie that I just mentioned? Yeah. So Happy what you need boy. to learn how to do is when you go sit in that dreaded cheer is how to figure out a way to make it your happy shake place. Shake it off, shake it off. Your right. happy place. Right, right. Yeah. So think of your grandkids. Well, you're sitting there? Right. Think you of know, any, that's real big. Think of anything that would make you happy. And, while you're sitting in that chair instead of carrying, oh, I just missed this ball. Yeah. I carried the table to the chair. Well, you carry that table to that chair like four or five times. That's something that gets heavy. Yeah. Excuse yep. me for cussing, guys. I'm sorry. No, that's... Uh, that, but that, I mean, you don't hardly ever hear me cuss much, but that's how predominant that is. If you continue to carry the mistakes that you make when you're at the table to mm -hmm. that chair... Yeah. Table gets heavy. It's good. Yeah, that cheer it's, it's gonna gets eat heavy. at you. Sure. Yeah, you just sit there and steam. And, and hopefully else. that hopefully y'all like what I just shared with you guys. That was don't, real big. Thank you. Don't let that dreaded cheer kick you in the butt too bad. Okay, with the break here. Okay, I saw. Here we go. Jesus. Wow. 
What are you talking about? Jesus. Um, the guy over here said Jesus. I was reading. Oh, hey, Zeus. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a uh, dry break here. I see one coin up there, and I don't see the second one. Do you think he's going to play it off the six here? No, he may. I think he's going to play it off the six. He's straight in to make the, the combo. These are four it, and an eighth it, pockets. That's rough, right? Well, if he don't have room, I think he can glance the six here and make sure he gets the angle if he don't have enough room to make the ball. Yeah. See, I don't like yeah, shooting a seven there run, because yeah. you put yourself now in you a difficult a, angle. You have a yeah. well run now. Man, I like that. If you play off the other one, you could just draw it back. Absolutely. Draw it back a foot. So well, now, he, now he's got to try to hit the window between the five and the ten. Yes. And, you're coming, and using the bridge. And you're coming right at it. Absolutely. I mean, it, now, yeah. if you have a tracking system and you know how the ball travels, this is not such a big deal if you know how to adjust it with the clock. Okay. So I think he's going to hit the five ball here. No? He did a little I flatter than I thought. Oh, he split him pretty that. good there. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Yeah. You know what? That was uh, that was uh, that, that put was a right. Shot. Yeah. Not a problem so, on the board here. Hey, since I'm talking to all these champions here, what's the key shot? What's the key shape position here, guys? Um, I would like to come up a little short. The shorter. four to the five. Yes, sir. That's one of them. Yeah. And the six to the eight. You got to get a little bit. Got to worry about the yeah. nine. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. In case y'all don't think about key shape positions, see a lot of people don't think about uh, when I walk to a rack of balls, for I always ask myself, how many key shape positions do I have in this rack? I kind of do that. I, I look for the problems first, no. where the problem is going to develop. But look at that. Anyway, you got away. Jump. Got away with it. Oh, Mr. Booby. Here, buddy, he's got to take yeah, a break, yeah. and i got to get my booth open by 9 o'clock, guys. I hope y'all have enjoyed having me in I, here. I, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So. And I will be back, I promise. Yeah, I better. truly, Good, truly I gotta, promise. Gotta, and I'll stop by your booth when I walk oh, by. Oh, well, thank you. I thank fully you. enjoyed it. Don't forget your headphones. Oh, I okay. Won't hey, I, I threw it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take off, guys. Oh, uh, man. I've got to get my booth open you know in the morning. I you hope y'all have enjoyed having me. It was a me. pleasure, bro. Thanks a million. I will be back. I hope so. I promise. I hope so. Thanks so much. Uh, you, hey guys, uh, just one more time, if you don't mind, check out hillbillybeers.com. Uh, if you want to know more about breaking, uh, smack them hard, breaking the hillbilly way. And thanks for the help, sir. Thank you. Oh, I loved it. And I will be back, I promise. Appreciate it. <coughs> Thank you, Billy. I enjoyed it. He did a great job. Okay, great I got job. his off. I don't know about all these buttons. What well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do things wrong here. Why is he gotta leave me here? Okay. Is he gonna come back soon? I just I'm just gonna do. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna give this to Billy? Steve until. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, give him whoever. I gotta do the score here. His who's just one. Yeah, one one. Okay. Got it. You got, you got God, I'm good at this. Okay, back with Bobby Hunter in the right. booth and and Bobby Hunt. and. But Bobby Hunt, Hunt. Hunt. yeah, um, Bobby Hunter was out in California, I think. Um, I think uh, Chicago. Bobby Hunt. Um, this one's not working, Steve. This isn't working. Yeah, we're, we're using that. We're using this. But this chat's working right here. So you know, that, this okay. is. But for whatever reason, this don't pay attention. To okay, this. so I'm in the booth here with Bobby Hunt and Steve Capitan, and mm -hmm. uh, we've been here for what about forty minutes now, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> four hours. Four hours. <laughs> and, and, that was nice of Hillbilly coming in I'm here, huh? Awake. That was nice with Hillbilly oh, he coming. Was, he was great. That yeah, was a good act. That and was he, good. That was and that Hillbilly name is perfect. Yeah, it's a real, it you, is, you, it's you can't mistake it. Up here. You can't mistake I, it. So I don't have to yell back there. He was hilarious. He was hilarious. Okay, okay here's Jesus with the break on game three. 20,000 points raised to 15, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's the and and Jesus has given up the eight now to Guama. I keep. I love the way look at he, that break. I love the way he breaks. Wow, Red Charlie had quite a break. Uh, remember years back? At three balls. He, oh he, yeah, he well, did disappear for a long time. Oh, uh, 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 oh, so that just took it away. Yeah, but he's got a real easy save here. Yeah, he just stick right there. Sent, uh, stop on the seven, maybe right. 
With the uh, one? I would be hitting that one a little bit and try to like two rail it up where he's standing and get that cue ball up against the back of the nine. Looks and like he can do that almost with a stop shot. And you also have a problem with the... Yeah, so playing it that way. Look at the problem. Uh, but, you, but you've got a problem with the three ball also. That's a little locked up too. And the, and the two is no bargain either. So there, there's going to be a few innings in this table on this game, right? Yeah. I, yeah. This is almost automatic. But it was. No, nice shot. He's got the one railer here, though, to the lower rail. Oh, he, has, he has some of it? If he does, then he's going to hurt him bad on this. He could hide him real good here. Mm. Oh, it looks like he's shooting right at I thought he was snookered a little bit. Yeah, he's got a piece of it. Paint. What? He's got a back kick Did, on this one now. Can he get the edge of it and leave him behind the seven? Looks like oh, he went too far. Yeah, he, went, he too, went too far. He went too far. He's going to put him up under the five with the cue ball here. There you go. Well, he may have the but one. No, that he, was nice. He, that was nice. He may have the one railer to the bottom rail and back up. Uh, he's not going to get to the bottom from there, is he? If he, he if he can he swing through the between the window between yeah, the one and eight to the lower rail. Can he get by the five? I don't know. That's that's the only thing. If he yeah. can, that seven is going to go up top, maybe off the five, into the hole. Who knows? I got, I got good meds. All right. Sounds good. Look at that. He's calling the seven. Good oh, call, Eddie. Off the five? Yeah, I think so. It looks wired <laughs> for, for me, from here. I'm having fun. He's got he's, he's to jump he's over. Oh, he's going to jump over the edge and, and back kick the one and call the seven. Get in. Oh, that was interesting to watch. Well, he doubled him up on the one, but he's going to get hooked again here. Yeah, probably. I don't see him coming out. That's very good. What's he do? Roll up on the 10? 10-2 ten here? And yeah, he could bounce it up a five and roll up on the five. Yeah. Oh, he miscued. He, oh, man. He, he, no, never mind. I he was parked wrong. that pretty good. I thought he miscued the way it came Oh, I off. see. Yes. That was pretty good. He's got a one railer here, though. Can he get to the bottom side rail? He's, he looked like he was lining up for that, so I imagine he's got the window for that. But that three is so, you know, it's going to be torturous. But that would be a good safety, a three. Three real stick right there and send the three around, right? On a safety. My God. Yeah, if he gets that far. Yeah. Even if he makes this, how's he going to get on the. Oh. He's going to be, be at, back you, behind the five. And he made Look it. Look at that. It's perfect. Oh. And he's got a cut in the side here. If he makes it in Kai, he can break, break up the three four. Yeah, he looks like he's heading towards that nine, six nine there, though, with that cut, thin cut. Maybe if he can avoid that nine ball, he'll go into it. Yeah, you're right. Look at that. He can avoid that nine, right? I think so. Yeah. And then he'll come off the bottom rail to break that out. Uh, can he draw straight into it across the table? Or does he got to come to the bottom and up? I think he's just got to miss the nine. But unless he's thinking of something else. The only problem drawing into it, he might go right to the corner to scratch. So I, I like that, what you're saying, come to the bottom and out. At least then you don't get in trouble. Oh, uh, oh. boy. Well, it deadened it up a little, maybe. Oh. Yeah, how do you shoot this for twenty thousand points? Off the rail up top. I, I, I think I, I don't you, know. You think the pressure might be here? I don't, I don't think. No, that. I know, yeah. Yeah. but uh, at, at one for me, I'd be stuttering right now. Yeah, but if, you know what? One to one is so early in the set. I yes, think any, it is. Anybody's dogging it yet? I don't see much good coming from it, unless he can hit the ball full. But it doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, he he hit it good enough. Uh, I didn't know he could hit it that full. Oh, the six? No. He's got a piece of it. It's close. Yeah. He can. Whoa. What who are you doing here? Who's that, Al? Well, sorry, folks. That woke me up. We look We look terrible. <laughs> we look old. <laughs> no, I'm not 38. <laughs> oh, he has paint here. My waist is 38. What's he do? Stop on the seven and send the cue around? The three stops well, I on think, the seven? I think he can cut it. Oh, he had it. Yeah, he had a shot there. That was a nice cut. And now he's got to play. Put my behind the five. Put the four bound by the eight someplace. Maybe this is free. Play the bank and, and yeah. cross corner, and, and you're going up yeah. by the five. I, I play real conservative. Sometimes well, it's too conservative. Really? I do. I was going to gamble you heavily too, but you're 20, forget it now. You're 20 years late. If you <laughs> I hit that nice, nice. That's real nice. Shot. I thought he did a harder trick at behind the five. I'm gonna really lock him up. But see, this way, if he got to be on the five, he couldn't go to this long rail. 
So I he's think, he's gonna oh back wait. kick it. Can you get? Back? He's gonna dig in here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still like you going to the five. That's a big ball down here for the mm. bottom round, right? If he hits it solid, it's gonna be. Oh, oh, point. Are they calling balls? I, I, I think so. Yeah, right. I think so. And I keep forgetting he's getting weight too. So Guam is getting the uh, eight, eight, nine, ten here. Yes, he is. Okay, that's a lot of weight with twenty thousand points. I think. You, know. you want that? You want to take that game there, Steve? I'll take a little piece. No, no, no. Against <laughs> Jesus, you, you would? You, would sure. you take the eight, nine, ten? Yeah, you guys. My backer's right here. That, that's what I was hoping for. We got a piece of them. All right, let's go. I play that game. Wow. Well, he made that tougher than I expected. He's going to go back and forth without catching that 10 ball. Well, you know what? If he's shooting it, and if he's in the game, he, this man's a, well, he's a player. You knew that shot was fraught with peril. If he makes it, he hits the back of the 10. Where's he going from there? Oh, you know, yeah. There was no incentive yeah. to really hit it that much better. Now he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, he put it up on the diamond up there. You can't call it the Brunswick here, just so you know. Huh. Bobby, you can't call it the Brunswick because <coughs> it's a diamond table. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> ah. Thank you. Oh, boy. It's okay. Oh, boy. Well, this is tough. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got to put the two five down behind the nine and try to put the cue ball up the top behind the ten. Yeah, just try and p concentrate on parking that five on the bottom rail yeah, more than gotta, anything, he's, right? Yeah, he's got to get because if he gets the bottom rail, then yeah. he really can't get hurt too bad. Yeah, well done. Hey, oh, look at that! Let's he's got stay, some blockers stay. here. And he's got. Oh, no, he did get. Yeah, it. If he can hit it, he's got an easy save. But can he hit it? Maybe with a rail first, uh, with a lot of spin, but it's it's very close. Yeah, he's doing the rail first. It. He's yeah. going to cut it. In. He's going to try and cut it. In. Yeah, he's got the rail first. I like this shot. You play. I practice this stuff. It it's it it's. I cut that right in, rail first. If I was playing one pocket, I shoot it. Yeah. Nine ball. I don't know if I like because you're. Like, oh yeah. I don't like like cue ball. What happened oh. here? Oh. Whoa. 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 Look at that shot. Look at they that. didn't even need the eight. Look at that no, shot. He just cut it right in. <laughs> that that was a great shot. Oh, yeah, that really was. That might be the shot of the match, well, folks. He's got to come in another one. We'll have to, yeah. Oh, he just said Yeah, he didn't even try he and get behind I it. I thought, yeah, that was yeah. just since. Yeah, yeah, he could have overhit that easily, right? And yeah, yeah, that was a good Let shot. it get away from him. He handled that real well. Thank God everyone's playing with the carbon fiber. Yeah, I'm hearing more about it. Every time I come around, there's more and more people. Two to one. And yeah. Now that the Filipinos are playing with it, I think they're the best players in the world. And I keep forgetting he's oh, got. I, I, right, I, yeah. I was wondering why he cinched yeah, it. What he was broke, that for? He broke dry last time. We he just, broke and ran the first round. Yeah, we just forgot about it, though. Uh, I keep forgetting he's getting so much. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Caesar Southern Indiana Derby City Classic. We got a packed house all around me here in the Action Stats Arena. And let me ask you guys, what They can, they you lost, can, they lost, they lost you can keep that, you can keep that on them. They can't hear us at all, but we can hear each other. So they know. had a chance to tie up the game going overtime, and they, they missed the field goal. Uh-oh, dry break. Again. That's two in a row. Oh, and the one goes down in the corner. It won't go in the side. Luckily, the two's right there. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good layout. Promising. Look, the, look at the two. The, this, uh, this one is key right here. This is a key ball right here. Down in the corner, unless he plays the safety on it. It's good on a two. He should be out. Yeah, yeah. And the two's got every pocket, you know. You know, if he's afraid to shoot, he's got such an easy save. You know, putting the cue ball behind the... the uh, that is true. Behind the three and the, send the one down I don't, here. I don't but, think but he's going to play a safe, do you? I can't tell if he can get by the five or not. Good shot, good shot. Oh, he dogged yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it was... pockets. Say, yeah. It was, it was missable for sure, you know. Yeah, I should he had to cut... I shouldn't have said the dog, did you? So it's that's your fault. Touch, you gave the commentator's shot. curse, it's called. That was your move, Steve. I, 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 that's my, that's my first one. I'm going to tell him. I still like playing the safe where that ball was laying. He hit that real well. 
to get out of that corner like the way he did here. Well, he ended up real well. Mm -hmm. See his stroke, how he just jabs. He yeah. jumped up a little, he, didn't he? But he does it all the time. Oh, okay, And yeah. he doesn't miss, yes. and he still doesn't miss. Well. He was doing that when he was playing Lucas in Connecticut. Oh, so you know the man. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen, seen him, him play a few times. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah he jumps up, but he, he plays good. Nice state down on that one. What, what, what is he doing? He, that he, was supposed to go in the side pocket. I think you're right. Yeah. Can it go past he's, the five? It'll, it'll, it'll still go in the five, in the side, rather. Yeah, but then he's going to let the cue ball run. Yeah. Can he shoot the nine past it? No, he's cutting uh, it the side. Yeah, he's going to cut it. I think maybe with Punt on, he's got, a, he's, got, he's, he's got the option. He's going in the side. Maybe pocket speed. Look at how he jumps. Yeah. yeah that's what happened. He twisted it. He's just He rushed at it, I thought, right? Seems to. I mean, he just yeah. he jumps up, too. And he got down on yeah, one stroke, didn't hit it, and that was it. But he, was, he, sh he probably should have made that ball. That was missable, he still, but yeah, he still should have made it. he's qualified. But I thought he could have shot it past the five. Hey, sees me. All right. He met, he'll make quick work of this. I got quick work. Wow. Toy boat. Can I get a glass of water? A little bottle. Of Okay, six to the seven. He'll play this. He's going to play the seven in the same corner as he's playing the six in. He'll slide between that eight, nine there. I mean, nine, ten. He can't be the problem. I only he has the to be corner. careful. That cue ball's going right into that the corner. That corner, yeah. He's going to have to draw that cue ball over to that first diamond, you know? Make sure he stays up, up by the first diamond. Yeah, he needs the angle to come up anyway, you know? Perfect. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Mm. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, but it kind of came high. Yeah, like yeah. Like, it hit the rail and straightened out a little bit. Yeah, it did. Now he's got to let it run. He's got to worry about bumping in that nine ball right there in the front. Yeah, he's, yeah. this isn't a gimme. No, because that nine became big when he came off straight off that. What's that thing on his head? Yeah, that's a man bun. Oh, that, and and um, I'm, I'm not going there. Don't ask me. I'm uh, we're from the fifties. No we're from the fifties and sixties. We don't. <laughs> you know the deal. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go. Different generation. Hit good. Oh, that's a nice hit. Yeah, really nice. How good was the speed? Yeah. Perfect. Ball in hand position right there. Well, let's see what he can he. He can draw it back. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he has no choice. I can't see where the nine is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you got your snooker. Uh, and I don't know if the nine passes the ten. I don't, I don't think the nine little. passes the ten. Yeah, you got to sh Definitely oh, did wow, not. Wow, he really let it go. I, mean, I never even encouraged me to do that. That was great. Okay. Jesus with this ten ball here will be a uh, tie game. He should have looked smoother than, uh, than Guama when he's, when he's running out. Okay, that's two. Uh, tied to two here. Where's that guy in the truck? <laughs> the guy in the, what are you talking about? The guy the, in the, the scorekeeper that's in the truck usually? You did it. I did that. Oh, he did it? Yeah, he meant oh. Al should have been doing it. Oh, oh, yeah. What's he doing? We're talking to the lady. Networking. Oh, yeah. He's a character this upstate Al, you know. Who did um, this I guy's this guy's a character. Charlie Wood. Yeah. Charlie that was, was a character. Oh yeah, he, he you know he, what? He's, he had me laughing pretty good. Oh yeah. He man. What a, yeah, he is a character. You you got him all kinds here, folks. All right, with the break. I, I like the way this man breaks and rolls. Who did he lose to in the ten ball challenge? <sighs> oh, he was in the Bigfoot? Yeah, he was. Mora? First time. Wow. I don't remember. You got the four. Wow. That ball behind, those two balls behind, uh, for, he married the one? No. Look at that. That one rolled out. Can he make it? He's got it, and he can go between the six, seven when he plays it if he needs to. You don't think he'll hit that seven at all? Oh, uh, I think he can draw right Maybe. through that window over towards that first diamond on, on top there. You know, it's a good angle from, you see that? Bobby, what do you think? Yeah. I can't tell if he can draw. Is he close enough? 
I mean, not uh, much of an angle. Is he far enough away to get a little tiny stroke in there? Yeah, I think he could. Well, if he can, then I like yeah, little got. Alan Hopkins <laughs> dro- uh, punched, you know, then whatever, you know. I think he's got. I think he's in good shape. Yeah, that, that six ball was going to be big, and and he's going to come around two rails for the two in the upper cor- right hand corner. Same one. He, oh, Perfect. I thought he missed it. Yep. Came out. Nine. And he got the angle to get on the five in the same corner too. Look at that. Uh, Dustin Johnson is saying it's three two Jesus. Thank you. But I'm looking at. The, I'm going to check wait, first. Yeah. The coins on the table. Coins on the table yeah. say two to two. Yeah the, yeah. the coins on the table say two two. Okay. Yeah, Dustin. We're, we're, I think we're good so far. Thank you. There won't be any mistakes in the scorekeeping here with 20,000 points on the line. No. Not by them, anyhow. Yeah, by <laughs> No, without an argument. Not, not without gunplay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is pretty simple. Uh, it's easy from the chair. To, you know, you can't miss a ball from here. Come on, Bobby. When's the last time you missed from the chair? This, probably this morning. <laughs> I've already missed for two or three Cause Steve, today. how about you? You ever <laughs> missed one? Not yet, not yet. I'm a god from over here. Are you kidding me? Efren gets the five and out from you, right? Nice. When you're sitting in the chair. You know, Efren's the only person I've played my, in my life ever where I expected to lose. Every other time in the last 50 years, I knew I was going to win. Or I, I believed it. That when I played Efren, I just didn't want to embarrass myself. Whoa. Just from the uh, reputation and the... It's a big rep. Well, we're gambling. And, oh, you know, okay. Uh, it came to New Orleans a couple of times. Was it, a, it wasn't like the the Jersey Staple guys, the 10 and 20 game things? Or? No. <laughs> 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 it was harmless stuff. <laughs> now it's 3-2. <laughs> now it's... Uh, thanks. 3-2. Yeah, I snoozed that too, thanks. And, and he won? Yeah, thanks. I like the way this Tensio looks. He looks good at the table, doesn't he? He's yeah. Really, he really looks smooth and solid. It's, except, for except for the hair. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah. Well, he looks like well a well-disciplined kid, you know, right? He just <coughs> pool-wise, yeah. yeah. What country is he from? Uh, not a clue, sir. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. I don't know. Where uh, Jesus is from? Maybe he's uh, Philippines. No, oh, he's not a Filipino. Um, Some Spanish thing, I assume. Oh, South America, you think? Well, I, I would think Central America. We're maybe. looking. We're looking at the chat here. You chime in any time here. Uh, all right, look at the one. Look at this shot. No push here. He doesn't have to push. Yeah, I think. He, I think he should. I don't. Yeah, t- and, and there's stuff tied up, so you don't have to really uh, yeah. tie anything up. I don't. Uh, I think what I would try to probably put the one be over behind the eight, let the cue ball roll down behind the nine ten. The one behind the eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh. I think. So. But even from up there, though, that's well, that's know, work. But you know, what I would do it before I did it. I'd push out one inch. Ho- oh, okay. Hoping he takes it from me. Yeah. Cesar says he's from Venezuela. Thank you. Both players from there. Yeah, well. New, New Guam was. I don't know. Thank you. Hey, that was an interesting safety. Look at that. <coughs> he got paint. Yeah, he's, so. got, he's got the edge of it. He might even have more than the edge of it. Yeah, he's got a lot. Yeah. He's got at least half the ball. But he, 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 he can't bank it. It tends in the way. Not like oh, a double hit. Well, yeah. that's why I like the other way. Uh, the way I thought, liked it. You know, put the one over by the eight and the cue ball. thought you had much right. big, you had a bigger room for error with the nine and ten. I thought. Let's call him the ten in the corner. Oh, so he's going to come off, kick off the oh. bottom, bottom He's going to kick one. off the bottom of the one here, yeah. And it's just, oh, and it's just going to call it in case, I guess. Yeah. But Boy, I was just saying, if he rolled between those balls, <laughs> that would have been genius. Well, he's on the roof here, shooting over this ten ball, but he's got a shot. I don't know what, what he's calling for here. A referee, what? There's no referee here. Are they all ball fouls? That's what he's asking. There was a foul involved, or he's no, just, he's just, a, he's just for asking himself. if okay. it was an all ball foul. All right. Oh, that was very wow. Nice. Very nice. Put a nice look at the look at the end. He's got the two in the corner. I think he's got the two on the side. Then he can just roll forward a foot, and then he's got the easy three ball. 
Uh, I can't tell. He, I can't tell which one he's going. He, he's got either. If he can get the cue ball past the three, he'll play the two in the corner. I think he's playing the side. Yeah, he switch. Oh, he's playing the side corner now. Well, when he went to the corner, if you miss it, you got a built-in save. Yeah, he just called the corner, and maybe you know what? He 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 could play the three in the left side if he holds it, but he's going forward. And he's going to drift over he, towards it. Right, he's going forward. Oh, like he that. just well, he, he just hit it bad. He butchered that one. I had. Oh, he wanted to hide him behind yeah, the he, tree. He wasn't intended on making it. Oh. I would rather see him try to make it. Same shot and had a safe built in. If you make it, you're on the three. I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what I would have done. He doesn't play like I do. You know. I'm kidding here. Very few do. No, honest to God, that was doable to play the two and get on the three in the yes, left side, was. I thought. Yeah. Like, Maybe he snoozed he it. Better. That two doesn't slide by the eight, I don't I think. Can't, I can't tell. If it doesn't, I bank the two back to the five, put the cue ball behind the eight. Yeah, you're so not, It's like a one pocket shot. You're not going to cheat this stuff here. If he goes, he's got to shoot it. Oh, he's playing, I think. Looks like it. Wow. Whoa. That was a good shot. He caught the rail going in. Mm. They're probably still sliding in here a little bit, right? Just a couple of days oh, of I new think, cloth. Yeah, I assume so. At least tables haven't had much play as the yeah, others. Right. I don't really like a new felt. I think it looks nice, but I don't like the way it plays. Oh, he's going to come across for the seven. I mean the five. Well, he didn't catch the rail at all. He split that pocket. Look at this. This guy's solid. Yeah. Wow. The five, he's going to play the six in the same corner. I like to know what kind of cues they play with. You know, probably their sponsors. Yeah, no, just, sponsors. I'm just, sponsor. yeah, well, yeah. just curious who the sponsor is. Then, it should, know, it's a pretty nice looking stick. He seems like he should have some. Well, he's not in tournament play now, so he doesn't have to advertise for. <laughs> yeah. What's that going on? That's your. No, just uh, that's uh, me. No, it was uh, yeah, wrapped in a little bit. Oh, the cuff on my yeah, thanks. Nine in the side. I'm surprised he played it that yeah, way. I, yeah. There wasn't much room for error. I never saw that nine in the side coming. Oh, no, he but that works eight, real good. Eight perfect. Uh, Laura Berg is saying that uh, Hayes was sponsored by Mez, so I'm guessing that means he's playing with a Mez. Okay. Well, that's one fancy Mez. Jesus is Mez sponsored. Oh. I guess there's a lot of action going on right now in the tournament room because you probably got about 20, 30 people here spectating, and and if they could get a look at this match here, this place was standing room only two nights ago. You were here, you said, right? Yeah, Bobby? we were. Yeah. You were, in, you were in the room well, here? They, yes. They just said that up, um, Chris Reinhold's playing right now against, um, I already forgot. They just said upstairs. A few minutes ago. I already forgot it. I just read it. And I yeah, forgot it. I just read it. Oh, you got the you got the brackets here, right? Don't you? Yeah, I have them on my phone. What, what was the name you were looking for? No, this is the they're gambling. Who? Oh, 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 up in the action room up there. Well, somewhere it's because they said Chris Reinhold's playing a race of uh -huh. fifteen or twenty with. Uh, and, uh -oh. I, and I forgot who it was. Well, we got a push coming here. Yep. You know, he if if that five didn't Shane Wolford. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what he's playing. Okay. That young kid plays good. Yeah, he just made the Moscone Cup yeah, uh, this year good. too, yeah. Well, I assume he's gonna push he probably push right to the short rail in the middle. At least he, but you gotta leave the cue ball on the rail so you you don't ever want him getting to the bottom of the cue ball. Do you think he's gonna push where? Down down here. I would go to the nameplate in the middle, right where he's standing. You know, that way you force them to cut one way or the other, and then you lose a cue ball. Oh, right. But you got right. to, you've got to leave it on the rail because you don't want him to get to the bottom of the cue ball. Then he can play yeah, position. Right, right. So yeah. you put on that rail, and he has to go forward. Um, I don't think he'll get this push back. 
uh, you can't. And you know, I there's too much stuff to hide behind, right? I think, yeah, I, I would never give it back to right. him. Right. You know, matter where he puts it, if, right. I, if you can see the whole ball, he, he'd be sick if you let him shoot it and he locks you up. I wonder if um, they're allowing jump cues here in this matchup right I don't here. Know. Most people are playing. I see Laura Burke says that most were per. Yeah, I agree. A, couple, a year or two back, everyone blew it with a uh, predator but now there's so many cues makers making these uh, carbon fiber they're, they're all getting sponsored you, you know what and i mentioned mike lambros before uh he started making them and he shipped yeah. a whole bunch of them overseas they're now. just uh, taking over he gave this back because he's got very little pain here you can see if he can he's gonna jump it sure is called it inside well that wow, if, that, if he jumps out he's only got like a four inches lane that'd be a great shot well that answers the jump cue question right Unless yeah, that's yeah, his break yeah, cue. Yeah, yeah. No, Is a, that a shorty short yeah, cue? Shorty. That's okay. a little short, yeah. <coughs> well, well, I, don't, I don't like going for this jump. I'd he, rather... Well, he put it there, so he's yeah. pretty confident. Confident, yeah. Oh, oh. my God. You got to land around right on top. Is he going to keep it on the table? Good hit. And he covered and got lucky. He got lucky. Um, well, you might see another jump right here right now. Maybe. You might see it again. Wama jumps pretty well too. You know, with, with the with the luck factor, sometimes like this right here, Tony Robles ran a tournament, the Predator, uh, the Open Pro Ten Ball, and it was call shot, call safety. So in that game, he could have said, "Shoot again. You got lucky, and you hooked me. Shoot again." You know. Oh, you got lucky, yeah. yeah. And uh, I still like the old way. Yeah, yeah. And it, put the know. push out. Oh, nine ball. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you make, if you make it, get lucky. You keep shooting. Right. You win on the break, which they don't barely do anymore. That was a Mez uh, jump cue. Joel says, "Well, it works pretty good. That's for sure." A Mez prototype. Thank you. Yeah. Does he have a? a I was what, well, before the point to I spin it? I was thinking it? before the side. And yeah, and spin and it, right? You take it, you decide the one. You and, get a good and, chance of putting them behind the and two. And soft stroke it, sure. But you're going right. You're going Don't right. go in the pocket. Right? As long as you don't, you're going right at the over that uh, area. Yeah. So I I guess he's not going to jump this. He has a one reeler that way. And that's a big ball, right? That's a big ball right here. What's he going to accomplish he, going that way? Yeah, no, he just doesn't want to scratch. Nice yeah, hit. But, but there wasn't any. F what a solid hit. Yeah. But, but, you know, there was no future in that shot. Yeah, you know, I understand. So you, you almost couldn't get away with it. Yeah, the other way, yeah. You, and at you, least the you, other way you had a chance of you, uh, getting, uh, getting out of there. You pretty much figure yeah. he's going to get, you're right, yeah. Uh -huh. Take a chance on not scratching and, and lock him up, right. Uh, uh, Scotty Gerald says, or uh, Christian Nestle says, he's learning a lot. I'm hoping they're not being sarcastic. Well, that hillbilly information before was real big. Yeah. You know, I'm he, gonna, he gonna had look, some good tips in there. I'm going to look up his stuff. You're back in the chair, shake it off, and get rid of everything that's negative, you know? That's and okay. he's, he was adamant about talking about that stuff, he, how important it is, you know? That's, that's tough, though. Yeah, it is. Did he go? He wants an angle if he can get it. Can he? Is he straight oh. on it? He's, he's got enough to stay off the rail. He, yeah, he's got to stay off the rail, but now you're a little limited on the, getting on the five. Oh, I mean, he'll just stop there maybe. Oh, no, I know, but now you got to come with a lo another longer shot. Yeah. If he needed any angle at all, he, he could have got two, three feet closer. Oh, he could bounce down to the side pocket now off this one rail, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. it'll be good on the six. Yeah, I just asked this. Just get down pet, halfway down the table, and you'll be good. Yeah, you don't see any problems here with the man. I'm thinking maybe he'll play this seven in that left-hand side, come around three, short. You like that? I never like playing for the side. Oh, I love the going short here. I just never it, plays for the it side. Let you, let, you don't play like I do. But no, I play. I would let's, like, oh, my God. I play for a corner always if I have a choice. You know, this was a big miss right there that at four huge. to two. Yeah, that was huge. He had five to two almost locked here, you know, and now Wama's well, back in it. And I hope I said that right. Not and not like he was out of it, don't get me wrong, but that is a big swing a big swing. All right. You know, five five two and four three. Four three's even. Five two is so. so this is game <coughs> game seven with the eight ball for the win here. 
Is he getting the eight nine or just eight, eight nine ten? Eight, yeah. Nine, yeah. That's a ton of weight. But his last two breaks, maybe oh, three, he's oh, made oh, nothing. Oh. His first yeah. break, he broke and ran. Thunderous, the, yeah. the thunderous breaks. That's a good yeah. break. And the echoes in here a little bit too. This room doesn't have any curtains on the wall to observe the sound. His the racking. acoustics ain't the greatest, I don't yeah, think. Racking is thunderous. Yeah, he had his. Uh -oh. This is a, a, uh, a Q-Tech he plays with? Yes. Boy, they've come a long way in the, the last three, few years. Well, all this is uh, yeah. courtesy of Omega Mike, who's, who, oh, yeah. who donated more. Yeah. Very generous. Wow. Very generous. Well, I haven't seen that here. I haven't seen that here. I've never seen that anywhere. Yeah. I've never seen generosity in pool. Eight, ten ball. Ten on the side. And a, and a shot, shot on the one. Oh, yeah, but look at the two's going to be ugly. Well, that's at least straight, you know, and I, I imagine he's probably going to play that combo. He's going to play the 2 8. Yeah. For the win. Oh, that's right. Oh, boy. Oh, I forgot about that. Good point. Good call, Steve. Yeah, you know he's playing it now. And that'll tie it up. That's a, you know, that's a quick two games if he gets it. He might be able to get the cue ball behind the seven after he hits the two. Oh, oh save. play the two way? Yeah, play, you played it two way, yeah. I imagine you'd like to get as straight as you can here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice hit. Straight in now, all three. I'd say I'd say he's close enough to his work here that he's what is he, eighty percent here? With the I don't maybe wonder, just wonder if you can get the cue up behind the seven as a backup. Yeah, he doesn't have that now. Oh, wow! Did. Fired it in. It didn't roll off, did it? Ooh. No, nice, nice shot. That was th that was a great shot, yeah. Well, I mean, nice shot. With authority. Tied up. I hate the way he bangs the balls around with his shaft. Yeah, I know. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Is that because it's the carbon oh. fiber and you don't dent it or what? Maybe oh. I wouldn't do it. But yeah, no, I would never know. I was doing that with Pat Fleming's cue on his table. Just a tip, just touch and, and move. And he, and, he, and he told me, don't do that. I said, Pat, I do that all day long in the field. You know, he, he was, it was a new cue, but well, this guy's wild with it. We just tied up 4-4. Four, four. Now watch that 6 and 7 in the side. Let's see what happens here. There goes a seven, 6 ball. There it goes. And um, uh, bank on the one. Would, oh, no, he's got the cut. Yeah, he'll cut that. Yeah, and the two's lined up. Look at that. So, and look at this. This is a nice layout. He, he could take a lead here after being down, what, 4-2 he was, right? Yes. Yeah, he's in good chance to, to get out here. This is key right here to get around three rails short. As long as he gets by the He eight. got short. As long as he gets by the Oh, eight, don't. It's a race. Yeah, he got it. Rail first. No, he just since this is, and he's on the three. He could do a rail first. He'll come up perfect. Stop in the middle diamond there. Very nice. I guess everybody thinks that uh, maybe... The state of mind is you think Jesus has the upper hand here, but you shouldn't think like that. With, an awful lot up. Especially with the 8, 9, 10. And th this guy's not, not a slouch by any means, you know. No, you have to watch him play for the last couple of days. Yeah, you know, maybe it's not a coin flip, but, you know, things happen. Well, you were in these big money games here, Bobby. Games like this all, all your life, correct? Well, not in the last 20 years. Um um, perfect, perfect. And and, uh, and w the highest amount? Uh, the highest I ever played? Yeah. Before? I'm just curious. I'm not a big gambler. I, oh. I, like, I played a thousand games. Oh, okay. That's about the most. One pocket. One pocket. Uh -huh. and, you know, I, I played a lot of like you know sets, two two thousand dollar sets. Did I miss something here? Is it five, five four? four. He, five just four he just ran again. Thank you. No, that's two. He's broken wrong. So he's in the package here. Wrong way. Score the one the wrong way. Oh, you did it now. You got AL. Fix the score. 
He did it back. Um, Jesus needs one less. 5 4 the other way. Yes. Yeah, Guama's, Guama's got four. No, Guama's no. got five. I'm sorry, you're right. Tencio. Guama's got five. Yeah, and Tencio is four. Thank you. Dry break. Where's the cue ball? And the cue ball. Guama's got five. Right. It's five four. Thank you. Sorry about that. Now the Wolford match is 21 16. Yeah, I see that. What did they say they were going to? 25? Uh, to, to 15, right? Yeah, f no, no, not them. I'm talking about this. The match uh, upstairs. The Wolford match. Oh, the, oh the, I, I'm, the paying, I, match. I'm not even looking at that yet. I'm looking at this here. Mm. Who's he playing? Chris Reinhold? Reinhold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I played him two years ago here. Uh, I watched this kid, Chris, run like an eight-pack in ten ball on YouTube and Facebook or something. I was impressed. He, he had a good run. Maybe, maybe it was more than an eight-pack. I forget. Yeah. It was pretty strong. They're going to 30 in Wolf Wolf for Rat, it says there. Thank you. So, uh, Jesus is, what uh, is, the, uh, the nine, the three goes by the nine. It, if it goes by the nine? And he's got the angle it over. That was a nice touch. Yeah, boy, can he reach? That was, yeah. Well, he hit it perfect. Yeah. The problem here now, look, he's, how's he going to get on the four without playing a combination? Can he, I don't think he, you know what I mean? He looks like he has an angle. Well, the combination looks like he can hit with a shove as long as you yeah, hit that nobody, six. Yeah, right? but nobody wants to shoot a combination mm. if he can go forward. He Well, he could come around uh, yeah, that's what can he get two rails and get and play it in the left-hand corner. He'll come, unless he's just going to take the combo, right? I don't know if I know. Yeah, he's just going to go for the combo. Uh, yeah, well. You getting ready to give up on us? Oh, I thought you were going to watch. Oh. Uh oh. Well, even though we're doing this Lost match, it. we're doing this match. I'm still representing the shark stream. This is a dead. This is a. Oh no. Get your shark stream this underwear is on. Twenty-four. You know what? This is almost a dead bank if you hit it for. Oh, the five's in the way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd be. T I think I'd be. Two rail in the Two rail to the bottom. Double rail. bank. Nothing. Double bank to the side. You like it? I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I'm to, kidding, wouldn't man. Make it, no. <laughs> I'd be trying to put it down here by the nine ball. Your backer's going to love it. <laughs> That's why I don't use backers. <laughs> I never played with backers. He's got to be careful here, I guess, right? Is he going to thin it and come down to him? No, he's going to two rail it. Oh, he's stopping on that. Look at that. Oh, that was nice. Wow. That was really nice. I never even seen something. You know, that was... I think if he missed that ball, would you still snook at him? If it didn't catch that second ball? If it catches the first ball, you leave him a shot. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He Is came he out good either I way. Th I think he's jumping. Oh, I forgot about the jump cues. Uh, see, I, I don't like to jump from here. Okay, what if you, unless you, if you don't make, oh, he's banking it. Well, you have a fairly easy kick with a pretty good chance of a safe if you go two rails behind it and kick it from behind. This way, if you don't make it, what are you going to leave him? He did this before, remember? For, and for no, you know, it was... Same thing. I mean, it's like, well... And you have to call it any, anyway, I believe, right? Is it a cool shot? I think so. Yes, it is. Well, that came out good. I stand correct. Well, he can... You know what? He can send the four up to the five and, and roll up... Yeah, try to get by that, the Stop by under the ten there. By the nine and ten. Yeah, right. Down there. I don't love it though, because he got to cut the ball. Well, I think so he's, he's calling gonna, something. I think he called it off the rail, off the nine. Oh yeah, oh he has that too. Yeah, you know, Steve, rail first. It looks like he's got the whole four ball or whatever. The, yeah. yeah, he's he called the four. Is rail he, first off play, the nine. Is he playing the four nine? No. Oh he no, he did safe. play this. He played safe. Oh, he left him a shot off the rail. Wow. See how he jumped up and he hit it? Yeah. And he still makes it. That was a good shot. Uh, let's see. I bet. I, oh. Well, if, you know, from there, he make. He makes it the seven tougher. passes. He does it nine. so often, it's unusual oh, when he doesn't oh, do drawing. it. Oh, he's drawing back. He to, mm. for Better be careful yeah. that yeah, eight. He got it. Good shot. Then get the uh, eight in the side after this. 
Was he winning about four or five in a row right here if he makes this? Yeah, it was, it was it four, was to, four two. to two the other way. Yeah, this is four unanswered here. Oh, wow. Not packages, though, right? No. Hey, well, he ran two in the middle. Yeah, he's run two, but not back to back. Right, right. Okay, 6 4. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, I thought he was going to get locked behind the 10 again. <laughs> not used to this. 6 4. This looks like it's going to be over in about, what, what 40 minutes? I think it was going to take, take these guys too long to get a race to 15. Then. No, they're not wasting any time. The question is whether they're going to do it again. Well, they're doing it solo. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're, we're going to go in and, and uh, Bobby's going to take over the booth here in the Agreed. commentating, right? I'll show you where the bar is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, it's, the bar is closed right now. What? But every bottle of liquor is over there. Now, you could walk right back there, but there's cameras everywhere, of course. There's some good liquor back there. Bobby, you want to go grab one of them models? They got some Knob Creek bourbon over there, and we're in Kentucky. I'm fine, thank you. Um, one it's another dry break for Wama, huh? He had to hit it good, too, didn't he? How do you get on the and two here? Seven balls at the top of the table, and nothing's near a pocket. Yeah, where are you going to go with the two? Maybe just. I play safe. Yeah, lock up on the seven. I go off the right side of the one, try to put over behind the. You know, you got eight blocking balls over here. You know, I try to bank the one out behind the four and cue ball. Go over. Down there behind the six, eight, uh, six, three. But. Oh, he did go around like that. Oh, that's not good. I like it. Yeah. He, he may have some paint here. He might have a little bit. Might be able to get him off the side rail behind the 10. Yeah, just send the cue ball down send the bottom rail. And leave him. You got a lot of traffic up here, too. Look at that. Man, he's got a window. No, that was a good shot. He got really fortunate. He, yeah, he did better than I thought he was going to. Yeah, I mean, he got fortunate. He got to that. He hit, he hit the position so bad on that ball. Oh, he didn't get him. Yeah, that's a little uh, short. Another safety coming up. You stop on the five and send the cue ball thin up by the seven nine. Pet, use the seven nine as blockers. Or you what? play the two off the five not. and draw the hat back behind the green ball. Always. Oh, well, or well, you could do that. Yeah, you could, that's the simplest. <laughs> that was the simplest of the whole bunch. Yeah, yeah we snoozed it all. Guess that works too. Better. Yeah. Does he have the two railer here? That's kind of tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is tough. Two rails? No, you don't have that. I don't see anything. Well, else. I don't see anything else. He can't even tie anything up here. That's what I, I try to tie stuff up on in situations like this. Back uh, the six back up into it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the problem with that is, Steve, then you got a ball in hand and the two, you're going to yeah, send but, the two, put the cue ball behind the, the fives, nine, you know what I mean? But, 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 but he was going to tie something up, but he was going to uh, yeah. not hit, get ball in hand, ball in hand, hand yeah. anyway. I think yeah. he's forced right now to go for the somehow two rail that. Out of the corner at the two. Because anything he leaves with a ball in the end, he's locked behind the five in the next ball. No, I understand. If he had an easy tie up here, it, it might work, but he's in a bad way here. But he's giving Jesus a hard time here with this four and answer games here. Yeah, yeah, well, he's taking over. There's no clock here, so you don't want to be rushed to 20,000 points. He's going to tie. He's giving separation. Yes, yeah, so he, uh, well, the three is, uh, he's got to get on the three in that left-hand corner now. I put the cue ball on the other side of the two, thin it up, try to put the cue ball behind the stripe, uh, behind the uh, the green ball, and then the two stays down here somewhere as well. And if oh, look, you're look, going to play a safe now? Yeah, off the, off the other, I'd be on the other side of the cue ball. I yep. go off the top of the two. You've got the six, three, and five, and, and if you get it behind that six oh, right. ball, yeah, I see you're, you're forcing saying. him to kick, kick again. I, I right? see what you're saying. I don't. I think he wants he's to. Yeah. Oh, he's going to short side of the three. Wait, or he could shoot it and play for the three in the top. Yeah, in the top the left corner. Right. I mean, that, and that might be better. better. Try, That's better than anything. Longer than scratch. Try and go between the five and the side right. pocket he's there. He's going to get. There. Yeah, he got there. That was perfect. Uh, well, right. over. No. Too much. He still has the. He has, still has it. And 
And that's the four over here on the left side in the middle? Yeah, I think so. So he could stop on the seven here and have the four in the lower corner. Yeah, I think so, too. And slow it down pretty good. Yeah, I, thought, I like that. As long as he hits the seven full. Oh, did he call a bank? I think he called a yeah, bank. I, think, I, I, think, think, I think you got to go for the cut. He has a cut, right? Yeah. But you got to hit the seven almost full. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not even hitting the seven. Is he trying to draw around it? Oh, he, oh, he left him on the diamond. Well, he's got a window. <coughs> How's he doing with the even four? If, even if he makes it, what, what, what is to be gained by that? What do you do? Back kick and stick? He's backing oh, it over oh, no, here. He's, oh, he's banking down here. Mm -hmm. Low. Oh, two-way shot? I think he's playing safe, and he's yeah. just, just having a call. Two-way. You got to... Well, there's a window between the 9-7. I wonder if he has it. Oh, he's looking down here for the kick. Yeah, look, he's got it. I think he's got it. That little gap there. No, nope, maybe not. Well, I hope... Oh, he's calling if the I'm, side. If I'm his opponent, I hope he makes it inside because the cue ball is going to be behind the 9. Oh, he's letting it go a little bit here, ain't he? Yeah, he hit it firm. Is that a win? He's got paint on this also. He doesn't have the ball, I don't think. Is he shooting at it? He's got a hit, but he can't do anything with it. Well, if, he can, if, if he can't make it, I I would bank it back at the 9-7 at the and try to put the cue behind the... Over here being the eight, oh, eight, he, eight ten. No, he gave it back because he made the ball. He made the ball in the wrong yeah, pocket. So in the wrong pocket, He just wanted yeah. to see right. if he could do something with it. He couldn't. Right. He's so, going to try and cut that in the lower right-hand yeah. corner. Yeah, Guama got forced and he made that ball, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know how to do it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ooh, he's on the roof. Easy back kick, though, right? Except he's jacked up. Makes it a little tough. Though. Yeah, yeah. But I do. I like the back kick. But once you get up in the air, and he's not very tall, this could be a stretch for him. What are you looking there for? Really? Oh, he sent where, we, where he's going to send it to? What's he doing? I don't know. I think he's kicking I it this way because he can hit more of the cue ball. See, wow, look at that. Uh, uh, Take my like, watch. Looks oh my God. That was a pretty good shot. A real nice shot. And he's gonna but he's gonna he's gonna thin this as well. If he can hit it. You gonna slow roll this? Can you do that? And yeah. trust it? You better have a good tail. Can, I don't, uh, can he hit it? I think he has paint on it, but off the rail over there and slow roll and it might be a scratch and everything else coming back, right? I don't see anything easy way to hit this. No, ball. no. If he can't hit it shooting at it. It's tough. You mean to the top row? If, if he can't, yeah, because if, if he can't hit it right straight at it, how's he, he's got to make oh, a really going a three, three wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three wheeler. There's no easy way to get to this ball. Let's see. No hit. Okay. Now everything's opened up. <coughs> Whoa, wheezy. We could turn that mic off when that happens, sir. <laughs> it goes right. That was loud. So that. So his eight doesn't spot up back up. Uh, oh, that was the eight that got knocked. Maybe in. they're snoozing it. I don't he, know. He, yeah, he's snoozing it right now. You better figure it out. Well, with ball in hand from here, you don't expect. Is that the eight? Maybe way up top. That's a six. That's, a That's six, what six. I thought. Well, then the eight was in the corner right there. Yeah, maybe they snoozed it. Not a customer well, spot. Man, that's stupid if he did, because he's getting the weight. It's his job to remember that. After he shoots a seven, he's going to wonder where the eight is. <laughs> yeah, kick himself. Oh, he's in good shape now. Played a nine on the side, I guess. Oh, the same pocket. Yeah. Seven. Well, I didn't expect this. 
It looked to me, I thought Intensio was going to uh, have the best of this. And you got you got the. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Alan won't go wireless. No, it's supposed to be a, a, a better connection. Okay. So they say. But he's, yeah, these wires are a pain sometimes. That's five in a row. Yeah. Four. Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah, and and. Four, four to two, four to seven. Yeah, that is big. Jesus. Five ball. And no shot on the, a shot on the one, yeah, maybe. Looks like it. How about the billiard on the 110 combo here? I wouldn't put it past That's him. That's staring me in the face. I'm playing it all day long. Are you? I see it. Yeah. I think you can shoot the one to make it. It's going to go right at that 10. Yeah, right. You can. Well, you can only call. You. Um, you, you can only call one though, right? I, I, I don't understand how that went. I think he. You, I don't understand when they shoot the he, one. And so he's calling the ten, okay? So does if he missed the ten, does he get to keep shooting? Nice. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That that would have been a harp. Yeah, that was a nice oh. shot. That would have been a burn right there. When they call that in cards a bad oh, beat. Oh, what's that? Six in a row. Yeah. Eight to four. I was hoping to see Buddy Hall here this year. He, I ran into him at the expo a few years back with, with Upstate Al. How's he feeling? He, well, it's been a couple of years now since I've seen him, but uh oh. He tried to overhit at that time. Look at that break. He yeah, made one ball, but uh, I don't know if it was a money ball. Eight, nine, ten. No. Nope. They're all on the table. Here's a nice layout. The one to the two, though. Yeah. And and he needs to get on that right side, that long rail. Or or down below, right? Yeah, just but get, but the one's blocked. He's just going to get by the six. He doesn't have any of the bottom pockets for the one ball. Or the well, or th I think he's going to draw it. Yeah. You know, just, he's just got to get between the five and six or past, get to past the six because the two's a hanger. He just has to get past these balls. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, that was a nice shot. He looks like he's gonna he's gonna go between the five eight and play the three on the side yeah, now. Like that's a, yeah, that that looks good too. I want to play that shot. Now he's got to come with a pretty good shot to get on the five. Let out the stroke, go up the top rail, and come around. Yeah. Two rails, yeah. Uh, that, I, I would think he's going to do a one rail off the top rail. Oh, no, he's going forward. Oh, he is. That's like going forward. You may have to worry about I wasn't going to do that. That, that was the problem. That's what, what he said. That's what I was saying. He had to get by the seven. Yeah. And look at the roll he got out of that. Yeah. Though. Pretty nice. Yeah, he got real fortunate. He doesn't need to, a bigger spread than eight to four right here. He needs his game. He needs the game here. He got real fortunate. Catch, yeah, he did. Catch, yeah. catch him at seven and still getting a good shot. But he's got to be feeling the pressure because he's, you know, he's a guy just lost six in a row. He's playing pretty loose, it seems. You know, he's same demeanor, right? You don't know what's yeah, going. Yeah, doesn't look panicked. You, yeah, no, you don't know what's going on upstairs, though. But. See, I guess when you get staked, you can uh, be looser. See Lucas over there. You could stake me later if you like, sir. You got. You said you're talking about how much money you had. And stuff. Much Steve, money is that right? He's Steve? loaded. <laughs> you got that Guilford hunt money. Oh, Guilford. Yeah, when you live in, when you're from Guilford, yeah, you know what? Good point. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in an expensive <laughs> town, but I, I live in the poor section. <laughs> Guilford. Yeah, I've been through there. Boat shows I go out that way. Can Guilford? Norfolk right. Boat Show. All right. That's eight to five. How much more do you want to do? Want to finish it? Yeah. It's 
going quick. I can't turn. If you're chatting with us, folks, uh, the screen black oh, yeah, now, so we, we can't answer you. We don't see it. So I can get it on my phone again. Being joined by a minor celebrity here, Gene Hunt. All bent bundled up for Windsor. Where's Gene Hunt? Right behind you. Hey, I can't turn around. Hi, Gene. How are you? Yeah. Gene was in the booth with me the other day. How you doing, bro? Yeah, last night. Oh, yeah. oh, it was last night? Yeah. Well, it was the other day to me because I don't remember. Pull, we'll pull a chair up if you want. It's good. Here we go. Thanks. Ooh. Careful with the mic. Don't, don't grab it. We can hear when you grab the mic. That's all. It just it sounds like thunder and all that, you know, you know the deal. We try to, you know what, we, we, we did the guy a favor. We let him in here, and this is how he acts, you know. You know, forget about the three hours of road stories. We don't care about that anymore. See, yeah, it's all forgotten already. Yeah. <laughs> we threw you under the bus, mister. <laughs> that was a hell of a session, though. Tough crowd. Oh, here's a minute. Well, that's the two up top there? Say that, Gene. Oh, that's the six, okay. That's the four and the six up there. Mm. Right. What do you see here? You should you got bad on the three. Yeah, this is not good. Well, I would cut the hit to the right side of the three and try to put the cue ball up by that butt corner and put the three over here on the long rail behind the nine. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, exactly what he's doing. A lot of traffic up there. Yeah, but you have so yeah, he's got so much stuff in the way. Oh yeah. Well he had a good good cue ball. He's got a one he's got a one rail into the Long rail. He, he can go to the long rail on the right side. Yeah, it looks like between the eight and nine. Looks that looks bigger. I agree. Yeah. Ooh, that, oh, those, the, the, the little, we'll call them points, okay? Points, yes. You want to call them nipples. He does not want to hit the No, he wants to, he wants to call them nipples like somebody made a mistake. Who was that? Kim Davenport. Kim yeah. Davenport called them nipples by accident. Not a nice hit. <laughs> Uh-oh. If he was trying to make it, he needed to hit before the side pocket. I would like seeing hit a little farther. Well, you're not playing this in the side, I don't think, on these four and eighth. Any angle is is like they're ugly. The the side pocket shots with any kind of angle. Yeah. You think he? You think he plays it in the side? You know, I would, but I'd exp I'd hit it short. So if I miss it, it, it goes up there behind the four seven, and if you make it. There's really no future of making it, is there? If that's the four. Yeah, oh, he see, played the safe, yeah. yeah good a, move. A, but I thought I would. I thought he could. He could have tried it and, and all, done almost the same thing. Well, he did pretty good. Oh, he's got the two railer here, between the five six. Oh, he's got the one railer paint. I think. If he can get behind it that way, that's what I like. Boy, it sure doesn't look like but it. But he doesn't look like no. he can get around there. If he oh. goes, if he goes that way, yeah, I think so too. He oh the top rail, yeah. I, I like going the two rails off the right side, and then try to kick yeah, the and try and stick right and there. If you hit it solid, you, yeah. you should come out of it pretty. Oh, good. he's going. I don't know. I, he's got to really he, spin that to get behind that ball. Yeah, he's got to spin, and he's going right to the top middle diamond if he's going that way. But that's a lot of spin. I like. Well, let's see. I think can yeah, he, he wants to spin. Wow, he's calling it too. It must be further off the rail than it looks. It is. It is. It's. It, it's he it's only, a has, good, he it's only has to hit the middle diamond. Yeah. With some spin. Yeah, he'll and, cut, and he'll cut. but not a lot, of, not a lot of speed either. He needs that English to take good, yeah, right? Yeah, hit the bite. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll never know. I guess he pushed it, out. It was. <laughs> Are they playing push out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the two railer back kick. I, I I don't know. I would I would have been more comfortable with that. But the ball was probably running into the seven too. Maybe not though. Can he just roll it and hold? No, I guess not. What am I missing here? Beer. Guinness. You got the four in the corner, then five inside. 
Guinness. Is that the four right in front? That's that's it, it right. I thought it was the one down there. Yeah, that's you the, that's the eight by the side. You can lose some of the color sometimes. Yeah. That's the six above the no, I think ball. Yeah, the four is on the spot. It's the seven. The four is on the spot. I was looking at the seven. I yeah. thought the seven was the four. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I thought the seven was the four, and he got that on it. Everything's not, everything's easy here, I think. You know, nothing. Do I do this for? Nothing's tied up. Play the seven in the same corner. Six, so. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, yeah. He still got it, but. Made it interesting. Boy, he sure made it tough. Well, where's the eight? He's got to stay up top for he's the eight, the right? Side. Oh, oh, he's okay. Even if you let the cue ball loose, go around the table if he needs to. Yeah, yeah he shouldn't have had to work. This shouldn't have been hard at all. <coughs> yeah, he, he got you know, Something a little wrong. careless. Yeah. Yeah, he only had to go six inches. I do like these extenders, they screw into the bottom. Yeah, I, I could use one. one. It's yeah, that thing on his head is sharking me. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's run. just, it is what it is, man. <coughs> That's a nice shot. Couldn't hit that much better. Well, he fought back a tiny bit, a couple games. Yeah, eight six. Right. He does look smooth though. I think. I think. Yeah, like and relaxed still too, right? Yeah, he looked, he looked so good at the table. All oh, business. So listen, Bobby. After you're done tonight here, at, 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 stay till three. I'm gonna go. All right. You stay here with the Stevie here. Shut all the stuff down. Okay. Shut he thinks down. he's leaving. You know. Shut it down. I'll unplug Shut it. Shut it down. He's gonna put it for sale. He, 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 there's a plug <laughs> right You find here. it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> that plug right here, I'm pretty sure is gonna do some damage. We're, we're gonna find it on eBay. <laughs> Bobby's up to his old ways. <laughs> where's our boss? <laughs> He's out smoking his brains out. He's a cigarette smoker. I, I yell at him all the time. They're trying. You see what the cigarettes cost in the... In the 20 yeah, bucks. $20. <laughs> What'd you get out of the street at the so store? No, no, no. Alan hit the machine the other day. I think twice. The sucker. Yeah, and, but I'm saying you go to the gas station. It's, yeah, it was six fifty. The gas station is like 12 miles away. Well, still six. <laughs> six well, well, yeah. yeah. It's a stretch up the river to get there. You got to go into town. Yeah, nothing's close here. I, I I was supposed to drive somebody to Walmart so they could pick them up a car, but we haven't got there yet. I Eight ball. God, that was a beautiful break. Eight in the side. Squatted the cue ball. Look at that break. And Still a wide driving. open table. Oh, the three ball's a little funny. But the three nine combo. Oh, he's not doesn't get the three. I got the eight ball back. I yeah. Remember to spot it back up this time. So now what's he got? Oh, so he may have to cross side this three ball. Yeah. He's got to play the three cross side. Anything else you're going to be, and it's and they'll have a good bank on it. You would play for a bank like this, wouldn't you, Bobby? Yeah, but I'd be just right, to stop I'd, right there. No, I draw it back about a foot. Yeah, but and if it doesn't come out right, you leave him an easy save. Kind of like, mm, like that. Yeah. So he's got the shot. And if he didn't like the way it come out laying, he's got an easy save to it. Yeah. No, but it, if it looks is that a straight across? Or yeah, he's going to play for this. To, for yeah, if it's to, a straight across, and I just and just cinch it. Yeah, there's no safety play here. Uh, he doesn't look like he's, he's trying, going to, forward. trying to make it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he Very had nice. a good. Very nice. He got lucky again. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> that was a nice. That was, a, that was his best option there. That five, six, seven could be a problem. Five. Oh, yeah. The se well, the seven passes the nine. Yeah, but get, you know, from the five to get to the young guy, the six to get to the seven could be... It can be an issue. Yeah, he needs to get the middle middle of the table here, off the five. Yeah. Bounce two. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he'll get back to the middle of the table. Yeah, uh, I think I would have liked a little sharper angle here than this. 
He could go back back and forth if I, he I wants. Would, I would go back and forth. Yeah. Go just like that. that. That's nice. And he's a little straight. No, he could draw straight back and play the seven in the lower right corner now. Looks like If it. he wants to. Oh, no. Maybe he's he's got that angle going up table a little. Let out the stroke here a little firmer. I think he's coming back. Oh. Pretty good control. I thought he had to swing on that one, you know, and go up table and around. Two rails. Yeah. These tables draw so easy nowadays. Back in action. It's eight seven with the yeah. break. Yeah, you may get what cheeseburger, cheeseburger? Yeah, he put a to end it at barrage, six in a row, and he answered with through three of his own. And mm -hmm. breaking, uh, winter break here. It's winter break, so. He got back in it. Very nice. Very little safety play here, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's not a lot. Yeah. Wamba just left the room. Probably taking a break. I'm going to time out here, folks. Um, Looks like it. Well, he might, he's, uh, he, he's probably going to keep, hey, oh, he's here? keep going. But Wama left the room. Wama left oh, Wama left the room, right. And we're over uh, waiting on him to rack. And I'll leave it at that. I was going to go over to the, the bar box action over here, too, right next to us. Well, I, think it was he, a, I think he's still going to play by himself. Yeah, probably won't. I mean, he's racking him up. Oh, that's right. He's at the he table. Doesn't, he doesn't have to wait for the man he's to got enough people watching. Yeah. Yeah. The bar box action here was a race to nine for 400 over here before. 400 points. They're having trouble tighten, tighten up the... Uh, they've yeah, doing a lot of tapping on that head ball. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like when they... They want them... Down. You know, and one, uh, the move was, the, uh, Bobby, and you might notice, the move was with the 10 ball um, rack to feather the one and make it look like you were tightening up, but you were ab actually separating the 8 and the 9 behind the Getting one. The right gap. And, and it changes the uh, tangent line to the side pocket. Uh, but I haven't seen too many people do that li lately. It was cheating, in other words. Well, I call that gamesmanship. Well, I guess he's waiting. <laughs> I guess he's going to wait for him to come back. Yeah, it's only fair play. Oh, he's no, back, I mind. think. That's all out the window. He's breaking. <laughs> Watch that 8 9, folks. Side pocket. Nine ball. They got it down. Oh, it was a practice. Oh, practice. Oh. She's made the eight and the nine. I right. should I should give him one more point now and scare the other guy. <laughs> Unless he wins in the break. That was just a practice thing, correct? Same. He didn't make a ten ball down the break, did no. he? Okay. No, he, I didn't want to snooze he anything. Did, he made a money ball though. He made Wama's. I think it's he not made his the eight though, and the nine. Yeah. Oh, he made Wama's. Yeah. Good break he's got. Yeah, they both do. Yeah. Nice. Man, he looks a lot smoother. Mr. Yeah. Smooth? He looks smooth. Yeah. I don't think Mr. Smooth looks smooth. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smooth needs some caffeine. No. So I guess he's still practicing. Nine ball. Oh. Nope. Dry break. Ow. Ow. My ears are killing me. Oh. Me 
too? This is uh, just practice, folks. Uh, Mom was making a head call. That's Navy talk. You, Marines don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. They know words like latrine. Is he here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, real bad. Not the dry break. That cheesecake come with a Coke? He only uh, did well on that first break with all his practices. You know? He hasn't done anything since. He only, he only uh, nailed it the one time. Right. Eight, nine it's on the side. Ball, nine ball. Eight, no, eight ball. Yeah, see, now he, oh, there goes something. But. <laughs> back in business. Yeah, I didn't see him come back. Off the eight and the side. Who's got cheesecake? What do you say? Joe went to go get us a cheesecake. Joe's a good guy. You want some? If he comes well, up, if he comes up with three forks. Well, are yeah. you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> Does anybody not want cheesecake? <laughs> we'll have to share it three ways then. No, that's Joe. okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. I just want one big bite. <laughs> Somebody uh, brought some by before a cheesecake, and it, Al, Al had, had it. it was very good. Out of uh, Binion's. Is it Binion's Steakhouse? Yeah. It's not Binion's. It's it Gordon Ramsay now. Gordon Ramsay. Oh, it's okay. Whoever we it was. We were there the other night. Yeah. Very nice. Are we doing that again? You and I you discussed wanna? splitting one. Oh, yeah. Not bad for a $30 steak, right? 30. 30. <laughs> the salad was 30. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on here? He pushed out. Tried to tie that up. Anybody else from straight in? What, what? Yeah, he tried to tie up the three. That he wanted to put them under the two. And and the two has a pocket. And the three does too. You know where to put? Oh, you know what? All Five right. to the six. All right. How about this? You, you shoot the two over at the three, seven, six, put the cue ball. Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta make the one first. Never mind. The two. The five doesn't go yeah. by the nine, also. Well, I, was, I, was gonna, tell. I was gonna play it safe off the two, put put it behind there, and, and use the two to break everything up. He's going for the 110, just annoyed, avoid oh. all this. Yeah, the five don't have a pocket, and you get a two way shot here. Tough yeah. to get the five to six, so just. And you put them on two. What is he doing? Putting them behind the seven? Yeah, yeah he's gonna good. put them on two. Three, rather. He's gonna try and put them on three. Well, that was well placed. What do you see here? 
Nothing good. Doing Can he go straight across with English and spin it? Oh, he's gonna have to, I think he's got the match safe. One reel, yeah. He's he got the one reel. Get it around the eight. He's lucky to have this right here. Yes, he did. I thought he locked He didn't even have to jack up. Nice, nice hit. I thought he locked he got, up well, there. Well, he really got lucky to have that hit. Well, I put the one up top and the cue ball behind the three, six, seven. You you're not, not going to get on that five. You don't want to cut that one in? You, you're not, you're not going to get to the you, – you can't make the five. You're going to cut the one. you got to let the cue ball run. What, what, I'm sorry. What about um, what about the uh, the cross-corner cross bank and you you got all the blockers there if uh, you what, miss uh, it? Which ball? The one ball bank. It oh, you, oh, you can make the one. Straight back in. But as long as that five's there, there's no reason to – you don't want right, to make it because yeah. you're not getting out. Yeah, you're not going to use the two to bust it out to try and get on the three uh, either, right? He's got because a you're gonna, you bump into that, you're going away from the three. Oh, he's got a back kick here. Yeah, but he's going to leave him with some kind of easy hit. You know, he, he couldn't get away. With, oh, I was wrong. Well, he got an easy hit. You know, and he could hit this and draw the cue ball back a tiny bit behind it. You think? And, and, yeah, I mean, he played well. It's like a play one, rail first like draw or something? Shot, the one rail, the rail, right. draw it off the rail, it comes back a bit. Yeah. And that one's going right towards the two. So now if you get the ball in hand, you got a wall you can lock behind over there. Yeah, I see what you're saying. He needs to get back to the rail he's here. Got, he's got to get this back to the rail and back again. Right. Almost to where he is now. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's playing it safe here. Oh, that's that was nicely that, hit. That's what I meant. You had to draw it back that yeah. inch or two. He actually, well, made it a little easier, but. Well, the five. Five has to go the other way now. The five, well, or the five-nine combo if you want to get Ooh, daring. Yeah, that's ugly. Can he shoot the five by the nine? Actually, he, he'll he be on two if he misses this ball. What is he? And, and uh, Jesus will tri he's got to put him on three, try and put him on three. There's no sense in trying to bust things out. Uh, oh, he's got the one reeler. Yeah. Yeah. No, he now he's on no, he two. So where do you go now? We got a lot of traffic to hide behind here. I, put, I, well, I, I might shoot the one and play the safe off the two, or you could, if you can get the cue ball behind the six and three is your first choice. But I don't see it easy. I think I'd be shooting from the other side, shoot the one up here. Well, I think he's going to run the one. Two. Maybe he's going to try to run out. Maybe the five goes. How about shoot the one two? See now he opened up. Well, that's not bad, but bad angle. Yeah, I thought he could have shot, shot the one two and then played the safe on the three. He could, he could you have, know, he could have. I think when he opened the five up, he was planning on running out. Got to make a nice shot now to make the two and get on the three and not hit the points near the corner pocket. Or he could draw the cue ball over to the nine and send the two down table and put him on. Got him on. He's that's got a good him on safety. Two. He's got him on two. Yeah. That might be the move right here. Oh, he's banking it on the he's, side? He's, he's, he's going to draw behind yeah, the Yeah, he, he's playing safe. But he's just calling the two on the side. But he's playing safe. Yeah, just lock it, lock him up on that nine. And he wants to, if he wants to get that kill. Oh, he doesn't want to hit he that wants, seven. He wants to get the... Uh, there it is. Yeah. Very nice. Got right. the two railer now. He got him on two. This is always heartbreaking, getting caught on three. For 20,000 points? For anything. <laughs> yeah. For table time. Yeah, really, yeah. Nobody wants to get on no, three. It's vicious, yeah. Really? Look at this. Well. We had a friend of ours today playing in the tournament, and he didn't realize he had the guy on four, and he didn't call it. This is, wow, this is tough here. He hit him good with a good one here. Uh, is he looking at one? I don't know what he's looking at down here. He he thinks he can go to that right long rail somehow. Well, if he can, then he, that means he's not against the nine. Oh, to, oh, you know what? He's going to two gonna rail it and well, back kick the, you know, long rail, long rail, and then try and hit the two that I way. Think I think. He's, I think he's trying to mess, up, trying to mess up around it. Oh my God! He didn't miss it by much, you well, know. He hit it. He just didn't get a rail. That's the game. Wait a minute. They're that was three. three. That was three. They must not be playing three fouls. Or he just didn't pay attention. That's great. I would be paying close attention at 20,000 points. If I was Guavo, I'd be pretty happy. Somebody on the sideline might pick it up. Maybe they're not doing it. Speed up a little. Yeah. That oh, oh, what, what was that? Made seven tough. Er. What, what was he trying to do? I'm still, I'm still 
buzzed about the 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 on three here. Well, he's butchering this these balls. I don't understand this at all. He's making it tough. I don't understand why he moved the seven. It was a hanger. It was perfect. Work. Yeah, look where it is now. now yeah. he, and he's getting harder on every ball. Yeah. And he's got him on three. Yeah. Nine, right? You know that that has to be the call. Maybe there's no one three. Maybe there's no three foul rule. He's going to play in the corner, Steve. You know, at this rate, he, with a little top spin, he'll beat the scratch. If you hit it hard, it'll scratch. You got to hit it really soft, so the you know the cue ball goes, goes through, through through the five a little bit. You know, this cue ball's a little heavy. But you can't hit it really hard. You know. Nice hit. Well, oh, hit that shot, nice. Oh, good. He'll get. What pocket speed on this, and he'll be. Yeah. This is what I shoot with a little bit of a slide stroke, so it doesn't bounce when it hits that rail, you know. Like a drag draw. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, but not hard enough to draw, just right, so it, right. it dies on the rail. Yeah. But so yeah. once again, I I still don't know why he ever moved a seven on the first shot. Yeah, it gave him a lot of extra work. Yeah, but he's make you know he's so good, he makes it work anyhow. Get ready to tie it up here. Halfway home. Race to <coughs> race to fifteen. Sorry. Race to fifteen. Sorry about that, folks. You know, we got a rookie here. Oh, okay. So yeah, right, right. I understand. Yeah. Okay, this is for the tie and breaking. But. They've been going back and forth, huh? Six, and now this one again kind of comes back with, with his four. I thought that Guamo was running away with it for a while. He won't think it was. Six, six games, I think? Yeah, it was six in a row. Yeah, it was six, and now it's six the other way. No, now it's four the other way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Guam, uh, Jesus, Jesus had, uh, had him four. He was four to, up four oh, right. was up four to two, four correct. Eight, yeah. 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 That's a quite, that's quite a string of games for you know a, a game of this magnitude. But this kind of, yeah. you don't usually get swings like this. Yeah, right. Four games and, and no packages yet, except for maybe a two pack. Yeah, I think it was a two. By the other. By Guamo, yeah. By Guamo, yeah. All right, let's see if he gets his break back. Because in practice, he only did it once with the eight nine in the side. I'm something the hillbilly, hillbilly, hillbilly. It wow, was, it was great. He's talking about a 34 mile an hour break, 34 point point something, right? 34.7. Wow, that's I think the best I've. I already done. found the video on YouTube. I'll be watching that later. Uh -huh. Did you? Make sure I remember yeah. that one. I'm gonna get home. I want to know about it. Oh, this is tough to get on this too. You can get come around. You know what? He can get back to the middle of the table here. I Two rails. Yep. Yeah, I think. He's, well, he's going inside. He's, he's going inside, inside, yeah. I think I like it better uh, than drawn two. What's that nine? But came out of it pretty good. It was real good, yeah. Played the three in the same corner. He's in good shape here now. And now we're getting Wait a closer minute. to the end here. Wait a minute. A lot closer to the side Whoa. than he needed to be. Whoa. Is the four down there? I th no, the four's up top in dead yeah, center. Yeah, I mean right there. Oh, right That's there. a six right. ten down here. Right. Three, four, and five are all right there. Yeah. He jumped up again there. You see it, that? It's, it's it kills me. He does it more often than not. Yeah, he keeps making them, though. Yeah. He's going to go forward, play the five in the same corner here. Go forward two rails here. Oh, but not running got a it. piece of it. Yeah, that was sloppy. Yeah. You know what? He'll play this in the lower left-hand corner and stop on the seven here. Run into the seven, correct? I wouldn't want to run into it if I can. I, I think he can draw it to the sh long rail and back to the middle. I want him to hit the seven. <laughs> yeah, he wants, he wants to stay above the side. 
Yeah. Oh, you do? Any, yeah. Anytime you bump into a ball, you always got the chance of it going wrong. Yeah, it's just... Something. It stops on the rail instead of bounces off. It seems, yeah, but it's more fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is more exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. I will say that. <laughs> Not for his backer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he might be betting his own. He won enough yesterday to do it. What? Yeah, oh, what? Yeah, so he won, uh, had a good day he here? He won 43,000 points yesterday. In the... Uh, in, in Upstairs. The, wow. Who are... Wow. 43,000 points. 9-8. God bless America. Man. <laughs> All right, 9-8. Oh, that, that's right. It's a game. I forgot about that spot. 8-9-10. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, one more with the break. Seven ball. Nice break. This this room really echoes, doesn't it, the break? Oh, look what he's got here. That's a tough two ball here now, I think. Oh, maybe not. He could just stop, run into the nine almost, and and, and hold it there. That's a two down here by the eight. I just can't tell if he has any angle at all. A problem is if he hits the oh. nine at all, oh, he's the, new, in the nine's going right to the two. Oh, oh, he oh, he's, well, took it right out of play. He sure did. That was, I liked the way he did that. I didn't. And I an didn't, angle to get to the three. I didn't even. Think, really? You think, think so? Yeah, I think he does. He might have to yeah, play the short it down, side. No? Looks to me like the short side. Yeah, he's got to play the short side and roll down. To me. No, no, maybe not. Now he's drawn it, so maybe he. No, I can't see him drawing it. Straighter than it looks. I saw Mike DeShane take a shot like this and draw it 16 feet. I, I knew I didn't have that stroke. Mm -hmm. Put he, everything into he, it, huh? He had a powerful stroke. 16 feet. But he drew. He got bad on the ball, and he drew it to down here and all the way back again. I could do that, just not one shot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I missed what happened there. He missed the shot, trying to make. Tried it, to force it in. And he tried bobbled. to make the angle and, and missed. That's about the first ball he's missed. Then. I don't think he's missed too many. I bet the accuracy stats uh, in this have been pretty good. The TPA, yeah, yeah. total I, point average. That's the first ball I remember. Did he miss so that, that's really? yeah, that's well over well over 900 TPA, yeah. So they put a pretty good bump in the set. You don't cross this, do you? Look at the three. What's the difference anyway? Right? I, 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 well, I don't I don't see what you, you know you can do. You can draw play it off the nine and the draw, side, draw, draw the cue ball into the into three. It, right. Way. Yeah, but it's getting close to the end here now. And Guam is up one game, 9-8. Everything good? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I had one of those. Where is it? Soda? Some vino. Right here. <laughs> Just enough to get me home. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. He's good. He's not shooting. He called. That? I guess he called that. Oh, shoot. He, I'm sorry, folks. I, he he wow. did call it. He's huge. Look how he ended up. Oh wait. Oh, they're saying how it what? it should be call your pocket, not call your shot. Correct. But now we're gonna have a discrepancy here. Yeah. Somebody's saying you didn't say it was going off this ball or that ball or what. It's so we're gonna. Hey, Seuss. Oh, hold on. One second, sir.
They already okay. settled it. Okay, we're back. Sorry. All right, folks, we are back on audio. Mm -hmm. So what had happened was the players came over and wanted to see the footage. They checked the footage out, and everything settled, and they're back in the action. Give it. Give it. Give it. Don't mind me, folks. If you hear a little munching in the background, it's Bobby Hunt. <laughs> if you guys want to check the footage out, just grab the line where it, you know, comes up where it says you're live, and you could always go back and forth, and you could see exactly what happened. You could zoom in too. Okay, now it's tied up here. Am I on here? One is out. Jesus has nine. Okay. He, he just tied up again, nine nine? Yes, nine. We're tied at nine. Tied at nine nine. So what are we going to do? Race to six. Race to six for 20,000 points. Look what you did, Joseph. Look at you. Look, you, know, you didn't see me staring at that, waiting, hoping you didn't finish it. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. It's great. You got all kinds of munchies going on here. Building up an appetite all the time in this booth, you know. Um, remember... Uh, uh, Jose's got another game coming. Yeah, he's going to fix it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're tied at nine. That was a really nice three in, three in the morning. You throw this away. That's what time it is? No. About quarter What's it, about 11, 12? How about, how about three? Um, I, it it went fast. It's it went fast. 255. It went fast okay. like... Or just the score's 99. They just haven't updated it yet. Yeah. There was discrepancy over what was called here before. They got straightened out. And Thank you, Joe. It went to uh, Jesus' favor, I think. Watch the break. Watch that seven and six in the side. Seven. Boom. Nope. Dry break. Two ball. No. Thank you. Dry break. And a shot on the one. Wow. Yeah, where's the two? Right down here in the lower yeah, right-hand yeah. corner. He could stop right there, and he'll have a window for the two. That's a small, he's, he's small, jacked win up. small window. Yeah, he's jacked up and everything. Mm. Oh, he hit that ball. He hit that nice. That was, yeah, that was just, nice. let, and he seemed to let it go a little bit, little, didn't he? You got a little problem getting to the three, too, now. Is he he's gonna drawing try, this up, too. Is he drawing straight back? Maybe, yeah. Oh. He miscued. <coughs> miscued. He had a miscue because that wasn't yeah. any other thing explained that. He's upset here. Yeah, I don't blame him. That, was ten, that mean, that's like 10 9. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. What, what are you going to get? What are you, nuts? Don't give him anything. This Gavon, look at him, che cheesecake. Oh, is he still? Is what do you mean, cheesecake? What do you mean he doesn't want you to get any more? <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. Thank you so. Thanks for the cheesecake. That was a real treat after sitting here all night. But it was a big miscue, especially at this time in the match. Yeah. You know? you well, know? we well it's close at least, you know. It, at one point, it seemed like somebody could have got away from somebody here. There was a four-game gap here. And then a the, the six-game. There's been a lot of gaps here, big spreads of, I think, four games and six games. He bumped that out nicely. Now, yeah, but it, oh, boy. I hate, oh, he's, I hate. Not, he's not on the roof. No, but he's tough. Yeah. You're going to run in and hope you got to come out of it okay. You don't shoot this with some inside? I just cinched this ball. 
Yeah. That's tough enough. I don't like what he tried to do. I'd rather see him play safe than haphazardly going to balls like that. One, I can, oh, I got I Don't snap at me, Junior. All right? I just clicked it. Boy, man, snapping at me. I'm not, you're not my boss, okay? Punk. Well, that was, he hit that beautiful. I like the way he drew that back out to it. That was nice. Yeah, that worked out nicely. Peter Genovese. Peter, I don't, Peter. Friend, he's a friend of ours from Connecticut. It's, a, it's an amazing two ball he got to get out of the last red, guys. Genovese. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. I, we were talking about them before, the old gangster stuff, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> Peter, Peter, we just got the chat room back up, so I just see you spoke. How are you doing? Peter was uh, involved in uh, Ultimate Billiards years ago. Yeah. That was a beautiful room. Oh, he, yeah. He won the U.S. Amateur twice, too, if I recall. Well, he, that's a hell of a feather you can't yeah, yeah, he was a, quite a player. Uh, and, 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 and he probably started in the Veloci papers, you know, Genovese. Yeah. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> Now, what's he do here? Do you think he... Run I, I roll forward and roll, shoot the nine in the top. Yeah, you don't want to always draw it. Well, I'm a little afraid of drawing it because then you got to worry about the side pocket. Yeah. But it came out perfect. He did it great. He was close to his work. He's going to play the 10 in the same corner, huh? Isaac said he's going to stop it dead. Oh, he did. Right. Yeah, he got, it was easy to hold that ball. Okay, uh... 10-9 Asensio, Al. It just went, yeah, uh, 10, Asensio just took the lead 10-9. It goes back to that miscue. How big was that? Mm -hmm. A two-game swing plus? You know what? The way this has been going, this, this, this is a uh, coin flip right here. Of course it is. It's going to be hill-hill. break for those that are just joining us jesus has given up the eight nine ten the eight now uh to guama at twenty thousand points race to 15 and it's cool shot i can't see yeah i'm sorry yeah i was gonna peter i hope you enjoyed it you're not just being sarcastic uh, but thank you very much if you really did. Eight ball. Uh oh, look at the six ball. Let's see. One. Mm. Well, that two was ugly. Is that the six or is that two? No, that's it. I think the two's behind the ten, isn't it? And he'll have a billiard, maybe. Oh, no, he doesn't want a billiard. Oh, yeah. For him to make the I ten, he does. You can move this. I can't see. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. What's that, second time you told me in the last ten seconds? Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> what mess with you? Okay, let's see. Uh, well, can he make it in the side off the off the uh, yeah, off the strike? That's what I was looking at. Uh, I mean, he, he wants wow. he is that's that's tough. You know what he could do to I, what I safety. Would, I would not hesitate to three rail the one back around the table, put the cue ball behind the three. Well, but I know I sometimes I'm too conservative. But he could just make it and 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 free now now we just send the two up and roll up on the ten, he, right? He could do that too. But I think he wants to. I thought he looked like he was trying to play for. It that. looks like he, he he got where he wanted to for it for the billiard here. A rabba, uh, it's the eight nine ten. The eight out. Yes. Yeah, but he's got. I mean, call, he's got to call everything. But you know, that's what he's getting. This is tough. I would play the safety here, I think. It's almost automatic. I see Tyler Nearing saying you're the last of the true gamblers. Who's he talking Some to? Some Guam or somebody, somebody wants to bet on somebody here. Oh, oh, I see. It's not us. 
Oh yeah, he likes Jesus from here. If anyone likes Guam, I see. I see. Somebody, somebody with some sarcasm. <laughs> okay. I think. So is, is is he looking? Is he thinking of caroming off the back of the stripe? Because it sure doesn't look good to me. I, I might give a thought that if you can get the two past the stripe, put the cue ball. You know. Is, Always, always looking for the oh, yeah. for the hit off the ten to that, make the two. That's what yeah, I meant. Care if it goes, then the position on the three is pretty easy. It's automatic. Yeah, that's automatic. Yeah, if it does go, I didn't even look at that a minute ago. Yeah, yeah that's a good shot. Yeah. It's small. Nice shot. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Watch whoa, that. Whoa, whoa. Boy, well, they stopped well, just in time. And the four's down already, correct? Uh, yeah, the four's yes. gone. So he's right in line here now. Yeah, three, four. The only thing is he doesn't want me straight in on this five. He wants a tiny angle to get off the rail. Yep. I'm, well, he can shoot the six in the opposite side, correct? I can't see yet, but. I think he's going to shoot the six. Oh, yeah, no. And I want oh, he, he could draw it up a little bit. Just then shoot it in the corner. Yeah, just draw it up about a ball and a half. Yeah. And it'll slide over for the seven, right? Yeah, he doesn't want to go too, too far. But he's just. Just doesn't want to be on the rail. Yeah, I would. Any, anything else you can make work here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to bend it, bet against him from here. He's nah, looking this, good. This boy doesn't make many mistakes. And this game is going to get away from Guam in a minute here. This goes back to that miscue. But yeah, yeah, right. Cost him two games now, right? Yes, maybe. And he's maybe other, three now. And the other guy's still shooting. That was huge. That's always been the way, though. Always yeah. a mistake cost you two games, right? Yeah, you're supposed to get penalized. Yeah. Remember in the days when we went on the break. Anytime you dog the nine, the other guy always made it on the break. The next You're time. right. It was always, like karma. Always, like karma. Yeah. You're being puni <laughs> and, punished for dogging. And it haunted you, too. Yeah. And you expected it. <laughs> yeah, you did expect it. Murphy's Law. I was like I was like playing nine ball in the break wins. You know, the way we grew up. Whoa, that um, came up. That's here's a that's tough. Here's a safety and use the eight nine as blockers if he it's automatic almost. See it? You mean the nine ten? Yeah, I mean yeah. I'm sorry, nine ten. Look yeah, at that. It's yeah, like a fence. That looks pretty simple. Maybe he can draw up. He got really bad on that shot for such. Oh, a he's reason. calling it too. Oh my goodness. He's going in, Joe. Oh, I hate to bet my money on this shot and getting good on the eight at the same time. For me, I'm playing the safety. I would, I would too. For me, I am. But he, this kid's awful good. Yeah, look at Ooh, that. That was how pretty. Good, how good he hit that. That was pretty. Yeah. Very nice. Well, this is straight in in the side, but it's when when you're down to the four and eighth pocket, it's just. Scary at the angles. You know, after he the one he, he's going to play it up top. Yeah, after one he just cut in the corner. This is a hanger. Any other table, you would play this in the side, but not here. Not unless. Yeah. Not. not. Look at swish. Nice touch. Swish. That looked like it was coming. Yeah. Moving a little looked bit. Looked like it was, yeah, it was just just drift out. At the very the, end. Now he's got the 10 in the side after this nine. How great do these tables play? Yeah. You know, it's it's really eleven to fifteen to, to nine. Eleven to nine. Yep. And Jesus is up eleven. And he's got the break. Thank you. And breaking, yeah, now. We've got a two game deficit. Wow. And the, yeah, the break. This that's hard to come back from now. This took the wind out of Guama's sails right here, it seems. Oh, yeah, he, he hasn't been up in a while. The and what was it you said? What was it? That kick before you said he that, missed. When he he missed, missed. You would remember. Oh, that's right. And he hasn't shot. And since. now it's three games. Yeah, yeah. Break, yeah, but he hasn't shot since that yeah. time. And and since that, it's, so this is a package still. I'm not sure. Does he run three or just one sit three? I, I think he broke that the last two. I, I think. I think. Yeah, he, I, 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 think yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. So this could be a three pack coming think, up here. Yeah, I think so. If he gets this, this might be the three. Yeah, it might be. Look at Lucas. Look at Lucas. Yeah. Hey, Lucas. Look at that 8-9. Oh, the eight goes in the side. I was, I was hoping to see uh, Lucas play some. He's fun to watch. 
him here. He, but yeah. he's been a little quiet these last couple of days. He's, he's been duck, like Lucas it, yeah. has been ducking me for quite some time now, you know. Uh, and, uh, well, I guess you could think that. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I don't think Lucas will duck anyone alive. Kid's got a lot of talent. Yeah, I wish him all the best. Yes, he does. He should have made a right turn and stayed in college and got a master degree in something. Yeah. I told him to go to medical school. There you go. <laughs> all right, I'm just in the box for a few minutes, guys. This is Bobby Hunt and Ed Colhane and Steve sitting in the background and here. Really. And Joe. Uh, oh, Joe was in there too. You guys really, I mean, I'm listening to it right on the other side. Yeah, you know. Lucas, I, I don't quite understand, Lucas. Usually uh, you're, you're woofing. And we're just. Uh, He's a straight shooting young man. Seeing Guapa sure for the first time out of his chair in a while here. Yeah, he sat for, he, he missed About three games. And lost three games in a yeah. row. Well. And boy, he needs this game. You don't need it. Wow. Well, <laughs> 11 to 10. Look at Lucas. <laughs> Lucas says, I think I made the right turn. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Good boy. He's a good kid. He sure is. He's a straight shooter. I don't know, something about this Eleven since ten. I sat down is a fuse lit underneath this gentleman's foot yep. right here. He's got back to 11-10. He's happy. To be oh, wait a minute. He might d dodge trouble. Oh, that was it. Oh, he gets that, the eight. Yeah, that's yeah, eight. We, we keep snoozing oh, that. Yeah, okay. We, 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 well, they snoozed on in himself, too. Oh, well, yeah. They made yeah, him a mistake. Right. And he, that's right. He, he didn't spot make the ball, spot right. it. Yeah, you, yeah. They slipped on that one. I guess it doesn't come up that often. You play it this, with this oh. eight, nine, ten. How'd you like that? That's a big I'd spot. Just like that. Yeah, 88 now. Yeah. It's not like this guy can't make a ball. Yeah. Uh, Jim Monday, I I agree with you, and I hope it keeps going like this. I've been watching these pool organizations for 50 years. It's time we had a good one. It's time the players start getting paid. Yeah, that's my point. That camel tour is pretty good about 30 years ago. It was. Yeah, I yeah, loved it. That, it lasted three years, but that was a, the best tour I have seen in my life until now. Well, the IPT wasn't a bad tour Yeah, either. but that was that, that they, were, they were slow on paying the money out. Yeah. You know, that, that was kind of... Uh, Kevin Trudeau. Yeah, well, he was a little slick. Yeah, he double slick. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a slick guy working with him, too. Yeah. He must have finished all that time they gave him, didn't he? I think they caught him in Switzerland or something, didn't they? Yeah, but he did, I thought he would like, got like six years. If he was out, I think Mike Siegel would call me and tell me. But I don't know. I don't know either. He probably ran up with all the money he grabbed selling those books. Yeah. And people uh, would empty it, in their accounts out. Yeah, they were believing him. Yeah, oh. they did. Guam with the break. Wow, wow hard what a nice break. break. What a nice break. Mm, come up dry. What's going on? Nothing went in Ooh. on that break. Wow. Oh, and it's rack your own. Oh, and the two's laying right by the side. Oh, so he. If, uh, he's, if he's, that two in the side, then he. Uh, one, two, three. You yeah, know, he's going to have a problem with the seven. Actually, seven, yeah. Seven ten looks like it might. It go. might be wired down in the corner here yeah, on the right. Yeah, but up to that, I don't see any other pocket. That yeah. Goes in. How about the side pocket? How about the seven ten combo? Well, that's what I said. The I side pocket. Or, or, you know, or the seven ten combo. Seven, ten, but the combo. seven nine wow, combo. That's three times that's you said the same thing. Just shut up, Al. Seven nine combo. Al's going to start here, and now we're. All, we used to say Johnny two times. I'm going to get the paper. <laughs> get the paper. This guy is triple deck. Oh, oh, wow! It's a good shot. Get the papers. Get the papers. Yeah. Does he have earphones in so he doesn't hear anything? Probably he hears us. Upstate gives him good news. Oh, yeah, he's got the uh, the, the Apple uh, earpods. They're the best. Yeah, I got them, too. They're so good. do I. You know, Al? Yeah. When I play, I want to hear everything in the room. Because if you got your ears blocked and, the, and Mr. Sucker pulls in <laughs> and you sleep on it because <laughs> you don't know what's happening yeah. if you got your ears blocked. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I always want to know everything yeah. happening. Well, this is new school. I know, I know. Yeah, I, know. These yeah, I wear them. I wear uh, them a lot if I can. They don't let you do it here in Derby. I want They changed it. You can't wear them when you're playing. Well, I don't blame them because I'd be giving my man signals. Yeah, but I want to do it because I'm sick of hearing the chatter from everybody. You know? <laughs> and, and sometimes they got the disco music on. I lose yeah. my mind. Is Are Tommy you, Jr. watching? Did he comment at all? I haven't seen Tommy come, but we lost it for about an hour, so he may. Tommy goes to bed early. Well, he also rises early, don't he? Yeah, he did. Well, actually, he got hurt the other day. I think he's out of work right now. 
Yeah, he did. He got I hurt. hope you uh, he got hurt have a Godspeed recovery, Tommy. Yeah. Just in case you do hear us. He's one of my favorite people. In Tommy, pool. who was that? Tommy, 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 Tommy Jr. Seminaro. Tommy Simino. One of my favorite people in pool. Wow. He can tell stories. Boy. Oh, my God. He has more stories than me. <laughs> so he's, he's not in ICU, I guess, now, right? It's over. He's uh, out no, of that? He's home. He's home. Oh, good, good. good. Yeah. Well, get better, mister, if you're listening. Yeah, Tommy's got more stories than I do. No and kidding. He's, he's half my age. Wow. <laughs> don't be telling me stories because I don't know who you're talking about. That, I, I think that's a little exaggeration. <laughs> wow, look at this. He's going to bump the if seven. He, he is, did. If, look at this guy. Al, if he played that, that was a great shot. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, he hit it right in the face. He, oh, no, he hit it beautiful. Yeah. I, that didn't even occur to me. I thought he that, played. No, the seven doesn't clear maybe the nine. Well, I thought he would play for the six to break the seven, but to do it off the five was good. Oh, great, see, great the seven job. doesn't clear the nine, I don't think. Yeah, just waiting for the last ball to break yeah. it open is yeah, kind of risky. That, but that's how I oh. do it. Then if they're not laying right, I duck. You know what? The right, seven, right. The seven does clear the nine. It clears up the top corner right, too, the top right corner, too. He's going forward. Yeah, he's going, yeah. And now. So I must go inside yeah. if he did that. And then he'll fall good on the eight also Whoa. with this angle. Did he lose that? He almost home? overshot. He may have. I think no, I, no. It's, he, he can just roll it. I don't think he has to fire at it. I think it. he has it. Can he make it? Yeah. That 10's not in the way. No, I think he's got it. No, I he's good. He well, he's not whining, so you're probably right. He only needs about half the ball. Yeah. Boy, it doesn't look like it goes from here. Pocket speed here. Does he go to the low round? No, just roll just it. Just roll yeah, it. That's there you go. And this is going to put him back to ahead again. Now, now, wait a minute. He didn't, he didn't win yet. Yeah, Al, he didn't want this. He didn't want me straight. Yeah, this he is funky. an angle to get them the nine. Yeah, this is funky. Any he, angle at all would have fixed this. He and you really don't want to fire the eight that hard. No, to, you're you know shooting what I mean? in a snug pocket. Sure. And, and, you, and hit, in order to get off the rail, you'd have to crush this shot. Yeah, you don't want to take no chance so, like so. that. This is a four and an eighth pocket. And that yeah. might be about the worst thing he could have done. He probably position. just took it for granted that the yeah. nine cleared for the side pocket. Yeah. You know? And that's the See? problem with yep. doing that. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Good call, Bobby. How, how good is this? 11 left. Okay, going to tie it up right here with this eight ball. You know, and if they get to Hill Hill, the double in the bed will be for 40000 Yeah, and they're doing it without some of your commentators. There's right. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they there's, are. There's three of us. Right. No, no, there's four of us and here. The, and the, cheese, no, and the rest of the cheesecake. No, there's four of us. <laughs> that dog, that's gone. You can forget about that, Jack. <laughs> okay, tied up. That was real. Tied up, Al. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, food always comes up in this booth. Don't ask me why. Probably because I haven't had anything since about... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Caesar Southern Indiana Derby City Classic. We got a packed house for all around me here in the Action Stats Arena. And let me ask you guys, are you ready for this next match? Oh, anyway, it don't matter. <sighs> Getting ready to break. Okay. Well, I'm going to the break. Yes. I wish I could do that. Why did he break from there? I don't know why. Oh, what did I do? I'm sorry. I went why, to the wrong why, game. Whoa, what's, whoa, whoa. That's whoa, me. Pal. That's me. That's me. I'm sorry. How come he broke from there? I'm surprised he broke from there. Yeah, I don't know. Most why. people it, break it a ball off the sp about a ball off the spot, you know? For 10 ball, usually. Yeah. Whatever he did, it works. I'll tell you, the speed he hit that would just crush my ears. But he doesn't have a shot. He did, yeah, but he did. He, he lost the cue ball. And he had no chance on making those two balls behind the one in the side. Where's the push out, Bobby? I probably push over here to the. To the middle of the bottom rail. I said, I don't, I, we don't. We don't have that camera angle. Uh, um, yeah. Wherever you, I push, I, you always want to leave him on the rail. See now he leaves him off the rail. Now the guy can get to the bottom of the cue ball. Anytime you get to the bottom of the cue ball, you have many more options. Right. If, I, that's, that, if that's frozen to the rail, all he can do is go forward. Right. right. But that that and getting it frozen to the rail, I think I would have laid the ten on top of the three and frozen to the rail. Well, you, you might do that, but you the know? cue ball has sure. to be on the rail. Right. Good call. Oh, he got him here. He got him. That was a nice shot. He got him. Yeah, nope. Nice shot, right? Watch the five. But you see what I mean? He had he, he, he had so many options. You put a guy in a the rail, they can't do that stuff. He's going to jump this. Yeah, well, they, as good as they play. Is that the two right next to it? Yeah, he's going to jump this ball, I think. I would. 
made yeah. his best choice, right? Well, if he, yeah, well, they jump so good nowadays. Yeah. Yeah, I watched Jason jump, and it was monstrous. Jesus is a great jumper. Is he? Yeah, not as good as Fedor, but... And he's he got that height good. going, too, for him, you know? Yeah. Me, well, uh, I, I would throw out my back trying to do, you know, reach like that, you know? You know what's funny about that? As we age, I've used the bridge now from the center of the table. For jumping? <laughs> no, you just oh, reach oh, a shot. yeah, yeah, I yeah, can't I stretch halfway across. Yeah. So I, I'm using the bridge so much now, it makes me sick. <laughs> but, but when we grew up, though, we just climbed on the table. You know, I didn't even learn to use a bridge till I was 30. When we were in the boys' club, we, we called it the sissy stick because yeah. you're not a man, you're using the bridge. But we just climbed Oh, yes, we, yeah. We just climbed up. We were just, yeah. And Mike Seeker would stand on the table to make a ball. Mike Seeker, <laughs> yeah. He was four foot tall. And his bank he was, was sure. And that was, that, that was the deal in Elizabeth. He was gambling, he yeah. had the option to climb on the yeah. table. But, uh, they, oh, he just they, opened those balls wow. up. All tied wow, up to wow, one. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, but he got a he's, ball in hand. He's going to get the worst. He's going to pay for yeah. that. He's yeah, supposed yeah. to get the worst of it. He might yeah. go on three after this one. I would I'd certainly. Like, I certainly would be going for two, Al, at least. Oh uh, yeah, I would definitely like to put the cue ball behind the ten. I would too. You know, but you got to be careful. You don't bump that three ball. If that falls in, you're japping yourself. You know what I mean? I would be trying to go off the long rail there and spin it down here to the bottom by the eight somewhere, and barely move the one ball. You right, know, right. I like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like going right where he is there with the cue ball, thinning the one and send it right where his cue is there. He'll, you can he'll get have there. the six as a blocker and, uh, and I, just thin it. Yeah, that's it yeah, right but there. If, but if you can get it down to the bottom, then you can't kick off the top rail. Oh, right. I see if what you If you leave him over there, he's got, that's the the angle he's, he was, got the, he's got to get to the yeah. bottom. See? And even that, if he doesn't get behind the five, now he's only got a one rail kick. If it goes right. all the way to the bottom, he, he doesn't have to kick anymore. He has to go from a different angle. They need someone to watch this. I'm not calling it. You need somebody to watch this. No, we don't call anything. I want nothing to do with that. Stuff. Absolutely. That's their problem. You know what the good move is here? You get close to it with an iPhone and, and video it, and you can slow it down slow motion. No, perfect. I know they're going to. And you see yeah. every detail. It's unmistakable. Me and Pat did that in his office. Oh, no, I think it's great. And I was hoping he was u using it in it his store. It looks to me like he's shooting right at it. Oh, yeah, he, yeah he has, he's got it. Wow, good. He hit. had it. He had it. And that's where I like the cue ball, but he tuck it. Oh, that was why I like the cue ball getting all the way to the bottom rail. He got the worst then of Then he can't do any of that stuff. Right, right. Well, this isn't real good. I mean, he, he has the shot, but he needs to get up <coughs> behind the 5'8 here. If, if he's going to try to make it, I hit this firm and try to split the 4'5 because it, come, it goes two rails out of the corner right to the 2. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 what? I shoot this hardwood top right. It goes here, here, and it spins out of this oh. corner to the, towards the two. Oh, to go short? And, and yeah, if, I, if, I, you, yeah. if, if you know you can make the yeah. one. It's a billiard shot. Yeah, you're right. I see that yeah, shot. And if you get, even if you don't make a shot, you're close enough to play the first safe. He's not going to miss this ball, I don't no. think. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to. Just, there it was. You called it. His line was good, but yeah. he, he uh, missed yeah. the ball. Yeah. That's the shot Bobby called right there. And... Uh, he seemed to jump a little on that. Day. He had to hit it. He had to send it, you know. Okay, this is... I, I'm shocked he missed it. This is for a tiebreaker, this game right here at, at 11. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, he got bad. What are you doing first here? Ball. What are you doing here? He's just going to send this up to the middle diamond and send the cue ball under all I this think, traffic, right? You know, I think I spin this in the corner with a low left and get the cue ball down this end of the table. Yeah, yeah. Even if you miss oh, the sure. two, you've got nine feet of separation. Right, just send it up to the... balls in the middle of the table to get fortunate with. Send it up to the top diamond, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do it with low left, though, and draw it around. He's cutting it. Yeah, he's just cutting I, I spin Is it Is he in. really? I spin it in. Yeah. Nice cut. Yeah. Well, How's the speed? That's why I spin it in, because then you're down by you're down this end of the table. This isn't... Oh, that's the two up there? Can you... Is that the no, two that's up? the three he just pocketed That's the a two. six. Yeah, that's, he wants to get the three ball in the corner. What am I looking at here? The, th the three is over here. By the yeah, end this, the yeah, I thought there was a two still on it. He's going to rail first this? If he rail first it, he's going to draw it straight drawing. out. Because if you rail first it, you're going to... Wow. Look at that was that a good hit? It was close, I think. And I don't want to cause any trouble. It was a good hit. It had to be good to go for the ten to take that line. That's okay. right. Because if you hit the ten first, it would have gone to the rail and bounced out. I don't need Al laughing at me, by the way. No, just slow yeah, down a little bit, Sparky. Slow down. Calm down. You got a man next to you that can what tell you it's a good hit or not. He's been ducking me for years, this guy. 
Rob over here. I mean, oh my God. Quorum. It's late. <laughs> you know, I know I'm an old man, <laughs> but I haven't said no to one person in my whole life. <laughs> there you go. And that includes nine Filipinos <laughs> and all of it. I've never said no. I've lost a lot of times, but I've never said no. Good for you, man. Yep. And one of most proud of, I always bet my own money, which these players don't do anymore. Like, Who's the guy that did that years ago? Worth, I think, was the name. Tommy Worth? Best. Best is, wor is worst. Worst. Worst is his name. You mean Harold Worth. And, yeah, right. Played with his own money. and, and He was considered... Did, now, what did you know about him? Anything? Well, he was before me. You know what? Can we but hold up on that? Because this is, this is big. I'm sorry. Well, that was nice. I just happened to remember his name. He was worst was the best of all time, they say. Well, Some but he died at 33. Oh. So you, he, he may have become the best. Uh -huh. But he, I mean, he was a great player for like seven years. They said he always cha cha uh, waited for anybody to win. Oh, no, and he, he went he, after them. Well, a lot of us did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he... Uh, some people think he was the best ever, but he, it, died, he died too young. And it, with his own money, I understand, too. Yeah. But uh, let's see, he just let's see, he died at that's like way young. 33, 34. Yeah, that's the so you, you really haven't had time to get the credentials. What happened there? Just the health? Uh, I, I think it was cancer. It oh, was okay. health. It was something like that. Yeah. Not accident or plane crash. No, I didn't hear that. I think he just got sick. Got the wrong ticket. So, uh, one chicken. railer would spin here a little. Two railers. Oh, he's got the one railer. Nice hit. Wow. Wow. Nice oh hit. Oh, man. Look at this. Uh, oh, he's, oh, he's in trouble. Yeah. yeah he's going to lock him back around here. Where's the score in the bottom, Al? We're watching the game. I just, got the score. Hey, don't, Slow down. Just, what, you don't have Slow down. To, just Relax. say I'll put it up in a minute. You don't Enjoy it. Enjoy the game. God, he's going to get it. What's he putting the cue ball right back to where he is here, I right? I try to put the cue ball back here and put yeah. the four up by the six someplace. Yeah, that was easy to do, I think. Yeah. Uh oh, shot over shot it. Yeah, he lost control. Oh, but the six covered. Yeah. He got lucky there. But he got an easy I think he hit off. it good. Yeah, no, he, he was trying to hide under the 10. Yeah, if that's, yeah, if that stops four or five inches shorter, he's got a two rail at that. Yeah, sure. Now he's got a one rail yeah. kick. And actually, if it's, a, it's a one rail kick. If it's solid, he's got a big six ball. He might get fortunate about the nine ball. But, but I'd still rather not be shooting. See how if he leaves it on the rail like this? He forces your opponent to always go forward. Yeah, yeah. It's a one pocket uh, shot. You always leave the guy for a frozen. Wow, what a great hit. It's not over yet. Wow. It might be Sally in the alley. I'm not well, sure. Well, that was really nice. That worked out good for him right there. Because that was a tough safety kick there, you know. Can he hit it? I tell you, he might have left him Sally in the alley. Yeah, I think he can hit it right between the five, Ooh, six. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Pink? He's got paint. He don't have the whole ball. He's he answers like, his own question, Bobby. Looks, you know what? You know what? See, now it's starting, okay? Upstate now is will not wake up in the morning with the fishes. Well, he got a little foot. Out in the Ohio River, right out here. Landing on top of that ball limited yeah, a lot of his choices. Yeah, that changed it up a little bit. Yeah. He's got the bank either way, but. I don't try to make the bank, though. You'd have to play the bank back straight back to the, on the left side. In, yeah, but I don't try to make it. You're not going to get on the floor. But, but I like just bumping the eight with the four and leaving the rock down here using a five, six. Just roll this bank. Well, you can cut the... Oh, he's cutting it thin you here You can and cut the four down. and put it over the other way, well, too. We did play the bank. Either yeah. way, the same shot. He oh, made he, the bank. Wow, that worked out pretty good there. I stand, That's a strong shot. I stand corrected. That was wow. a great shot. You know, a lot of pros, Bobby, and you know it just as well. you got to put them in it to win it, right? This yeah. kid just well, went for it. Yeah, see, I, I, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too conservative. <laughs> yeah, well, I get that, too. At least he wasn't shooting over the ball because it was leaning out a little bit there. They made a good shot. Now to six now. How do you hold this? He's got to go between the eight and He's gonna ten, forward go and back and forward up, up top and, again. And you just lose a little left. You come back up towards his, the middle. Right. Or is he using right and going to go around that? He's, he's going around that eight ball. Watch it. Nothing wrong with that. Came up a little short. How he's, seasoned are these young men? Are these, you know, when we were younger, guys weren't getting to be top speed till they're late, well into their 20s. These kids are showing up at 18 years old. You know why? They're already, they got all the information. The fundamentals are there, yeah. and they're, they drill it in, and, you but, know? And, but you can just go on the Internet. And yeah. Stuff I had to pay money to learn, you can read it tonight. Yeah, we're talking about you, Lucas, in case you're wondering. 
you damn kids. <laughs> well, Luca's got a, a, a ton of talent. Hell of a talent. Hell of a talent. Yeah, good for him, man. You got well, you got a lot of lot of, lot of youngsters. There's fun. We didn't have fundamentals. We you just banging balls in. Yeah, you, you didn't get like say you didn't get really good till you were in your twenties. Yeah, yeah. Now they're. Is he just gonna go straight up the middle? Yeah, one rail up. Yeah, oh, I made it simple. Okay, this is the tiebreaker if he gets wow. out here. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we hit the button and you can cough with it on. Yeah, but if you're good. You, you're just gonna stop coughing. <laughs> okay, for the win on for the uh, I'm sorry, tiebreaker twelve eleven. Jesus, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at you, man. You're calling the match before he even makes the ball. Did you, you ever think about that? Going, she, yeah. I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. What's that noise? Uh, he, uh, he's putting the mic back on. Oh, okay. Bobby's putting the mic on. Bobby, yeah, Bob, yeah Bobby yeah. is. And this rubber thing keeps falling off. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that what it is, yeah, Bobby? I keep putting it on. I keep picking it off the floor. Don't worry about it. Next time the polls leave it. Okay. Thank you. We'll still hear you. You know it's going to go hill hill. Yeah, it'd be good to see. And double the bet? They sure will. Win by two, maybe? Or no? no. I like doubling the bet. Make it 40K. <laughs> I like going to bed <laughs> and watching it tomorrow on the replay. <laughs> Is it that time of the night, Bob? <laughs> Shane won 30 to 20. This keeps up. You'll be doing he an eight-hour shift 30? here. Shane beat Chris, I Pretty guess, close. Reinhold, yeah. Upstairs in the that kid plays good. Back when he was a junior was Chris. Uh, yeah, he changed his name. Chris, yeah, well, what was that? Was trying to sneak Imagine around. how you forget that forget already. It, you can never remember right now. I played him two years ago in Derby, too. Christopher Robinson. Yeah. Chris. Why did he change his name? Because no his real name is Christopher Reinhold. So why wouldn't he Chris Reinhold all along? Because when Matchroom got a hold of him, he had to come out with his real name. Good break. But why would he have used the other name? He didn't want people to know who he was. Uh oh, well, I don't know. Maybe he changed uh -huh. his name. The three got a window. John Francisco said his name was Robertson. Yeah, that's what I said, oh, right? Oh, so. okay. John Francisco's in the chat. I call him the Cisco kid. He's a Mama Luke that from New York. And, uh, I don't know what that means. He doesn't sound good though. He's a. Uh, um, I'm allowed to talk about him. He's uh, one of those. Uh, uh, that's between me. I can't do it on the air. <laughs> it's a ethnic joke. Meanwhile, that I was break his chops about being Italian. The old school when we used to bust chops about, you know, the Italian jokes and the Polish jokes and all that crap. Well, that was a great break. His stepdad's last on. name is Ryan Hall, and you raised him. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks for that Bianca. info. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, that's a pretty good move. That's very nice. Must have respected the man that's real well. That's very nice. That, three's, that three's got a window there between the six seven. What are you, what, Al, what are you doing? I don't know. You got, like, jet fuel in you. No. He, oh, he's got the cross here. Can he? Uh, oh, boy. We can, if, can he play the three up in this corner if he, by the eight? If so, it would be pretty simple. Yeah, he's banking it. He's banking it. But he needs to draw down maybe the five. To oh, I see. Very nice. Whoa, Man. whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd he hit it? Very nice. I thought the two was the one hanging in the pocket, Joe. That's why I didn't have, I didn't have seen the six ball around like that. Yeah, uh, Chris uh, Reynolds, he was, uh, he made the Moscone Cup team a few years back. He was on the juniors team when I was in Chicago at the time. Him, Christina, uh, Shane Wolford, they were all like, 14, yeah. 15 years old. Yeah, you're going back, yeah. Yeah. That was a touchy little shot. What is this, like a uh, eight-hour shift right now? I haven't worked eight hours my whole life. You did here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you want another piece of cheesecake, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
It really, I will send it really was pretty good. And I'll a nice, send. nice size piece, too. Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. Thank oh, you. He got the angle. He got the angle. Oh, he laid perfect. Now, remember, he missed the eight ball in his corner. That's definitely not oh. going to be hit as hard as he hit the last one. But he was, one. that last one, he was straight. He right, right. right. Sh whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, that wiped the rug going You almost gave in. the commentator's yeah. curse there. It looked like it. It looked yeah. like he was hanging up. Hey, you see this guy coming right now? Nobody in God's creation is going to give up their headset. Do you follow? 13-11 right here. Wow, what a match. We haven't seen uh, Guama in a while, right? We haven't seen him up there. Not a, this is a little oh, bit of a package here, or, or has he been? Hey, wasn't it 11, 11 10 And now he's going to hit 13, so he's he's got him beat him three of the last three maybe, in a row? Maybe. I haven't seen the guy in a while, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I think he's won three in a row. Yeah. Hell of a match. No noise, very quiet in here too. They're probably hearing us more than anything, you know. The spectators very a, quiet. Whereas the other night it was like mayhem. Right? Oh, this place. Yeah, was they, it was roaring in here. That was the biggest, the best thing I've seen. Most generous thing I've yeah, seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's nobody else in pool doing that. You don't see open bars anywhere. Ever. Uh, no. Never. And you took an open bar. At every and drink got be fourteen dollars or fifteen dollars drinks in this up place. There. In this place, if you go bust. It's probably more than $15 a drink mm -hmm. here. Thanks. Yeah, that's mine for my glasses. Thanks. Yeah, I had Steve getting me drunk looking to fight. Steve? Behind yeah. you. Oh, oh, yeah? They always want to pick up the old guys, don't they? <laughs> the old guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, with the break at 13-11. Winter breaks. And, uh-oh, my hat. Thanks. Right now it's uh, 3.35 a.m. 3.35? We're going to breakfast, what did I everybody. Do? Oh, that's right. Who is this? My cheesecake was my breakfast. What's it, who is this that's messing I've with me? I've been there too, Bobby. <laughs> this is Francisco, isn't it? It's got to be. Nobody. That's a... Johnny, Johnny. Johnny Archer. <laughs> I'm going to kick him in the ass in yeah. a little bit. He better get out of here. Another guy that's been ducking me for decades. <laughs> all right, don't, don't instigate. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I'll let that go. One, two, three. If he gets good in three, there's no reason he won't get out. Yeah. He's got just, he wants to be almost straight in the three. Yeah, right there. That way he can tap, the, push the five out of the way if he has to. Yeah, I don't like going forward like that. Because now you, then you got to work around the five. I think he's weighing out the odds where you don't have to even contend with bumping it, you know what I mean? Because if you bump it, you yeah. can bump it into trouble here. He breaks like this. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, he could just draw back to the middle of the table and we'll have it. I, and be he, able to play it on the left-hand side, right? I don't think he wanted... Oh, that's the... What is that, the seven up there? Okay, can, can, he, can he just draw it straight back and play the yes. five in the same pocket? Yes, one pocket shot. Yeah, this is. Well, if I'm Guamo, I'm gotta, I got to hope he gets bad on the seven because there's <coughs> nothing else that's going to stop him. Look how easy to. These carbon fiber draw the ball so easy. He's got such a beautiful Have you hit, have you hit balls too. with him before? Yeah. I've never have. My, my friend Joe lets me use his. Yeah. I, and uh, I get more English than I expect. I'm going to have to try it out. You ever shoot with that tsunami, like Bobby? Yeah, the one you gave me. Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did, Bobby. <laughs> yes, I did. I want to go to the grave with nothing conscious. <laughs> Do you see the... Um, this is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Those new tsunamis, they're dark brown. He had a 2.0. The, the yeah, they're pretty neat, aren't they? Is that the one you want next? I'd love one. I think that's a chocolate. Looks like chocolate ice cream. I got to take care of Bob. You know what we got right here? Jesus going on the hill. Coming up right now. Guam is in bad, a bad way right here now. We haven't seen him in a on while. On the hill. Yeah. Rich, yeah Richie Shu, are you listening in? This is, yeah, this could be like a three-pack already. I think we're going to need a 2.0 tsunami with... Uh, 3H10. 3H10. <laughs> Have you seen him, Joe? You know how the uh, the, the keel was uh, like a brown? This tsunami, the new one, it looks like chocolate ice cream. It is the neatest looking shaft with the white ferrule. To get up the hill. It really, there right. it is. Well, we've been sitting here for five hours waiting for this. 
The what? Actually, six okay. hours and okay, 35 really nice. minutes, to be exact. Stick around. You make it. Well, Al, you recorded some great footage with uh, with Bo Bobby in here with this road stories. It's, uh -huh. man, it I was had, so cool. I, I enjoyed talking to Hillbilly. That's, yeah, that was cool. That's a funny man right yeah, there. Yes, it is. He doesn't know he's funny either. Oh, that's what's cool. He you was know? hilarious. I yeah. Thought. He had me he, laughing more he, than yeah, I usually do. He really oh, yes. And I didn't realize it's been 10 years since we saw him. You always heard him. If you seen him on TV uh, and he got on the hill, he always shouted it out. Hillbilly on the hill. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. He shows up with those over those cover all overalls. Yeah. It, yeah. Looks, it looks like he just stepped out of the hills. Yeah. Off the, yeah. I didn't realize he was from Hickory, North Carolina. Starting in Moonshine. Moon, what was that Moonshine show out on TV? Oh. Moonshine, is. Moonshiners, yeah. yeah. All right, with the break and uh, on the hill. Nowadays, you got to favor the breaker, huh? Nowadays, I think the break's 80%, 70%. The first guy that figures the break out usually wins. And there's not a magic rack here. I guess they decided on no magic rack here. Or... Wow. Accurac, great. five ball, Did didn't go. Sound like a gunshot. And, uh, comes up dry. Oh, boy. The one don't have a pocket up there, I don't think. He hit that so hard. It's amazing, this game. So I'm looking at this. Hit just one ball, I'm sorry, Eddie. You hit one ball and try to get back to the two ball, and you wind up scratching. Break all of them open, and none of them go in. Oh, you're not getting this back. That was a he's bad move. He's, he's going to put him safe be oh, behind that cluster. That, well, how could you put the to, ball there? Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't think any thought went in on that, right? No, I think he just pushed it. You because, would love to be. Because, yeah, you know, I, I assume he's going to, you know, send the one back down here and the cue ball right where he's standing now. I, I yeah. see. Yep. I, I, I'm seeing it in Guam. I'm seeing some kind of, like, ah, disgusted. You know, he can't believe that this is the score. And he just pushed yeah. it nonchalantly. Oh, he just wants that's to make sure the like. cue gets there. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's know. something there. It's like the give up that's stroke. A little okay. Look at that shot. Wow. And he can't even jump it. He's married to the four, it looks like. He's it going right like. above the point with some English here, right? Right wow. above the point with, with, with okay. some left, and right? If he does it and he hits it good, he's not going to get away with it. Because the one and the cue ball both going in the same direction. I would call the 10. Hit underneath the one if I can. Oh well, wait boy. a minute. Uh, it, well, okay. To call the one. That's a big A ball, isn't it? Nice. Look, wow. Oh, look, at nine. look at the look two at nine. This. Look at the two oh nine. Look at the two nine. How strong oh was that oh shot? Oh, my God almighty. What a shot. When wow. Your opponent's on the you hill. know what? He's got a half a smile on his face, I it, think. He should. That was a good thing. Folks, that's you are watching some of the watch. best pool right now. I, and the way the two nine was laying, what are the odds, right? That was great. I see that. I go, yeah, well, he's not going to make this, so yeah. don't, wanna, don't even mention it. And he nailed it, it. it. I want to put a knife in my eye. <laughs> yeah. <What a> Somebody <laughs> sticks something in my eye. Look at this. Look at that shit. Hill, hill. Oh, no. no, no I'm no, sorry. 14, easy, Sparky. 14, 14 12. 12. Shut up. Slow there. that jet fuel. Shut up to me. Okay. That might have been the strength, the best shot of the match. Yeah. No, he had another one, too. Remember that cut off the rail? The length, uh, he, he was frozen on the rail. Uh, inside English shot. Rail first. That was a great shot. It was one one of the first shots he played oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, right. That's that was about six hours ago. You remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember everything. Well, I did my push-ups twice today. Thank you. I was got that, sixty in. Was that you laying on the floor over there? Yeah, Is I, have that to, I have to do it all the time. Is yeah. that Earl behind me? Earl. Did you run six and a half miles too? Yeah, with my back. I ran six and a half miles back and forth to the hotel here. Man, it's a it's a stretch walking back and forth. Kind For me, I'm having a hard time with it. Do you walk? You have to walk no, back I'll, to the hotel. He's the only one that only walks on his hind legs right? and his family. I only I never leave the I just <laughs> play pool all day. That's all I do. I, I walk uh, three miles every day. Good for you. Ex except Sunday. That's strong. Sunday's my day off. That's really good. Good for you. I start, wow. Oh Man overboard. Oh, Man overboard. Oh, my overboard. God. Just threw his rack down. Look at the two. If he wants to go for the one nine. Oh, man. He's got, well, oh, the two eight is uh, a problem. Well, no, that's my point. That's why he yeah, go for yeah. the one nine. Uh, he over. Why would he overhit that break on the hill like that? 
You got the 110, yeah, you're right. too. Yeah, that's what I meant. I oh, meant yeah. the 110, Al. Yeah, okay. I, I keep saying nine out of half. Yeah, I'm looking at him. I'm saying, it's what not, does Bobby mean? Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. you're getting tired, Bobby. Well, it's just I'm so used to playing nine ball. But, right, right, right. Uh, Redis May says, get a shovel. I'm guessing that means it's, it's over, huh? Do you like this combo? This is. I don't like it, but it's got, you got a pretty good safe. Look at the 4-6. I mean, yeah, yeah right. look at the 4-6. You're, you're right. The one ball's going up the no, top. No, no, yeah, he's got to shoot it, but. The I, cue ball's going down by the 5-4-6 here. I, I wouldn't like his percentages on the shot. I mean, but, but the safe should be yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Well, Kwama doesn't have to get out of his chair again. That was the great shot he made last rack, though. Yeah, uh, he one. kicks it and get good on the 2-9. That was a great shot. That was amazing. Look at that there, shot for the win. There we go. There we go. For wow. the win. Wow. 20,000 20, points. Wow. All right. Uh, Bo Bobby Hunt, it's been a pleasure. I made a claim with Bobby Hunt. And what? And if you guys get to watch this Steve replay. Capitan and Steve, oh, Steve Capitan and Joe Liberti. Steve Capitan and Joe Liberti. Hey, thanks, you guys. It's been a uh, man. You guys are the best. Thanks Thank so you. much. I enjoyed it. You guys are the nuts. Thanks. Thank you, Al. Upside down. Hey, so, my, it's my honor to have you, Bobby, right. man. You don't have to thank Bobby, me. Bobby, right, thank Bobby. We hey, wait a minute. Reyes Gomez in the house. We want to see Bobby. What's going on here? Bobby's showing it. None of my interest. Bobby is going to show up at Turner Stone. And, <laughs> hey, Bobby's going to show up at Turner Stone in Labor Day. <laughs> Great seeing you guys, man. Bobby. You guys don't want to go to breakfast? You guys don't want to do breakfast? Appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, thank you. Folks, Bobby Hunt, Steve, Joe, they were all in the booth here for this match. Thank you, guys. Be safe, you guys. You guys going to come sweat my matches? Bobby, I'm glad. I'm glad we were in the booth. Man. Glad. Beautiful. Thank you. Bunch of good guys, folks. They don't get any better than that. I can tell you that much. That match is over, and that means we are over. Folks, we will see you tomorrow with big action. Um, well, I know, I don't know if it's tomorrow or the following day, but there's big action. Follow me, Neil Gold, my man. Uh, yeah, but they're not doing nothing. They're just gonna balk at each other and, and, and just dwell on what they lost. Thank you, guys. Well, let me check my email before I go. Well, the donation button up there is for Mikey Omega. Okay, I'm good. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for free from Derby City. The action continues. As people get knocked out of the tournaments, they start to just migrate to the room. I'm glad we can do it. Everybody stay safe.